The flag's up. The tension's building. That is huge. Exciting racing here at the 2022 ASRL. Can they do it for South Australia? Oh, and no. the Joe Toes in the bottom. Oh, 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 Greece oh. every Raider. The Joe Toes might have done it. Oh, what is happening? Here we go, McMaster. The Fat Daddies. Here we go. <laughs> that is huge surfboat action. They're a bloody good crew, so they'll continue. To... Oh, long screen there. Hello, McMaster's beach goes over. Stay with his shot. Oh, it's going. Oh, no, no, no. And they're excited, and so they should be. Oh, the oh, he's in the boat. Yes. He's killed it now. Can they hold it? Look how good this vision is on screen. The big one coming. Look at this. Stay with his shot. No, 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 no. no. Welcome to Queenscliff uh, for the National Short Court Championships. Um, and what a day we've got. There's a wave on. So this is going to be very, very exciting today. Um, what more could you want? The sun's out. The wind, There's not a lot of wind at the moment. The surf is up. They've just cleared out all the surfers off the field. So um, we're ready to go. Today, I've got Phil Stefano from South Maruba joining me uh, in commentary shortly. He's on his way. So... Um, Two, I guess, familiar voices for some of you. Phil's been um, helping out with commentary for a while, but um, the short course today, we are only turning the gate cans. There is no, um, there's no turning cans out the back. They've been dropped out, so there's a short course, plenty of action, um, fast turnaround, and this is for an Australian medal, this one. So it's what we all race for. It's what we all strive to achieve, but this one's the shortened event of it. Um, so let's do it. Let's have some fun. So yesterday we had the uh, the national selection trial, which was a, a great day. Um, tricky conditions as well on the lower tide with the the water in the gutter. Um, There's a few rips running, and it was uh, it was a very tough day for those uh, at the back of the boat more than the more than the rowers. But uh, they would have hurt themselves yesterday trying to. Uh, earn that uh, gold, uh, the green and gold blazer. But, um, uh, and a great success it was. Uh, congratulations to the, um, the successful crews. We'll run through them a bit later on. Today's weather, we've got the air temp at 18 degrees. The wind is 17 from the south-southeast. We've got a surf height of one metre, which I believe uh, the sets are way, way bigger than that. So um, humidity is a it's a good hu that's all right 67 that's better than the 90s we're getting at home at the moment in Queensland so uh, it's a rather good day for racing. Um, there's a slight offshore breeze if anything. There's a little bit of water feathering off the top of the waves, um, and some of them are quite hollow uh, as they're breaking. So this is definitely a helmets on day. Um, it's a beautiful day here at Queenscliff. So uh, we've got reserve grade men going around, reserve grade women, uh, under 19 men and under 19 women. Don't have a lot of entries, but the crews that have entered are going to have a ball today. Um, very testing conditions. Uh, so racing will be underway shortly. We've had our sweeps meeting. Um, officials are on the tower there with the, cam the, the line technology. So... Good to go. So welcome, Phil, to the commentary box. Morning, Jason. Uh, pleasure to be here. What a cracking day for it. It's pumping. It is Surf's a good up. Day. There's no wind at the moment. We'll be turning those cans and pretty much straight onto a wave. Well, yes, so they were. Yesterday yeah, I catching them from out the back. I was watching you guys and listening, checking in. It was a great day of racing. It looked tricky. Popped in for a brief visit on my uh, working rounds, and uh, yeah, congratulations to all the winners of the uh, Aussie Blazers. What an honour! Yeah, um, it's an, another an amazing achievement within our sport. It's so it's uh, such a great 
great thing that we have that that history and I think all of those rowers get a number to represent their country. I know from the A grade men's winners, the Paul Kembler crew, three of those guys, or four of you, Kili Jack, have, have already got an Aussie cap and they're back in Australian colours. So we'll be re well represented across all the divisions. And again, congratulations to all of the, the Blazer winners. Well, that, that A grade final yesterday was, was uh, coming into the last round, three crews on the same point. So it was and, anyone's. And how about the four crews in that A grade final? I mean, all of them could have won. Yeah, the Aussie champs, they got smashed out there, unfortunately. And But it, it was anybody's race. The Death Riders have been the Australian champs. They pushed them all the way. And I guess the new kids on the block that aren't that new, the Port Kembla crew, uh, they're back in business and uh, straight away with good results. Look at that surf. That's a great shot of Queenscliff Beach. Oh, the drones are an amazing addition to the, the coverage, um, a different different perspective of our sport. So it should be great getting an aerial view of all these the, the surf today and boats crashing through waves. be unreal. See on screen there, the clubs have come from everywhere. There's the Coogee, Coogee boys and Macro. These girls did a good job yesterday. They were uh, silver in last year's reserve grade Australian final. Stepped up to have a crack at A's yesterday, and they they held their held their heads up high. They uh, did a very good job. Yeah, so it looks like we've got our first race on the line here, and we've got on our paperwork we've got four, but I can only see three on the on the screen. So we've we've had one crew drop out of the male reserves to start the day. Well, it looks like we do have North Bondi Blade Runners there. Collaroy and Palm Beach, so unsure what's happened to the Queenscliff Kings, their home beach. Maybe they're just uh, too busy helping set up this great carnival. Maybe they're scratched. Maybe they know something we don't. See Dave Hawkins here on screen. He's a great official from the Sydney branch. As we've seen there, it says Queenscliff in Alley 1, North Bondi Blade Runners in Alley 2, Collaroy SOBSs, the Sobs in Alley 3, and Palm Beach Peppers in 4. So this is the first race of the day. It'll get us underway shortly. It's definitely Palm Beach in Alley 4, Collaroy, North Bondi there. So it's a race in 3 for points. Here we go. There's the gun, or the hooter. You guys were calling it a digital, digital, digital buzzer. Yep. Spinning us out. See, it's a very tricky edge straight away there. All crews having to navigate some surf. North Bondi copping probably the most of it, I'd say, yesterday. Alley 1 looked like the bigger end, but today it's pretty even. The swell change in direction. And it's a real battle of surf boats through this break. This is what we want, Jace. This is what the viewers... Oh, it's a great day to watch surf boats. Um, you can sit up here on the, wall, on the block wall, on, up on the promenade, look out over the sea, see the whole... Uh, event unfold in front of your eyes. Watch the swells coming from a long way out, and we've got our three crews are all out at the moment. Palm Beach Peppers, they look like the uh, they're out in front. They're leading the race at the moment. It's a race against the surf today, even though you are sprinting for points. That gap there is a length to Palm Beach, but really there's nothing in it once you turn, and you may even have to wait for the right wave today. So if you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time, it could be carnage. These guys rowing well, the Collaroy team. Doing a very good job. I'm not sure if that's Gavin on the back. Palm Beach. Is that Spency? Back in action. Oh, the um, Even turn there from North Bondi North in Alley Bondi. 1 and Palm Beach in Alley 3. Only half a length. The length is behind them is Collaroy. So first very race close. today, a real hot race if you consider who's in this race. All these crews have been together for a while and featured against in all the finals, so look back into the sun. Fortunately, there's a few tents in the way here, so don't have a bit of an obscure view, but you see North Bondi up in alley one. They're chasing a runner. They're gonna try and turn this one into a wave. Bluey's called them. Coming back. They've just dropped off the back of that one. Right so into uh, the wave zone now. Wanna have a look over your shoulder today, Jace? Oh, there's plenty of people looking over the shoulders of today. <laughs> there's uh, some big ones coming through, but these guys are, uh, I think they're far enough in to dodge the oh, bigger looks ones. Looks like there's been no waves. We've talked about surf all day. Oh, Collaroy's cracked one. 
They have to. They've come back. Now, Palmy on just... a little runner though, getting a little bubble on the right on the finish line. That might put them in the best position. Collaroy have slewed. Palm Beach is oh. deeper water. Collaroy are out. Gav's facing out. Back out. To Keep see. it up, boys, for points. Right. If we look there, I think it's going to be Palm Beach in first. Bluey and the Blade Runners from North Bondi in second. It's a tricky edge. Look at that. They've finished the race, and this it's a very tricky edge. So it's starts and turns today are going to be imperative. It's a terrible edge. Oh, it's another. You... It's, it's just like our edge, mate. <laughs> Sydney beaches have copped it this summer. There's a steep bank on a lot of them, and creates a backwash when the sets come in as well. So water going everywhere for the first 50 metres. Now, I believe I heard at the, at the streets meeting this morning they're marshalling off the white can. Which, for those who may not know, the white, there's seven cans on a, on a can line. The white is the furthest to the right. That's alley seven, meaning they'll start there and work down towards the left. It seems to be like in, in alley two, which would be the black can, like a, a bit of a break, a bit of a gap. Like everyone can sort of sneak out there. So to even up the field... They've pushed us down to the right, looking out to sea. So everyone has to face the music. Oh, yep. You see the Collaroy boys there, they're all okay. Kept it upright. A couple of them have to get back to the boat, though. There are some rules about finishing and over the finish line, so they want to be aware of that, get those oars back in, don't get any outside assistance. We've got a six-minute time limit today on races. So six minutes to complete the course. If you roll over... You've got an opportunity to get it back upright and well, uh, get across the line, but six minutes is... Do you, Jace? I was going to say, it's a tight time limit, but it's a shorter race, so... It is a shorter race, but yeah, six minutes. In that break, rolling the boat back over yeah. and back out there? I think if you roll over, you're probably done, particularly on the way to sea. Maybe not on the way home, you're right. See Collaroy there just tidying up. Got the Avalon Beach boys there. That the Aussie champs not nah, doesn't look like all of them in the reserve grade, but it is their sweet Nathan Wellings, and it's one of the Collaroy soldiers getting his breath back after a bath. So this is the first time we've had this event stand alone, um, and here's the, the lineup for the next race. We've got the McMaster's Fat Dads, the Palm Beach Pelicans. Avalon Beach Pinkies and the Allura Silverbacks. Well, those crews have all been together for a while and the Pinkies, they may have a few personnel changes on the day, I'm not sure, but they are the Australian Reserve Grade Champions. Allura's always in the finals. Yeah, all, all, the, all, the top familiar. all the top reserve crews are here. There's the Coogee boat. Those boys might have stepped up from under 23s. A couple of familiar faces there. They're good fellas. And they have a great sweep. There's another great sweep. Nate Wellings. He's got an issue with his hand, it looks like, on the right hand there. Might have copped it yesterday. Well, he had it on yesterday. He was, I noticed during the one of the races, he had his hand on top rather than underneath as his lead right hand while sweeping. So, Don't think he's carrying any notes or secret cheat sheets in there. <laughs> Much like the soccer. <laughs> I think it's all hands on deck, so he needs that guard on there to protect himself. Good to see the rowers excited. It looks like we're moving a boat. Palm Beach is just moving their boat along the shoreline there to uh, get ready for the next race. So that's what we're waiting for, a, a yeah. crew changeover using the same boat, Palm Beach. One of the strongest clubs on the northern beaches. So and we've got uh, results coming through for the uh, first race. Uh, the Palm Beach Peppers, as we, we saw it, and the North Bondi Blade Runners. Then the Queenscliff Clings with the Collaroy Sobs. No, well, it's a DNS actually, for the Kings, remember? They didn't oh, they start. Oh, they ran out of time. No, they didn't start the Queenscliff Kings. That's right. And the Sobs were the rollover. That's right. So they may have... But I think they got it up right, hopefully, to get some points. Doesn't indicate it on the screen, but the officials will have had that in hand. There's the whistle for the second race now. See the ASRL president... Good morning, sir. They're doing a great job, the ASRL, Jace. They are, mate. What an event we've got on. So as I was saying earlier, the first time this has been standalone. Uh, the last couple of years it's been tacked on to the first couple of days of the Australian titles. So we've had probably more um, entries in, yeah. in that way. We're, we're due lacking numbers a little bit today. It's um, a balancing act, I think. It's 
you know, trying to get everyone all around the country. A lot of our, we're lucky today in Sydney, it's just up the road, but there's kids with school and people with jobs and so many carnivals. And It is hard, yep. The other uh, flip side is when we had the short course event at the Aussies, it was often the first to get scrapped if the surf was up. That's right. So it's good to, have, time. good to have that event on the calendar. It's even better that there's waves. And, mate, 90% of our lives, rowers have only ever been able to go for one medal. Correct. Well, the ASRL's changed all that, and they've got a, a swag of medals in their collection each year. The rowers are truly grateful. We don't race for money. <laughs> this is definitely for the love of it, this one. Actually, you might get paid, you guys. You're on about 80 grand up there, aren't you, Jase? Oh, Sweeping, mate, just Queensland a, sweeps, just those a, powerful clubs. Just a fraction under that, about uh, 80 grand under that number. Pokey revenue down, is it? They're away. Even start. It's the first 30 metres that you see there. Water's moving around. Only four and five. Alley one. Slower it's... to get off the beach. Alley one's first to hit the water. Got a great start. McMaster's fat now. dads. They were flying, but they look as though they've dropped the dropped off a little bit just to pick their way through the surf. Something may be coming out the back. Smash there, Avalon. So all the crew's having to wait now because there's waves in front of them. And Palm Beach in Alley 2, they've stopped as well. Allura's stopped. Yeah, Avalon getting hit again. They're going to try and have a crack. Nathan's now. He stopped them. And the fat dads are upside down, out of shot on the alley one. So they're swimming. Avalon now backwards. They're upside down, out of screen. Oh, so this action is action of plenty. This is uh, what we're talking about. Count your time, and now because that six minutes is going to be hard to get back. Palm Beach have scooted away, and they're through. Allura at the bottom and so of the screen. And so are Allura Silverbacks. So you chance your arm first to go, and you're first to get hit. Avalon and Fat Dads. The Fat Dads have got their boat upright. Avalon do not. Well, they've got a slight chance if they've got their boat upright already, but Avalon are in a world of trouble there. Yeah, they're they're not. They're, not there's, they're all okay. They're all okay. However, the Fat Dads have got their boat up and running, and they're on shallower water, and they're in. So they're going to have a go. We've got uh, Allura and Palm Beach charging yep. to sea. Yeah, and uh, heading out towards the cans there for their turn. You see those big green lumps there. Palm Beach is coming in first. They're followed closely followed by Allura. There's nothing in that. Good turn from Palm Beach there, and they're out of it up in alley one on the red can. So now so they're you looking over their shoulder. Yeah, they know they just got to. <laughs> they just have to finish the course. The moment you would just want to keep it upright because there's going to be. Different results, toing and froing all day. So they've stopped, stopped them. Yep, just waiting to see what's coming through behind them. Allura is still going. Allura tapping it along, and just out of shot is the Fat Dads. There, go, there they go back out to sea. So they're just racing for third place and some points. The Fat Dads, and hopefully they can make it in the yeah, time. Yeah, good bunch of boys. Going good rowers, nice good sweep. This, Look at that. that. Wave is wide that is stopped. perfect. No wind. There's a few waves behind Palm Beach now having a crack at the runner. So, Allura. so is Allura. And He's gone sideways the and they're room. over. Wow. And so has, well, well Palm, Palm Beach he, have slewed and kept it upright. There's only one guy in the boat. So the second race now has really proven how tough the course is today because so far all the boats bar that one has turned upside down and that one doesn't look to be in the best shape well. either, Palm Beach. A lot of people are swimming, and there's some of the Evoker boys closer. in the background. They, have they got slotted again? They're, they're closer than uh, McMaster's are out to sea. Avalon are trying to get their boat upright. They've given this race up. Well, we just got to see if Palm Beach can get back to their boat and get their rowers and oars in, in order. McMaster's coming in now. They're looking for a wave. In first place. <laughs> it's very, very possible. Well... It is for first place. There's no one across the line yet. He's called him back, and he's on a nice big one out to sea. And if it drops down the front, that's going to be perfect for these guys. That's nice. He'll hold it straight. It's, yeah, a, gen no one, it's a general size in, in today's scope. No one's across the line yet. No. Nah. So there's debris everywhere Palm Beach in the water. trying to get back to the boat. And the McMaster's fat dads, they played it cool. That was the way to do it. If you are going to roll, 
roll at the start of the race, <laughs> get it up right, have a taste of the water. There's Palm Beach trying to salvage some placing if they get that boat back across the line. But the fat dads, and I'm sure they've made that in the time limit. Well, they've proved us we, wrong. We should probably have a watch up here, Jase. I'll get a. I will do that. Just we'll so we're uh, we can have an we're idea. professional. We want to keep the viewers entertained as well as uh, keep an eye on these rules. There sure is. The officials may have to look at this. I don't think. I mean, as we say, it's only water. But some of these waves, um, you're in a position for a late takeoff. You are, and yeah. Some of them can hit hard when you're doing that. And that's probably what happened. The nose is dug in and, and the current in the water has just grabbed it and spun them sideways real quick. So this is the senior divisions. Yeah. We've got reserve mail. There's three heats in the reserve mails. So, just see if they're going to call it to the line. We've got a few boats just navigating themselves back to the shore. You see Palm Beach there. We'll get the official results, I guess, through the app. Yeah, they were up on the app today. So, if you're lost or interested, get on the app and have a look. All the, all the draws and results are coming up through there through the course of the day. Shout out to everyone watching. Yeah. from all over the country and the world. We had some good numbers yesterday viewing. Being a work day, I think there was a few people that uh, flicked over to the uh, YouTube channel while they, were, they should have been doing a bit of work in the office. So well, You can watch it, I believe, on YouTube as well as on the Facebook site. Yeah. Yep. Technology is amazing. Popping up everywhere. So Sorry if you're only getting up to have breakfast and you have to hear my voice watching surf boats, though, should ease the pain. What time is breakfast service around here, Jason? Mate, uh, I do believe they were cooking breakfast at 6.30 for us, and I was a little bit late. So 6.30, wow. If you've got any contacts on the northern beaches, mate, that can uh, bring down a cross one or something. See if I have a few fans out there. Is this <laughs> microphone working? I can hear you. <laughs> oh, the colours, the flags, there's a starter on his little, a little ladder up there with his vest on. Moving mm -hmm. in. It's all happening. Moving into the third heat there. We've got... Should have four boats lining up. Here's the results first with the Fat Dads, uh, the Pelicans and the Silverbacks, the Pinkies. Got a DNF, so they missed the six, they missed the six minutes. Yeah, it's it's tough in these sort of round-robin competitions. The DNFs really hurt. Oh, they do, mate. They, they really, they're no points at all for you, so and you want to hope you get something in the next one. So here's the lineup for the next race. Wow, well, we've got the Batemans Bay Ultimate Reserves. That's my mate Neil, then there'll be no doubt a good crew. South Curl Curl Love Boat in Alley 2. Coogee BS in Alley 3. And another Palm Beach crew. The Padlocks in Alley 4. And the buzzer's gone. They're away. Getting in tight is important on this edge, Jason. And they all look to have done that. Well, you see up in Alley 1. Alley 1 Neil. with the ultimate reserves. They're flying off the, off the beach. The, uh, the Love Boat from... Um South, South Curl Curl. Yeah, they looked a bit, a uh, little bit sluggish off the beach. Might be Ribsy, the great ribs. Army's uh, navigating the uh, white water there, so they've, um, they think there's nothing coming, so they're going to have a charge. Batemans Bay, go. they're out in front. It looks just off the screen. They're having a crack at it. There you go. They're, oh, they're a length gone. or two in front in Alley 1. Neil always produces some uh, good crews down there at the bay. You've got some good water. A couple of the other crews had a bit of white water over the bow. But there's the Batemans, guys. Nice and long, powerful men. Looking smooth and well in control, aren't they? They sure are. Always featuring around the finals, Neil and his crews. Well, the other year, Neil got uh, four Australian medals. Four silvers. Yeah. Incredible. Four silvers from four divisions. It's an Amazing. absolute team effort. And it's a, he's a great sweep. He's a top bloke. He's a great fisherman too, and he knows the ocean well. So yes. he's turning first. They've got a nice lead. They do. Three or four, well, maybe five or six lengths. The beautiful part about that is you can pick a bit of your way in. You, you have need that to. split second to wait or go just to see what the surf's doing There's behind a, you. They've got a runner under them now. That's but they've advancing let go. further in front, up in alley one, Neil Innes, and then Palm Beach in alley four. There's Neil looking over his shoulder now, feeling the water under his feet. This he'll milk this one. Sure will, and he'll come across the course to touch to get a best position. Here he's looking now, saying, knock it off, boys. 
ease the power down, let's just see what's coming. Yeah, ideally you want to catch the wave, you don't want the wave to catch you, so you need to be in that sweet spot. There's a wave behind Neil now, Palm Beach, and the Coogee boys are trying to work the wave nice over the one, front. A little steep one coming for Neil right now. Yeah, they've rode the wave for it. Now it's going to break on their back. He's called them back late, early, sorry. Tricky, very tricky he's spot one of the for best him there. Sweeps in the sport. And he's handled. They've got back upright. It's a tricky edge, as you said, though. And there goes Palm that's, Beach. That's the main thing, being remaining upright. So here comes a sprint Palm to the Beach finish. Palm Beach and Coogee. They're going to clash yours, no doubt, here. Oh, well, all... finish line technology. Coogee's held it straighter, maybe. Have they? Macro. I don't know. He's fighting it. He's fighting it. It's a very tough edge. It so is. much water moving around. Bateman's Bay are really struggling to get their oars back. Sweeping a surf boat's no easy feat. And these boats weigh plenty with the rowers in them and add another couple of 50 kilos of water. And um, South Curly, the love yeah, boat the love coming boat. in. So four boats remaining upright for that one. That's, that's good. Uh, I don't think it was ribs in the love boat. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like he might be. Zulu, but there's the Coogee boys. We'll wait for those results to come through. Oh, I forgot to start with the clock. I'll get on this time. So what a great day. This, this, the wind's still staying out of it, which is fantastic. It was a bit blower here yesterday. But, um, having a nice, calm day great yeah it's it's really turned it on sydney today shout out to uh everyone watching today that may have been affected by the floods somehow somewhere we've had the wettest sydney in, on record oh. i'm sure the wettest the wettest australia country. you're yeah. right if it, it's uh, it's been a terrible couple of uh well nearly 12 months hasn't it oh we feel All for up. a lot of those a lot of those coastal Areas of surf club towns and surf clubs are always on on hand to help out in these tr situations. And we're thinking of you guys, and hopefully we're bringing you some entertainment, take your mind off things. Back to the racing. See North Cronulla there. So we might be moving into the uh, reserve female now. Let's have a look at that. Yes, we are. So we've sure got two are. heats, two heats in the reserve female. So there's the there's the results. official results. So Coogee in first, held it a bit straighter across the finish line. Palm Beach Padlocks in second. Neil and the ultimate reserves leading all the way, and then got one from behind and a late take off, and he just lost it on the edge. So they're in third, and the love boat for fourth. You ready with that stopwatch, Jace? Oh uh, yeah, mate, I am. I am. Thanks for reminding me. I've got a the attention span of a goldfish some days. Is that a Queensland thing? No, I think it's a me thing. Okay. Right, reserve females for their first round of the day. Avalon Beach Chaos, the Bondi Shredders, the Coogee Cogs, Batemans Bay Banshees, so they'll have a, they'll have a uh, gear change over, and the North Cronulla Diamonds in Alley 5. Well, New South Wales, re well represented here. Actually, in the whole division, I don't think we've got any um, any crews outside the state. See what we see our closest ten here's the McMasters boys, the fat dads, and uh, they're back in the ten having an apple in between races, looking good. There's Neil Innes from Batman's Bay with his girls. North Change of sunglasses ladies. for Neil, get the water off the last ones and <laughs> back out there. It's like Dave from North Cronulla on the back of that boat. The Diamonds, strong club in Sydney, North Cronulla. Oh, they're enormous. Strongest club in Sydney, brand surf boats. And uh, always feature. Everyone looks fairly relaxed. I don't think the gun's up just yet. There it is. There we go. The starter with his flag and his button for the hooter. Digital gun is away. Well, I'll away. Press the button, Phil. I'll press the nailed button. it. Okay, so getting in there, holding it up is North Cronulla, just waiting to get that little bubble under his boat and away they go. Alley one. You see the surf there now, they're all facing 
Ali North Cronulla Diamonds going off to his right. He might have seen a little gap in the surf that he's the, aiming uh, on for. Bondi Shredders, they've stopped. North Bondi Shredders, now they're going again. They've found, they think they've found a way out where it's going to be less water taken on. They're a very good crew, the Shredders, Bluey and his girls. They train hard, I know them. And they're going to have a crack here now. Little gap, he's screaming at them, go girls. They're over, they're out. They've jumped away. If you can get past that white water into the deeper water, you're a good chance of getting out to sea. So uh, up in uh, alley, alley one. Saying that, North Bondi up and over a good swell. And then Coogee and Bateman's well. Bay in second and third. So if we get an overhead shot, we might not have um, Avalon in this race. No, we've dropped. There is no Avalon for the start of this race. So we've got Bondi Shredders there well out in front, uh, followed by Bateman's Bay Banshees, then Coogee Cogs and North Cronulla Diamonds in, uh, in the fourth position at the moment. Four boat race. So North Bondi going in. He's on the green can. Couple of lengths in front to Bateman's Bay. There's Neil turning second. Third and fourth, pretty even. So we see North Bondi coming up and out of the cans, getting an instant lift, Neil the same. There's North Bondi, milk in the run. Take doesn't, every little advantage, get to the wave zone first. Doesn't seem to be much brewing behind them there at the moment. So they have to do it all themselves. There's a little run again under them, inching the girls further forward. Bateman's Bay closing the gap though. They've strong performance here in this race. The Shredders are on a runner there. They can see them just leaving Bateman's Bay behind with a little bit of effort from the and help from the ocean. But uh, Ali down at the bottom with um, North Cronulla North Diamonds. Cronulla, the Diamonds. They've they've stopped. And here they goes Bateman. Neil's in a perfect spot for a comeback this time. That's much better from North Bateman's Bay. North Bondi are going to have to take this one. Late, there's Neil again. You see his nose. Fighting it hard. He's rehandled that. That's good work, Neil. Well done, he, mate. Well he's done. the boss. He wasn't going to slew twice. There's Bluey and his girls just losing it with a, a wave in an unfortunate position. So they've got to get themselves back and across the line. But Bateman's Bay will be in first. You see North Bondi there trying to get their boat back together and cross the finish line. And then Coogee. They had a little steep one at the end there, the Coogee. Coogee and, uh, and then there's North... North Cronulla trying to take on the North Diamonds. Bondi on the line. I think they might get them. We'll have but to look at the digital slew. finish oh, they're line. Gonna, they're going to have a look at the tower very, very closely by the looks of that. Skirted inside Just. and around the tower. There's North Bondi. But so we can't see North Cronulla. They would be under that. And they would have passed in second place. So there so you we'll go. have to wait and see. We see the Banshees from Batemans Bay. So Str Coogee. Strong crew. Coogee leading the race the whole way uh, came last. Unfortunate. Well, that's going to be this order of the day. I think so. Oh, and actually, that was uh, about three and a half minutes. Yeah. I remember Good to work. Stop it too. So, right. three and a half minutes of the course. Um, Bateman's Bay was a little bit faster than that. So, you've got three minutes to roll your boat over and get back going again if that's the case. Round and that's, numbers. That's, uh, that's probably not going to be enough if you don't. If you roll on the way out to sea, depending on how deep a water you're in and when you can get your stuff, your gear back, provided nothing's broken and no one gets well, hurt. As long as it all ends up in relatively the same position, doesn't get taken away by a current. Because I don't, I don't know about you, Phil, but I'm not the best swimmer when it comes to uh, being outside the boat. I still hold the proficiency record at South Maroubra for the swim. The slowest or the fastest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nah, let's just say I don't like swimming either. That's why I chose the boat. <laughs> yeah, it floats. You see one of the rowers from Allura now starting in the boat. She must have an injury and she's been authorised to do that. And they're away. There's Allura in the second heat there. They're in the third alley. So if we pan across, we'll see the rest of the field should be... There's Coogee. Coogee in alley four, the DMGs. Maruba Magnets are up in Alley 2 and Palm Beach, I can't even say that. No. Pterodactyls. Oh, there you go. The Palm Beach Pterodactyls, it's a silent P. And they've got a little thing starting all their crew names with P. They do. We, we saw the Peast mode yesterday, which formerly were the Beast mode. Oh, our friend Ryan. Shout out to Mr. Alan Gahu. Great sweep and he's up in Palm Beach in the green. But see Coogee now taking wave it on the DMGs. Here. There's a wave coming here. Let's see what happens. 
I want to say Marubra got the worst end of that, but Allura made it over. Marubra's going backwards. That might be your friend Hawkeye from yesterday. Yeah, that was a co-commentator Hawkeye from did yesterday. Did a good job on the microphone. He did. Searching uh, for his sweep oar at the moment. Searching for a third, fourth rower as well. There's someone out of that boat. There's, There's a Coogee girl. Out. So that is the Coogee DMGs, and I think that would be the Australian silver medalist in reserve grade. They raced yesterday in the A grade. They're racing today in reserve grade. There's our fourth uh, Marubra Magnet just making their way back to the boat. Oh, they're all okay. Yep. Just staying calm, goes. Hawkeye. Be staying calm out there. Get back to the boat quickly. See Coogee now lengthening out in alley four. It's going to be close Strong to style. Look at the concentration on the girls. you got Lauren, Sam, Kelsey, and I think that's Caitlin as well. Good crew. Paul Macro Bill going into the turn, digging it in for one, two... And up together on the third. That's how we do it. Nice Great turn. turn. Nice turn. Now chasing run there, Coogee, with feet. Looking back behind him. He can hold a wave macro. Don't worry about that. The up in alley one, though. The pterodactyls are not... They have turned. must have turned excellent as well. Yeah, they've had a nice turn. They've actually stopped up in alley one. Must they be must a wave see coming. something coming. Want Might to try have... and time it nicely. Get down it safely. There Looking over your shoulder there. Palm Beach. Not sure Waiting. if that's Tiz's crew or not. Did see her Facebook and she's made a comeback. There, yeah, they're, they're backing it up. Yes. And I think oh, that's why. Letting that one go underneath. It's very wise. Do it's not want wise. a late takeoff. Is Coogee no, stopping Coogee, and waiting for the right time? Coogee don't have much of a choice. Macro's called him. It's a strong sweep. Stay in the bow, Sam. Get in the middle. Good work, nice girls. Work, Hold girls. it still. Nice. Good work, Macro. Very great nice sweep. Skills. Hopefully it'll drop over the front of this one. No, they may have to finish. Ooh, may have to finish the course. A few strokes to get across the line. Just We've a couple. Got, as deep uh, water. Allura. Deep water on the gutter. Now you see Coogee there. They'll drift across. And then Allura's Allura Power coming like in second. second. Uh, Palm Beach waited too long. Uh, and here they come in for third. So the Palm Beach in alley one. So Coogee... First from alley four, then Allura second from alley three. Palm Beach third, and the Maruba Magnets got snotted. They did, but they're out there somewhere. We haven't seen them on the screen here, so they might I don't be... Know uh, if, I don't know if they went back out. I think they may have we boarded, but... Palm Beach is across the line, so we've got three crews home. Um, where's our friends? Where's the Hawkeye? I can't... Coogee bringing their boat up. Can't see looking past the tents if he's out on the water or not or whether they pulled the pin and, and brought it back in, into the shore. Is that termite? No, that's the Lura team. Might be the Coogee guys there. Sorry, it is Coogee. It is termite, macro. Strong club, Coogee. They are. Right? They've they just are. had a, a renovation at their surf club. It's a hot talking point, but it's a beautiful venue. Great outlook over the beautiful Coogee Bay. Moving into the next race here now. Are we moving into the junior boys, are we? Yep. That's exciting stuff. There's uh, Surfers Paradise. My mate Hugel from Surfers has come down with, with a few crews. You see now the under-19s, the future of the surf boat sport. Tomorrow's Heroes, and we have Allura Squirrels in Alley 1, Palm Beach, Pentecost in Alley 2, Pentecocos, Pentecost, check that one out, South Curly Wampa in Alley 3, North Cronulla Jeopardies in Alley 4, and the Surface Paradise Serpents, swept by the Hughes. The, I wonder uh, where the name Serpent, I wonder if that... Oh, they've, got a, they've got a little bit of a sea nautical um, theme going up there. They've got the sharks, the serpents. Uh, they're the two crews we've seen this year. They've got, I think they've got a couple more. They're developing a few younger crews, so it's good to see them. It is. Here's results. The uh, Coogee DMGs, the Allura Power, the Palm Beach Pterodactyls, and the Maruba Magnets, which we believe probably got a DNF. Oh, they did get a DNF. They got whacked and decided not to uh, proceed any further. So we're flying through this uh, program this morning. We're racing through there. It's a great job. 
in today's conditions. Cruz just waiting for all the entrance on this starting line. Uh, maybe we don't have a full field We've here. We've only got three in this race by the looks of it, so we're missing the two in the middle of the field, which could be the Pentecots and the Wampers. Got a Lura. Squirrels 2.0 are up alley one. We've got North Cronulla Jeopardies there in alley four. The Service Paradise. The Serpents. There's waves to navigate here on the nose. They can always get forward and away they go. There's Ryan Halangahu there. Climbing over a little one there. Just to disturb their momentum. See the length on these young rowers. It's impressive. North Cronulla catching over the back of that one. Pulling the nose of the boat down and away they're going. So this is a great race. This All crews getting pretty pretty even start out nice there today. Line of three, this one. Very even. I wouldn't say that the course end has favoured anyone in particular. No, the same, results. It's same as yesterday. Um, it was just the luck of being where you were at that point in time. Which is the beauty of this sport. So many variables. And in my opinion, it's a lot more exciting than rowing in a straight line in 2,000 metres. That's exactly right. We did. We tried that the other day. It was not fun. So that was the uh, the famous, more famous of the Hugo brothers there. Graham, going to see. He's a good man, look, Graham. Looks like he's turning first. there. He yes. is equal first with, well, this is a dead even race, you'd say. A little bit Hughes getting a great the turn there. He's half the man he wants, the Hughes. Oh, he is. And he's looking great. He's feeling great. I seen him yesterday and look at him get out of this turn. Oh, um, Ali, who was that? Next to Hugo, the North Canal. They had a terrible turn they've lost they might have got caught might have, one of the oars might have got caught on the turning can five or six lengths hugo spotted something so, so he stopped the boys you see ryan allen who's pushing over the front of this one from out the back and if he cracks it he will he's going to hold him in that's their seats sweet wave that's a beautiful wave he's in the best position now this is the hard part wave behind him is going to crash he needs to row down the front of it the boys are up and about hold it stand up mate stand up he's trying to pull it there's a lot of water there just keep your oars together, boys. Don't take your eyes off your blades. Hughes, the serpent, they've got a nice one. And so has uh, North Cronulla in the middle of the field. Hughes now. What a wave, Fugel. Great job from Surface Paradise, the serpents. He's called them up and about. And I'd say they're going to cross in first place. Nice work. He uh, films most of his races. You can see his GoPro on his helmet there, so... He's a great man. I caught up with him early in the year in a more social setting for Don Cottrell's wedding. Oh, did was, you get an invite, did you? Yeah, I was, well, you could say I was a VIP. I was the wedding celebrant. Oh, there you go. And the MC. Wow. Yeah. It was a great day for Don and Peter on the 30th of June. I did a, see Peter down here with Don this weekend. He was like snooping a, around. It was like a boat rowing convention. Sensational. <laughs> Hughes was there. It was a lovely setting in Corumban in the valley. And all the best to the newlyweds, Don and Peter. I seen him yesterday. I'll catch him later today. You see, Palm the... Beach is saying they've crossed the line first provisionally. So I'll wait for the judges' call on the they, finish line. But Hugo have done enough. Hugo did a good job with his boys in a good position, and so did Ryan Halangahu with Palm Beach. It's a great racing there to start off the junior boys. So we've got the next one coming up shortly, which will contain uh, the North Cronulla Weapons, Colorado Red, uh, South Curly Burley, and North Cronulla Adrenaline. There's our lineup. Four in this on paper. We'll see what happens when we get down to the line. You can see two boats making their way in with the South Curly and North Cronulla. And Colorado, we've just heard, is out. We can put a pen through them for the rest of the day. There. There's Peter Spence. He's a champion. He's going well. Good to Great see to hear from him there. He's probably blowing up again. <laughs> it's back to his old self, Pete. Good. <laughs> That's what we like. He's a champion. We all know that he copped a big injury at Aussies, but he's back already and he's doing a good job. I think yesterday he had a pretty good day. He got smashed in one of the girls' races. and He did cop a whack in uh, one of the boat races yesterday. But he's okay. There was a freak accident up there and he... We'll move on from that. So in this race. We are. We're away. Where's that stopwatch? Oh, it, mate. It's hard to keep track of. It's North Cronulla. Taken away in Alley 4. You've got South Curly, Burley. They're a strong, one of the stronger junior crews going around at the moment with uh, Gus Batiri. They're waiting 
out to see the boys I know they've been rowing they've got young Alan Perry in that uh, Perry in that crew sorry and they're all big men he looks like the tall kid in stroke there doesn't he well they're all tall mate they're all six <laughs> foot plus definitely I think yep yeah, that could be him he's going to try and punch through this one but they're there's waves coming Gussie Spiteri they like they're going, oh they're, that's it Nah, well, they've strong. They've kept it up. They've just they just got to stay in it. Oh, the Bowman's out and lost his oar. Gus keeps it upright. Now, it's a matter of they'll call the Burley. The commentator cursed. They hit that hard. And Let's they had see to. who's snuck out to see if any of these junior crews. So you've got North Cronulla Weapons in Alley 1. Collaroy Red, did you say, or they're scratched? Collaroy's out. So they're scratched. So you've got North two Cronulla. North Cronulla crews trying to get out, and it's the North Cronulla crew, the Adrenaline, in Alley 4. Seen a little opening. And they've gone. They've gone for it, all right. While uh, South Curly there picking up the pieces, they're all still back in the boat, but they might have to wait for the pumps to empty out. Yeah, just get back into time, boys, and finish the race now. This material will keep them. Well, they're a minute down. Level well. They're upright, so that's a good thing. And up in the top of the screen, top right, left hand corner, we've still got the second the, North uh, Cronulla crew, baby. The weapons. The weapons there, still trying to get off the beach as well. They've just had wave after wave after wave in front of them and haven't been able to go. So adrenaline can just take their time. A couple of strokes just to keep the boat forward, forward momentum going. Now go, boys. Yeah, they've picked a, picked a gap. They've got to go. It. Here they go. Sweeps barking instruction. Now Boff or Vaughan might be the Boff. North Cronulla's might be... No, it's Vaughan, I think. Anyway, they're away. Pumps are on. They're out to sea. So three boats in. Staying upright and finishing will guarantee third place. And the points are important yeah, today, Jace, in the rounds. Mate, the adrenaline are already on their way home. They've turned. And there's the other two boats going back out to sea. And you see the South Curly Burley in second place. Um, the adrenaline stopped. Yeah. Yeah, South Curly are leading for making the best of second place there. Especially after getting snotted they and losing a few hard. rowers. Got That's how them. strong they are. So... North Cronulla are going to pick their wave here. They waited a long time for this one to come through. The adrenaline. Here it goes. It's building. It's a nice lump behind them there. You see the jet skis snooping around. They're doing a great job too, the jet ski drivers. Our first. Dave for North Cronulla with the adrenaline. Fattened up on him. So he's rowing across, across the break. Needs to just stay in all these little runners so that uh, there's a little one that's turned on the into a wave for him. Well done, Dave. He's a great sweep. Got one behind. Oh, oh he wasn't helped by his second bowman there. That makes this is when hard. it makes it hard. Exactly. They're going to get it back together, though. North Cronulla, well done. Good recovery, boys. Yeah. Nice work. So That's what happens in the surf. The other two crews, one got hit, one had to wait and got hit and hit and hit. Even on the edge, though, it's tricky here, you see. Just getting across the line. Rowers... So Second we're looking Bowman for a, must have a slippery handle. So that was three minutes twenty for those boys. Well, it's called the short course at three minutes twenty. It's uh, only just short, if you will. Yeah, just yeah. So um, though, having so what to, have we got? We got our other two crews are coming across the line now. It's the Burley South Curly Burley, Gus Pateri. and a little late one for um, the North Cronulla, other North Cronulla crew. The weapons. So they got out of that nicely. Kept them in their seats. Well done. He's going to reform on them and he sprayed them. Picked them up. Sometimes it's better to do that. Just on the edge there you see again, boys. Get on the high side. Watch Water, your oars. Water's moving down there from north to south. So it's grabbing the bow as it drops down the wave and, and, and turns it to the southern direction. So all up. That was a four minute 15 race. But nice work. Everyone managed to stay upright. Uh, Burley had a little bit of a, a hiccup there with the people out of their seats, but uh, they managed to recover and get it going again. You can see the loading up there in the, the, the corner of the screen as it washes back off the beach at high tide here. Right, so that means we're round two, the little ladies. The under-19 ladies. They're up next. So, under-19 female. Well, these girls are heroes to surf. Some of them would be new rowers. 
They would be. Well, I've never seen the uh, Batemans Bay skipjacks before. So good to see a Batemans Bay junior crew here. But they've actually pulled out. So oh, got... what a shame. Oh, these are results, sorry. So we've got Adrenaline, Burley, Weapons, and the Coleroy Red did not start. Right, eh? Here we go for the ladies, under 19 ladies. Shout out to Team Navy, great sponsors of the ASRL surf boats. Got so, yeah, we do have the skipjacks, Batemans Bay skipjacks. That's awesome to see that club with some younger rowers. Fantastic. Then you've got Avalon Beach, HCMFs, Long Reef Castaways, the Masters Minis, Palm Beach Perlers, the Collaroy Cobras, full field. Six junior girls crews, it looks like. We'll just get the overhead shot to see, can see. how many boats we can see. Yeah, so there's six in that. Um, we'll see how, how, how many line up. It looks like the skipjack's up there in alley one. Well, no doubt Neil will be on the back of that boat. And uh, They're in safe hands, the young girls. We've got Collaroy down there, and it looks like Palm Beach Perlers. They're yeah, on screen it's the Perlers now. with Ryan again at the back. See the girls' names there. It's a, it's a great thing, the live stream now, bringing it, oh, bringing it around the country, keeping the footage. Years ago, we'd only get this sort of special service and coverage at Aussies. And, I mean, it's good for our boat sponsors. It's good oh. for the young rowers. It's good for the sweeps to watch and learn. It's fantastic. There's the gun. So it's a five-boat race. One has pulled out. There's Sorry. a gap in Alley 2. Might be the Avalon team. No, that... missing. Yeah, so you've got Batemans Bay, Long Reef, McMaster's and Collaroy. So uh, that's your four starters and the Palm girls Beach. now. Now Palm this Beach is charging. It's a big set coming down now. Be a bit of, bit of urgency in those boats when the sweep says go girls you go and don't make a mistake. So Palm Beach are making their way out to see. The sea. Perlers going to have a crack. It's like the wave in front of them is fattened up right on the right spot. McMaster's and there's a wave behind, though. So is Palm Beach. There's oh. one coming for Palm Beach. Oh. And that is what can happen, and that can happen to the best of the crews. They weren't going that fast, unfortunately, and there's not as much power in those young girls' boats as the big boys. Ryan keeping it upright. The upside is they're not as powerful, but they're not as heavy either, so the girls can float over most things that come See, out. all the rowers are but okay. Here's a big hit for them and from the side. Uh, keep it up. Keep your fingers inside the boat. So we see, well, up in alley one, you Batman's can see... Bay's having a bit of an Batman's issue as well. Bay's upside down. Uh, Long see. Reef are almost back on the sand as well. McMaster's minis are still yeah, in the break. No one's navigated it outside yet from... And we got to this break in the junior girls. Collaroy's upright, Long Reef's upright, the rest are in trouble. So. Batemans Bay is in a lot of strife. The boat is upside down and it's rather it's a heavy big in wave the corner down up there. there. So if we see the jet ski and the IRBs on the scene. These two crews look far, rather close to each other, McMaster's and Long Reef. Well, no, there's a fair gap. I'm just popping them oh, over good. the tent. That's so they're good. both rowing out to sea. Three boats out to sea now. Waves in front of Collaroy up in Alley 5. You see Palm Beach also still back on the shoreline there. McMaster's and Big Collaroy. wave in front of Collaroy to ne get through. And there's and a McMaster's, big wave for McMaster's they're and they're over, over that McMaster's. McMaster's are out to sea. So they look like to be the only boat out to sea. At the moment, Collaroy trying to turn their boat around. They're still in the danger zone. They are in a danger zone. And Long Reef, got to get it moving now. There's nothing in front of him. He has to pull the trigger on well, going. But the McMaster's out to sea. Out. Great nice rowing work, there. Girls. Two and a half minutes almost has elapsed. Good work from the young ladies. Feel us sweeping from all the sweeps. We see the Bateman's Bay boat out of shot. Probably done for this race with the time limit. And it looks so like it, Palm Beach boat. All three crews are out. Well, not all three. Two are definitely not out, but three out of five are out. Oh, yeah. And we're... Uh, <laughs> and then McMaster's already turning. Nice work, ladies. Now you just got to get home safely. 
pick your way home. Half the job done. Yep, and it, and it is half the time, three minutes to get to the cans for the McMaster's minis. wonder if the time limit will be extended for the younger ladies, but six minutes at this stage, and you see Collaroy going in to their turn up in Alley 5. And Long Reef castaways, they're turning as well now. So there's McMaster's minis. Great to just see the junior girls on, crew out of McMaster's. Just sitting on top of that swell there. Using it nicely. They've fallen off the back. Now it's time to work hard. Get it going, girls. See Mick Norman on the back of that boat. Good sweep. His son, his son Brad, also sweeping today in the Fat Dads. He's, uh, they've got a nice little one behind them. If they can go for it now, they can get down that safely. Come on, Mickey. He's chasing it. Give it, girls. Give it. They're over, and they've come back. Nice now trail. you've got to hold it straight for the boss. It's going to explode on the bottom of oh. that bank. Collaroy. Collaroy with the, the screamer. Covers. In Kept them in the still. seats. That's a big call. Great wave there. Is that Ando? Gav. Can't Good see work, the face, mate. but that's pretty well that done. looks like Gav. Pulling it back around. It's nice great work. run from the girls. Nice work in the bow. You I see mean, up uh, in alley num number three. That was McMaster's, uh, McMaster's minis Crossing coming across first. the office. Palm Beach look as though they're heading out. Palm Beach are going back to sea, but looking at the clock, Long Reef have come minutes. unstuck on the way home. They've lost their sweeper. They've lost a rower. Uh, and and they're I sitting heard, sideways in the break. I think I heard... I'm not sure if there'll be a hooter or a one-minute siren to go. So, according to our clock, they've got a minute and a half left. But see their Long and Reef that's, boat. That's what you call a ghost boat. They need help there, Long Reef. There's some Officials waving. onto the scene. There's a jet ski there. We've got... Down Palm Beach are heading out to sea. They've got to navigate a bit of white water here. And now's your chance, girls. There's right a one-minute gun. One-minute hooter. Jeez, you're right on the clock there, Jace. Pretty, well done. Pretty quick with that one. So that we can see the girls making that. The Long Reef girls making their way back to sea, back to shore. The jet ski did whiz out of there. They might have someone on board. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. But yeah. Palm Beach, you've got. 40 seconds. So you're either going to turn it around and get yourself out of strife. They're rowing for pride, no doubt, just to get a feel for the conditions. The girls can get out the back and catch a wave in, but they'll probably be told to row off the course. I'd say most definitely to keep the races, keep the races moving. They've snuck around the side of that one, but this next one... Oh, well, what's happened here? She's coming out of the boat. She's coming out of the, the boat. The young Bowman's coming out of the boat. The other girls are Ryan's staying there. Ryan's jumped out of there. Something's happened. He's well done, Ryan, to j jump out for safety. Go and, go and look after him, mate. He's calling for help. The other girls, well... Jet skis are right there, so... Don't like up. to say it, Jace, but... Officials are going to have a look at this race with the junior girls. and oh. You know, we don't want Hang anyone on. hurt. The jet ski's there punching through one. He's got a couple of passengers on the back. Get on. Hold on, mate. Well, get them out of here. Our jet ski drivers are the best in the business. And not forgetting, we're all lifesavers. Ryan's a great lifesaver, and he's done a job there for, for his uh, his young rower. Now, these girls trying to just keep it upright. They've got a broken sweep or shaft the on Ryan's blade, end. The blade's busted. Sorry, blade, you're right. So girls, girls, just get it back to the beach, girls. There's nothing doing there. Get it away from that tower. They'll have club mates right on the edge, no doubt, to help yeah, them out. Going and save them. You can see them They're just just off to our side here. Oh, uh, you got to pat these young girls on the back for having a crack at this surf. With little experience, like what do you do when the sweep comes out of the boat? I haven't seen that one, but to Ryan's defence, he was jumping to that oh, girl's. I, he was jumping to that girl's help, and I, I don't know. I, it's not a call we often use. Jump out. No, no, <laughs> I don't. Um, what Ryan's done is the right thing there to, to bail out and give her a hand. Because he obviously saw she was in trouble, but uh, the most the most important thing then for the girls remaining in the boat is to get the boat back to. There's back one of the, the young rowers. She's okay. She's probably just out of breath in this. Tamara Braun, one of the officials, a, looking what a after. Great official. That's great to see. She's okay. Probably t swallowed a bit of water. You see the officials now having a serious talk. Where's the, the start? That's There's the box finish from line. North Cronulla on the tower. Sorry, the team. Well, it's one hour and we've knocked over the first round of racing. A few, few little mishaps along the way. We can see the team there from Palm Beach all gathering around to help the, help the 
young ladies get their boat up. A lot yeah. Of, it's a, a sport we'll where we all like to work together and help each other out from the club. And even if even if they're not from your club, you'll run down and give them a hand anyway. Sure will. That's something we should encourage anyone listening. These boats are heavy and the edge is a tricky place. Oh, that's where most all. accidents happen, and on you, the edge. Some of the rowers say I'm a bit cranky, but it's more a concern. I just don't want anyone to switch off on that edge. Well, just trip to the dentist or a trip to the doctor's not in anyone's interest. Parents don't like it. Ruins the school photos. It does, mate. It does. I'm, I'm, so I'm we're a... just on hold, are we, for the moment? Just getting our bearings back. We're, we're probably due to go back Reserve to the start minutes. of the field. Round two, so going to take a nature break and I'll be right back. Right, we got the start line for the uh, next race, which is back to the round, first round of the open uh, reserve grade men's, the Palm Beach Peppers, the Coogee BS, Palm Beach Pelicans, and the Queenscliff Kings, which they were out. Uh, we put a line through them for the day, so they've pulled out, they're gone. Um, it'll take a little while to get the Palm Beach boat from the uh, southern end of the beach up to the alley, unless they've got a number of boats here. But we've got the starters flag up. The digital hooter has gone off. And we've got three boats on the line. So we've got two Palm Beach crews, the Peppers and the Pelicans, and Coogee B charging out to sea. So the big boys move the boat a bit faster. But Palm Beach Peppers have stopped. Palm Beach Pelican have gone over and under one. And now they're, they're having a dig at it. That looks like the Peppers up in Alley 1. Navigating some smaller surf. Now they've seen a break, they want to go for it. Can they get over this one? Took it on a bit of water there. They're lifting it up, driving it, trying to get out of there because you never know what's going to come next. But the uh, Pelican have got a good shot at some clean water. Could you be in the middle of the field? They're, uh, they're making their way to sea nice and calmly. So all three crews are out at the moment. Uh, we've just got uh, Tash Tunney joining us in the commentary box. G'day, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. It's a bit uh, of uh, excitement out there, isn't it? How are your grenades? Uh, well, I haven't seen them yet today. I saw Pete, um, still pretty pumped. Um, on a bit of a high, so um, yeah. So the, yesterday, the grenade, the Glenelg grenades in the under twenty three ladies were successful in becoming the Australian representative team, which is awesome. Yeah, first time for a South Australian crew, so pretty exciting. And um, you know, being a small state, um, it's yeah, it's it's a big thing for SA and Pelicans, the club. Pelicans have had a bad turn there. They've uh, missed their the can, can by or... a long way. They've gone a long way around it, but hasn't damaged their speed all that much. Coodies holding them off at the moment, but they're all in a straight line, and we'll wait and see if there's a wave coming or not. Little bubble here, little lift. For the Pelicans in Alley 3 there. Doesn't seem to be much behind them at the moment, which is could be a good thing today. So we've got three boats, two Palm Beach. Down. Oh, Palm look at Palm Beach. Alley, Alley 1 has stopped. Choosing Coogee's, to wait that one out. Coogee's stopped as well. Well, Coogee's going to go for it, I reckon. Yeah, they're having a crack at this one. They want to get it moving so they can get, de get they down want in to front of that little the bubble. Wave. You don't want the wave catching you. That's just a nice. disaster. But that's nice work from the boys. That's good work there. Nice control. You can just see the blades of the uh, other Palm Beach boat in the bottom corner of the screen there. Coogee might get the run on it. Oh, here. a little drop for Coogee there. They're going to drop over that little double up. Got a bit of a push and bend of the wave maybe. I, th I think uh, they got Ooh. that one. Might have just snuck in front there, the Coogee Maybe. crew. We'll need the line technology for that one. And here comes the uh, Peppers. They've actually waited to navigate the surf safely. It's all about getting points to go to progress through the next round. They've got something building behind them. They just want to try and get in front of that. Stay on that little bubble in Little front. bubble. Let this one break behind them. Now, I got in trouble for saying bubble. A little bubble. Yeah, my old mates from Molly Mook, they said, what's this bubble rubbish? Oh, bubble. Yeah. 
So Ooh, just a little look wave. Look at the backwash there as oh, these waves crash together. It's exploding. It's fantastic to see hard, hard work if you're steering a boat coming down that. But nice work there from the, the boys skimming their blades to help keep the boat level, make the sweep's job easier if the boat's not rocking and rolling underneath him. Alrighty, um, we're going to bring in a rookie into the commentary team now. So, um, Jace, you can go and have a bottle of water and take 20 minutes or half an hour or so and have a break. Thanks, Tash. Go for a wander. And uh, we'll be back with you a little bit later. So, uh, we've got Matt Mile joining us from the Avalon Beach Reserve Men Crew. So, welcome, Matt, to uh, your first little hit of live stream commentary. Thanks, Tash. Thanks for having me. I'm pretty pretty pumped. Some uh, good racing going on out there already, so good um, to see what's coming. Now, your crew, Pinkies, did the double last year, won the uh, Cyril Open Resis and won the uh, Resis at Aussies. Why are you not here today? Uh, so we've got Nick Sampson is, uh, did his shoulder in the Sweeps Academy earlier in the year. Yeah. I've broken my finger, so I should be back in a couple of weeks. Tom Kerno is sick in bed. <laughs> and our stroke from last year's crew was pulled out. So three, so of, three of us were meant to be rowing, but three, three people sick. So there's a few, uh, few fill-ins in the pinkies this weekend. So can we expect to see the pinkies back together minus one this season? Yep, we, uh, we'll be back. Uh, two of the, two, Tom, Tom Kerno and I will be here. And then uh, uh, Andy Bright and Nick Sampson not rowing. We've got two new guys, so it should be, should be good. Yeah, okay, awesome. Alrighty, so we are underway here with uh, round two of the Reserve Mail Heat 2. So going from the top of screen, we've got Col Coleroy SOBs, Allura Silverbacks in Alley 2, North Bondi Blade Runners in 3 and South Curl Curl Love Boat in 4. So it looks like at this stage it's Alley 2, Allura Silverbacks. So we're going to punch, try and punch through this. North Bondi up and over. Some, uh, some big challenging surf out oh, there today. They're about to get smashed there. here. Oh, just through. Well done. Right, it's, so the next, the next one em. that might get them. Potentially. Oh, they might no, just get over pop it. over that. So we've got three through, three out at this stage. It's the Collaroy crew with a bit of work to do, but they should get out over these next few waves. I think a North Bondi Blade Runners look to be maybe just ahead of the Allura Silverbacks in Alley 2, and right up the top is Collaroy SOBs who are just making their way through now. So a lot of sweeps are sort of electing to sit back and wait um, and try and just pick their way out rather than try and punch through these swells. Um, then you've got to get home as well. So we've got North Bondi on screen there, so around the cans. So it is short course today, so it's around 240, 250 metres. So it is literally around the cans, and then you can dial one in. Uh, North Bondi running a nice swell there, falling off it. Uh, not much coming, it doesn't look like. So pretty evenly matched here, these two crews. And see these sweeps looking backwards now just to see what's coming. And I reckon, do you reckon they will both select to take this one? I think Allura looks like they're going for it. But yep. North Bondi. There we go. It. Oh, here we go. It's a bit like uh, a wave day, isn't it? Just sit there it's and great. wait and pick your wave. Quick trail yeah. there from both crews. Nice boat work by Allura. That's great. Collaroy just on the one behind. That Nev, Nez, I reckon, big Nez. Great job there. Really great work, those guys. Little double up here, just a drop down. And Collaroy on screen here. So they were the ones that were last out, but cracked a nice one on the way home. Oh, stay with it, little brooch. Pack the oh, high side, boys. No. Oh, no. Now they can still finish the race. Just got to roll the boat over, get three oars and three rowers touching the boat. And they can still finish the race and uh, collect some points. So North Bondi coming across the... Um, the where's that, line and where's that last boat? what happened there's to the... South Kilkill Love Boat? See how shallow it is there for the Colorado crew. It makes it pretty hard to get the boat over. Ah, uh, here we go. South Kilkill Love Boat. Oh, oh they've just over. slewed and over as well. So pretty tricky conditions here for the sweeps. It looks like um, that the water movement sideways is pretty uh, tricky, a bit like a washing machine in there, and it's just um, proving hard for them to keep it straight. Got to be ready to pack the high side in this, don't you? 
Good canvas for the for a sponsor there on the bottom of the South Curly boat. Yeah, we have we have dabbled with that idea, getting um, a health insurance. We've been right. we're talking with a health insurance company at the moment for some uh, sponsorship, and one of the ideas going around is actually put their logo as, as a sticker on the bottom of all the boats. <laughs> pray, pray you don't see it too much, but if you do... Radio, you've got the Lura Silverbacks there, so... Be happy getting the win there, getting it in and out in one piece. See, the boys are pretty uh, excited to be going out in that swell. We'll be working overtime today, our water safety team. So great to have um, the resources here, the jet ski. Um, makes it a bit easier to get in and pick up oars and people within the IRB. So it'll uh, be busy today, no doubt. The, the surfs, uh, the surfs seem to come up more than they uh, they predicted today, which is uh, yeah, hundred percent. Which is it was, um, which is exciting for the for the spectators, but um, a few crews pulling out because of the uh, the risk. Well, there's Here's your the boys. Pinkies, they're my boys. <laughs> it's the pinkies minus uh, minus all the pinkies. Yeah, pinkies <laughs> oh, less Nate. the pinkies. Yeah, Nate, Nate's sweeping today with a broken feet. wrist. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's. Uh, I'm copping a bit of crap because uh, I've You're got a broken finger, finger, but he's sweeping with a broken wrist. So. They didn't do too well in their first race. They had a big, big roll, but see how they go in the second one. So who have you got rowing in that crew then? Uh, Pete Carter's rowing in the bow. Um, Lockie Mills, second bow. Ellis James in second stroke. And then Todd Barber in the, in the stroke seat. Pete in the bow. Yeah. One of your sweets. Yeah, scary stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, so going into our third heat, we've got Palm Beach Padlocks, McMaster's Fat Dads, Bateman's Bay Ultimate Reserves and Avalon Beach Pinkies. Who's your tip on this one? Uh, you, you struggle to go past Bateman's Bay, but, you know, obviously I want the Avalon boys to win. Yep. Um, McMaster's won their first one. I was going to say, Fat Dad's so are pretty good in they're, surf. They're, they're, they're a good, good surf boat crew. and Yeah. They're really not the Fat Dad's. They're, uh, they're all, <laughs> no, they're all they're rocking not. six packs. So. Radio, so you can see these boys here. They're going to be doing a bum start. Yeah, the Avalon boys do bum starts. Yep. Um, and you've also got round Rolex as yeah. well. Yeah. One of the few clubs, I reckon, in Australia. Becoming, I reckon they're becoming more popular. The, oh. fat, the fat dads have got round rocks as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Marichi Dora have got them. But, so they're, uh, they, I don't know if they're on their way back, but they're uh, you know, certainly different. There we go. So with the bum start, they're sort of getting the bum up and over the gunnel. Um, other crews do a, like a jump or a step in, so going in feet first. McMaster's off to a good start again. Yeah, they've got some speed off the beach, haven't they? They do. You'd need that in these conditions. See if the old boys can keep the... Uh, Keep the energy up for the whole or the short race. <laughs> so we've got Neil Innes sweeping here for Bateman's Bay. Yeah, they they little look, bumps look like here, just the but that might crew pop with, just with the nose ahead at the moment. The, the Bateman's yeah. Bay boys. What happened there? Oh, he's just held and them up. Here we go. That. So what the sweep's doing there when he holds them up is just to wait for that wave to break and then he'll get them to take one stroke to try and pop up over the swell and just holding them up there. So this is uh, Pete Spence here, one of our top sweeps. Oh, so leaning back there just to try and lift that nose up and over, get the weight on the back of the boat. I reckon these boys might, might be through, through the danger zone. But it is the Bateman's Bakery. Got a Bateman's and the Fat Dads and the Pinkies and Palmy just still yeah. sitting in that uh, wave zone. So um, seems to the crews have sort of settled into the conditions now. There's a lot more crews getting through and out. I think they've sort of after that first round of um, sort of got a feel for the sitting, waiting, picking their way through rather than just trying to punch through it. We've worked it out. Those waves are uh, much more powerful than they look as we found out. Uh, a lot of crews have oh, found out the hard way. Go Av, chase it. Little bubble. Here's the oh, fat dad, fat Brad dads. Norman, back again. Oh, oh, fantastic lift there. Not fat enough in the front to bring the bow down. Look at Bateman's just coasting on it. They've elected to let that one roll under them. Interesting choice there. We're going to try and take this one on with um, the fat dads at the same time, I reckon. We'll have them on the same wave. It's like the fat dads might just be in the wrong spot. Yes. Oh, they might get it. There we go. Just running the swell north. And here they go. Oh, Neil Innes, great surf sweep. It's the boys back. And Avalon, bottom of screen, just holding up there. So Nate's obviously seen something coming through and he just wants to get them in the right position. Try and get them all back in one piece. Interesting to see what happens here. The fat dads have got the option to row. They yeah. stay in their seat, so yep. they might get a little push over the line, but we'll see. So interesting, he's called the two forward to get them ready to row. 
but I think it might. Whoa. Might be the Fat Dads. Fat Dads may have just yeah, got that. So those in front of the north end. Avalon sideways. Boys will roll it round. Well done. Oh. Nate just trying to hang on there. Well done. Really tricky conditions in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of sideways pull right at the edge. Yeah. There. It's a bit of a gully that's uh, full yep. of water and pulling, pulling the boats. Uh, it's dropping off quite quickly as well. Yeah. So it gets deep re- fairly quick. But under the Batemans Bay guys and the McMasters guys, we'll just wait to see the results there. Oh, Palm Beach Plumbers. Is it the Plumbers? No, Padlocks. Padlocks. Palm Beach Padlocks. Just a little bit of strife here. Yeah, uh, Spencer looks knackered. Does. He looks a bit defeated and it's only early. I'm sure he'll, re- he'll regroup. He'll be back. Yeah. There's plenty of crews here today. That's hard work, yeah. So Neil and wife Tracy on screen there. So It's like a, a newish crew that Bateman's Bay have had a really strong reserve crew for a lot of years. It's yeah, I reckon they're in too a many, new boat. Uh, not too many uh, familiar faces in that crew, but certainly rowing the boat well. Yeah, they've got a lot of solid crews, um, Bateman's Bay in all divisions, so they tend to field the strong crews. They've got their new boat. I think they haven't had a new boat for quite some time, so um, that'll be exciting for them to... See Nate there, just giving some advice to the crew. Telling everyone what to do or what not to do. North Bondi. <laughs> this is the Coogee girls looking like they're, uh, they're up next or up very soon. The next will be round two of the reserve female uh, results from the last race. McMaster's Fat Dads, Batemans Bay, Avalon Beach, Pinkies and Palm Beach Padlocks. Heat three, round two of the reserve men. Reserve female, we've got Coogee, DMGs, Allura Powell, Batemans Bay, Marubra and Coogee. Who do you like in this one, uh, Tash? Um, oh, I'm going to go the Batemans Bay Banshees. That's my tip. Seems that they're uh, doing a lot of turnarounds, Batemans Bay guys. Yeah, so, Neil's getting a fair workout. <laughs> yeah. He's miles up today. Marubra crew. So we'll be moving into round two, hit one, for our reserve females. So this is a um, Aussie title event today. So um, we, after a couple of years of trialling the short course um, within the main component of Aussies um, around March, April each year, um, we decided to pull it out of the program and actually make it a separate event just to see if we could get better attendance. Some of the crews don't like to sort of hedge their bets and enter short course and risk breaking gear and, and um, getting injured. Um, so they tend to only enter one of the events and so just to increase participation across the two we've pulled out the short course this year paired it up with our national team selection which was run yesterday and um, seeing if we can just get more crews participating and I think we've we've hit around the um, 100 crews mark for the short course which is double what we get normally at Aussies so um, we'll put, trial this for a few years and see how it goes and um, if it gets the numbers and the success then we'll uh, keep with this format. Great work by the ASRL and the ASRL committee for the convincing Surf Life Saving Australia to give uh, give over the the medals for this event. It's, um, yeah, no, nah, they've certainly been... a, it's certainly a good event, and uh, and they uh, a lot of a lot of crews like the shorter racing, especially this this time of the year. I suppose so something different. Spencey has his own batteries there, <laughs> um, so the boys are either doing some um, changing the batteries over or uh, doing some quick repairs. They're getting a bit of a workout today. So um, all of these boats come with um, batteries um, and bilge pumps so we can actually get the water out of the boats as quick as possible. So there's two little pumps within each boat um, and you really need those, particularly in these conditions. Got uh, something you don't see often at Palmy is you've got the Peter Spence battery going in the uh, in the Maddie Giblin boat. 
borrowing it's not, some gear. Uh, it's, it's not the, the conventional palmy way. <laughs> well, I reckon when Spencey had his accident at Aussies, when he came around, one of the first things he asked about was uh, making sure the batteries were taken out of the boat before yeah, it was packed. I heard that. <laughs> so uh, worrying about his own health, worrying about nah, the boat. No, worrying about the boat. So good to Range see everyone coming together down there. For Greg Hurd. So he's our chief referee today, Greg Hurd. So taking over the reins from Tamara yesterday, who did the national team selection. So great to have Greg Hurd on board. He hasn't been um, with the ASRL doing uh, officiating for quite a while. So it's good to see him back joining the team. He's the uh, Australian team manager again, is he? Yes, Greg yeah, Hurd. Australian team manager and state team manager for New South Wales as well. Right. For the good guys, New South Wales. I don't know. You might be up against it this year. If SA continues how the Glenelg girls did, we'll... Um, Give it how, a bit of a nudge. How good is that for the Glenelg Club getting, oh, the, uh, getting the Aussie team going over to in New February over to New Zealand to yeah. race against the Kiwis? Pretty Great special. Stuff. Pretty special. Pete was amazing sweeping yesterday. He was just um, pretty, steady pretty all day. Choppy and yeah. horrible yesterday. So Yeah, he didn't yeah, get sort of phased at all. So, um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty special. Um, the girls had a bit of a chat with Wilco during the week and just to find out about how the selection of venues run, what to expect, because it's not like a normal carnival. So um, he gave them a few pointers and tips, and that obviously paid off along with all of their, you know, fitness. They're in doing fair few sessions on the ergs. Um, been putting it in down down yeah, in South Australia. They've been training flat out. So um, you've been helping them. Uh, I they do their own. Like they're pretty independent. Those girls. Yeah. Um, we all run off the same program um, for our water sessions, yeah. um, and then we're doing our own bit of a mixture of our own er- ergs, sort of share ergs and stuff. But um, yeah, I think they're about six times a week. They're sort of out either in the gym or doing ergs or um, on the water. So I think we're doing around three sessions a week on the water. So great bunch of girls. Spend a bit of time with them at the yeah. Aussies. So yeah, well done to them. Fun. So, and yeah, great for SA for surf boats. Um. Bit of a hold up. They, they might be adjusting the course or uh, having a bit of a chat regarding safety. But uh, we'll get the round two of the reserve female underway as soon as we can. Yep. Beautiful day down here on uh, Queenscliff Beach. Plenty of people walking around. And it's great spectating today. It is fantastic. <laughs> Plenty of spectators. I don't know about. Uh, I'd probably, yeah, I'd have a go, a go out in this. I think it's um, not as. I think Allura was a bit more challenging on that Saturday at, um, at the Aussies. So, uh, it's certainly uh, the, the direction of the waves is changing as well. Sort of coming, coming a bit more from the uh, from the north than, than expected, but uh, it was making for some great racing. The whistle's gone now for round two. Boats will be going in the water very shortly. So just a little update from um, Tamara, the one of the referees down there today. Um, they're just changing the time limit to seven minutes, so which is quite long for short course. Mm. Um, but they're just extending the time out um, so that uh, give the times that do the crews that do roll over just that bit more time to. Um, get their oars and things back together but also what it will allow is allow those crews to sit and wait a little bit longer and not feel that pressure to sort of push through and and go out through something that um, they may not if they've got a you know a bit more time so um, that's why there was that little pause in program so um, certainly just... a smart smart move by the safety committee just uh, not not putting the pressure on yeah on any and crews. we've seen today that if you do roll you can there is time to get back in and get the boats um, back together and and uh, we saw from the masters guys in the First race of the day, they uh, rolled and then they end up winning the race. So, great call to move the time limit or to change the time limit. So, interestingly, we've got one of the Allura rowers starting in the boat. It's very interesting. You don't see it too often. It could, nep- could be a could be because of a, a leg injury or, or a yeah inability to jump. But they are. You do see it every now. Every and now and then. then. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that for quite a while. I don't know that quite the rules around it. I, I believe you've got to get it's dis- uh, per- discretion of yeah, it. Yeah, permission yeah, from ref. the. Um, from the referee, but my opinion is it's probably a hindrance rather than a... Yeah, because the boat's unbalanced, yeah. yeah. The other uh, members of the crew have got to keep the boat flat. Yeah. So So there we go, guns up here. So we're going into heat one, round two. So we've got Alley one, Coogee DMGs, Allura Power in two, Bateman's Bay Banshees in three, Maroon Magnets Alley four, and Coogee Cogs in five. They're away, nice clean start. Good job by the starter there. Yeah. They might even get a 
clean run. They might be able to punch through this bit of uh, white water and get out. Or Scott Neal is holding his girls up there. See, can see something we can't from here, but... So bottom of the screen. They've all stopped, so there must be... Yeah, big, set. look uh, at that double up there. Big wall of water out there at the moment. See all the sweeps standing up tall, just trying to see over. I heard it's quite tricky to see what's coming next. So. Yeah, and just backing it up there as well. So you don't want to be too close to the wave when it breaks. You want to have enough sort of space to, for some of that power to be taken out. You're finding a lot of water movement, but it's also dragging you out, which is... Um, Here we got Alley 3 is going for it. So Batemans Bay Banshees, they are going to punch through. So Neil's seen something, a little gap, and he's gone for it. They were your pick, Tash, so it looks like they might be the... And Coogee down the bottom. Beautiful. Nice long, long rowing here. One to go over there. Nice. Well Great. Done. And good hang there from the bow. Oh, stroke seat just came out of her seat there. Getting hard to get back on her seat. They'll be off again. So Coogee down the bottom. They're also through. So that's the Coogee Cogs. And coming up behind them is the Marubra Magnets. Allura still trying to pick their way through here, and I reckon they'll be out now. It looks like they've got some um, clear space to get through. They're well off could, the pace, though. So could you have really caught back up here? It seems, or now which could you crew is that? Is that the? Yeah, it's, uh, it's the cogs down the bottom. Cogs of the, down this the one bottom. on screen now, I think, is the DMGs. There we okay, go, so yeah. DMGs just um, having just a bit of challenge getting out. Struggling to get out through the break, but they're on their way. Nice, powerful strokes there. And Paul Bill sweeping that crew there from Coogee DMGs. Right, round we go. So it is Bateman Bay just hanging on to that lead. Um, they just lost that bit of the lead that they had with the stroke coming they out of their catches? seat. But, oh, oh it'll be close enough. Beautiful lift from that runner there. And there is swells building. So we may see that Coogee crew down the bottom join Bateman's Bay if they can pull onto these runners. Just keeping them steady there, the, the Bateman's crew. Nice long strokes. Maruba Magnets just stopped as soon as they turned the can, so there's obviously something rolling through here. Could you also electing to stop? So they want to take it on and have some power when they hit these waves. Look at Bateman's. There we go, and he's called them back. Great move. Fantastic. You can see that water moving, uh, white water uh, coming back out with the backwash. Look at him, but cool, calm and collected, yeah, isn't he? Steady as, <laughs> steady as they come. He makes it look, look a lot easier than it nice is. Nice work there, but... Neil and the girls from, from Batemans. So calling the girls forward just to get the bow down. That helps get that keep them work. on the wave. Coming across that finish line. Get great that. stuff. Great, great stuff. The finish line technology. Yeah, it's been fantastic. The technology is just um, improving every year. We've got six cameras currently running at the moment. Yep. Um, we have finish line cameras on the tower. We've got um, four course cameras that sit up on the beach in between the tents. Um, that look out to sea and they look if there's any impeding, they can see um, what's happening with the um, course. And then we're also trialling a drone this year. So we've actually got two drones in the sky, one for the live stream, and then we've got another drone that Surf Life Saving New South Wales have provided and that is um, being trialled as a course judge essentially. So the drone sits out at the back over the cans um, and for every race, there's a drone out there and it makes sure that everyone goes around the cans properly. But it also can show you if crews have impeded or cut another crew off. So we actually used it yesterday in the um, national team selection event um, and it showed a clear impedance by a crew. So um, I think the little trial has um, been a success so far. Is that in replacement of the, uh, the IRB that used to sit out the back? Uh, yeah, the IRB that sit out the back. But also we have course judges that sit. Oh, or Maruba just that. got to get inside that flag to finish the race. They're it's interesting to see here that the uh, flag at the bottom of the screen that's now disappeared and the flag on the far end is... A lot of people think that's the finish line, but... No, and it's, it, uh, it's they're not, actually just the area you need to finish yeah, between them. It's just the guide of where you've got to finish, or not yeah. the guide, it's the... Um, where you have to finish between. Yeah, so with these drones that they have out there, um, the course judge drone, um, they have one in the sky, and then when the battery needs to be replaced, they fly a second drone out, get it set in the right location, and then bring that um, second drone back in to change the battery. So there's always eyes in the sky. Um, and we have course judges that sit up the top as well in a tent and watch, but it is difficult, particularly with sun glare, to see sometimes early in the morning if crews have gone round and if there's been an impedance. So... Um, you know, we'll probably look to um, upskill and, and retrain some of our officials to actually learn to use the technology. So instead of um, sitting in a tent looking out to sea, they'll actually be working off a TV wall 
um, and reviewing all of the, the camera footage and um, making decisions on that way. So Things are changing, but, but for the, for the yeah. good, I suppose, for the good of yep. the sport. Or... Yeah, and I think it gives the competitors that assurance that the decisions that are made are right as well. Like, yeah. it's really hard to call some of those finishes. It's not, not what... Uh not going off just what people are saying and, yeah. and who's got the most yeah. good, uh, convincing argument. Yeah, and like when your crew's put in, you know, all that training for a whole season and it comes down to the wire and one end calls one result, the other end calls the other and they go, oh, we'll just choose one. Yeah. It's, yeah, for it can sure. be heartbreaking for some. So we've you, got so you here... You called it there, Cash, Bateman's Bay Bateman's Bay Banshees. Could you Cogs, Allura Power third, could you DMG's fourth and Mariba Magnets just sneaping into the course area there with a fifth place. So, yeah, we've definitely seen more crews in and out getting through a bit more safely now. Um, they've got a bit of a feel for it. Okay, so round two, heat two. We've got North Cronulla Diamonds in alley one, Palm Beach Pterod Pterodactyls in two, Avalon Beach Chaos and North Bondi Shredders in four. Palmy crew there trying to uh, stretch the rules of... Uh of every every Palmy crew's got to start with a P, but... Yeah, <laughs> silent P on yeah, that one. Pterodactyls are... <laughs> Off and so. racing here. Now, we've only got three boats, so I reckon we have had yep, a yes. scratching. Avalon Beach have pulled out. Oh, Avalon Beach did girls, pull out yeah. earlier. That's so. right. Yep. So, Palmy getting off the beach. That's, that's uh, the pterodactyls from Palmy. They look like they've just got the nose in front. So, we might see these crews. Oh, there's a big one rolling through. What are they going to do? Hold up. Wait. Go. Uh, they're going for they're it. They're going for it. They might pop over. It's pebbles oh. there, the new sweep for, for Palmy. Bit of air time. Is it? Oh, I, don't know, I don't know that it is. Nah. No, it's Coxie. Spency does not sweep in Dickos. No. So, North Bondi. Shredders. Out clean. I think that's uh, Coxie sweeping his wife, Spency's wife. No, not, not, uh, not oh, this yep. crew, but the Palmy crew. Yep. Um, Tizza from she's been Rome for years. She had a few years off, so I think they've brought back the uh, some of the old heads, or the older heads. Yeah, nice rowing from these girls here. Really strong finish. Just ripping those hands into the chest. A little pause at the back to let the boat run. So they're they're half go a length in front. One, the North Bondi crew. Two. Really wide turns. Three. There. Not ideal. And just straight getting caught up on that yellow can as well. It's difficult sometimes stroke seat with that um, can in your getting caught on your blade. North Bondo really running north. Seeing something there you might wants to get, but the old girls throwing their shoulders back. They're really opening up the body. Here we go, nice we go. run there. See if they can get up on Palmy with this. Working, so lift the right. Yeah, they really go. North lean back, get that weight in the bow. Just going to miss oh, it, unfortunately. That's both heartbreaking. Drop off. Now, it looks like it's not too big at this stage rolling through, so we'll see See if they can get on. There's a little something under them now. There's Coxie, a little looks lift. like he's just going down something. Yeah. He won't quite oh, we've get had it. a trail. This is interesting here. You see the, the shape of the wave, different Each both side, ends there, yeah. yeah. A little double up and I'm going to have to call Coxie's these girls got his, forward. Uh, they're in their seat, so they're going to row. It's a huge advantage if you can leave them in their seat, isn't yeah. it? Massive advantage. But they look like they have a little bit of a push there, North Bondi, at the end. Leave that one to the, uh, to the so cameras. all out and all home. That's great. So we'll see uh, when the finish results come through. But we've got Palmy and North Bondi Shredders in first and second. Not sure on the order. And just coming through at the back that of the field. That was a quick race. That, the, that would have only been sort of four minutes. Uh, yeah, it was very quick, North Cronulla. If, if that. So. so well within the seven-minute timeline. So we're on to our um, 19 men. 19 now. men. Two heats of 19 men in round two. So we'll have four rounds for our um, 19 men before going into a final. Um, our 19 women are going to have straight four rounds, so they won't have a final. They're four just going to do four rounds score. on a point score. Yeah. 
Just waiting for the results of that uh, round two, race two of the reserve female. And then the 19 men getting ready for their heat one round two. Your water is cold here at the moment. Water temperature? Yeah, I went out for a swim, not yesterday, the day before. Um, it's like 18 degrees. It's beautiful. That is freezing. It's like it Adelaide cold. weather. Yeah. <laughs> I came over expecting it to be it, nice it, and warm, and get some sunshine. Last, uh, and <laughs> last few weeks, the temperature has dropped. Yeah. But, um, yeah, surprising for this time of year to uh, be so fresh. The Queenslanders will be struggling coming down to this yeah. water. <laughs> Probably the only ones wearing jumpers down on the beach. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got a three-boat race here, round two. Must have been a pretty close finish for that reserve women. So we've had a few pull out. So we are supposed to have Alley 1, North Cronulla Adrenaline, South Kilkill Burley 2, North Cronulla Jeopardies in three, Collaroy Red in four, and South Kilkill Wampa in five. Um, we'll see who's actually fronted up to the line. We've got... South Curl, I can see, I can see North Cronulla. So I reckon we've boats. got North Cronulla, Adrenaline in one, South Curl, Curl Burley in two, North Cronulla, Jeopardies in three. And I think that makes up our field. So it's a three boat race. I don't know if that swell's dropped a little, but it seems seem to, to be have, uh, a little bit, just sort of eased off just a little. The tide's on their way out. So yep. the, uh, getting a little bit shallower across the bank. You can see how heavy it looks there for the crews. May it may be under 19s, but they can still move the boat just as uh, almost as fast, or if not as fast, as the reserves. Yep. Uh, nice and light. They're all probably giving up 20 kilos each to the yeah. <laughs> some of the some of the big boys. So they're going to go for it here. So they're just going to have to try and pop over this one. So results just coming up on the bottom of the screen for that previous race. Uh, it was the um, the Palmy Crew, I think, got it. Palmy Crew got the second, I think. Oh really? Yep. Awesome. Yep. Oh, no, first, Palm Beach Pterodactyls. Ah, there we the go. Screen, yeah. North Bondi Shredders in second. And the Diamonds See in the, third. See, the water must be moving quite a lot out there because they've all drifted south a long way and have to get a yeah. row, row back. If, look at that rowing real angle back, back to their to cans. Their cans. So. Could have been a bit of a t tactic. It might have been uh, a better spot, spot to start for them. But so now we'll they've got a, a bit of a sharp turn now back to that can. So South Curly on screen. Just heading around. Got a, someone having a nice ocean swim in the background there. It's a bit yeah. deep for yeah, my no, liking. No, no, thank you. <laughs> so South Curly, just a bee's dick ahead of those other crews there. Bottom of the screen, North Cronulla Jeopardies going around in two. And they're getting bloody close to each Very other Very close here. Now, this is where that drone yeah. is good for this type of thing. So what's the rule there, Tash? Is it uh, uh, the, so the if boat in the front? It's got boat in front has right, right away. away there, yep. yep. Um, and if you do impede, it means that you can either get DQ'd or you'll get relegated back positions. So it looked like the South Carolina crew did come out very wide, but the uh, North Carolina crew did do a really sharp turn. So yep. they're sort of... Uh, Both North Carolina crews going head-to-head -head here. Top of screen is the Adrenaline. And South Curly looking Great row in there from the South there. Curly boys. Great boat club, the South Curly club. A lot, of good, a lot of good, a lot of good, a lot of good sweeps there, and just a great culture from what from what the outsiders can see. So, and they're underdogs yesterday in the twenty threes, getting yeah. selected in the uh, as the pathway Australia team as well. So they've been strong for a, a long time. So well done to those boys. There we go. So South Curly, Burley, South Coco Burley, or oh, little slew from the adrenaline at the top of the screen here. Are they going to get across first? <laughs> nope. So down the bottom there on screen, North Cronulla Jeopardy is going across in second and it'll be the Adrenaline coming across in third. It's a great club rivalry there. I'd imagine the, uh, the boys will be giving it to each other. Uh, I'll back up the 10 after this. Radio. Um, Matt, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Jay so you can have a chat with him for a little while. And, uh, You're tapping out, Tash. He's going to put his earpiece in. I'm going to go do some um, just some little running around. I've got a little few admin things to do. We've got some VIPs joining us. So we're having the mayor from um, Sydney Northern Beaches Council will be coming down yeah. to uh, watch the racing. What's his so name? Don't know. Is that my phone? <laughs> on my email? <laughs> oh, you, I live here and I don't know. Here, so sorry. let's... Uh... Um, so, yeah, so we've just Michael got... Michael Reagan, is that him? Yes. Yeah, there that you is. go. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so we just need to go and uh, get to the uh, the food and the drinks and the ah, little ready. Don't forget, um, don't forget to stop by this desk when you got the food and the drinks ready. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I'll be back in a little while, but I'll leave you in Jace's capable hands. He's got the uh, earpiece in and take the lead, the Jace. Crew. You can uh, guide Maddie for a moment. Nice to meet you, Matt. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Tash. Oh, what are we up to? 19 miles. 19s, round 282. We've got Surfers Paradise, North Canola Weapons, Allura Squirrels, and the Palm Beach Pentecost. And the start has got them away. Uh, three boats only. So we, one out. We've had a couple of dropouts. Yeah, it looks like the Allura crew hasn't uh, fronted up to the line. And this Palmy crew Not, at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, nice speed from Palmy off the off the start there. They've uh, may have seen a gap. They think they can get out in time, so they're punching it. Nice work. Just a little one to pop over there. Service Paradise Serpents. They've stopped. Hugo can see something coming that uh, may disrupt his run to see. And there it is. Oh, God. Signed it fairly well. They've, they've got a boat full of water now. They're just going to sit there and wait for the pumps to work. and uh, Let that swell push them back towards the beach to get them out of the break zone. Sometimes it's handy, isn't it? You get yeah, a bit for of a hit sure. on the nose, you can fly it backwards a fraction, but two crews are out. The it's Pebbles Pentecost. and the uh, Palmy crew. And the top of the scram, we've got... Uh, who's that one? Is it North Cronulla? The weapons? Could be the weapons, yes. It's uh, hard to follow sometimes yeah, without that many there. crews drop out. It's getting close to their turn now. See the sweeps angling the boat in. So we're averaging four minute races at the moment. The bigger boys are probably doing it a bit faster than that, but that's a nice turn there. Every sweep's got their own little thing at the can. They do differently. We've seen some guys lay back and, and try and get the nose out of the, out of the water. That fellow there just grabbed the, the stroke saw to help pivot. And Palmy are having a shot at something here, getting the speed up, getting a run on, Got using the water. Advantage the 19s, they're all a bit lighter, the boat's a bit, a bit lighter, they can sort of, the swell's in the right shape, it'll just take the boat along. And it'll help pop over too on the yeah. way to sea if you're a little bit lighter, not as much weight in the bow compared to a maybe 110 kilo group of guys compared yeah. to the, or at least the 60, 60 kilo little girls. Yeah, oh, great, great stuff there by the Palmy crew. Nice work. Just steer in the boat. And just just uh, chase it north as well, which is sort of yep. seems to be the flavour of uh, everyone seems to be doing it today. So, yeah, if you're going to slew, you do not want to go go south no. and end up with the current and running over the top of that judge's stand. Just see so. how shallow it is there. It's a massive pull there for the sweep. He's still having to work across the line yeah. there. They've slewed just on the edge. It's there's it is tricky water right on the shore there. Plenty of water moving. We've had the tide drop a little bit, so it's changed a fraction. Pentecost the first, um, provisionally. Uh, we got uh, North Cronulla coming in now, and uh, and we're still looking for the serpents. They're out there somewhere doing their thing. Surface crew just letting a big one uh, wash under them, and Hugo loves, does love a wave, so he'd be hoping for something on the way home. Yeah, some footage of him years ago. Here, here we are. He's called oh, them back called now. He's called them back nice and early. They're back. Oh, good work, Hughes. Excellent, mate. Oh, no. High he's side. Very tough, mate, when you get a, a late one like that. He's still in the boat, the big guy. A few oars. Speared across the boat there. One's out of it, but it's still close by. So they've uh, managed to hold it fairly well together. That was a really late takeoff, that one. So good work to get the, the boys back early and get the weight out of the fr out of the nose of the boat so it makes it easier to steer. But still, when you've got that much water bashing down on the back here, it can be tricky. There's two pumps working over time. Yes, he's full. Yeah, it looks quite low. They'll just make their... As long as they finish in the time limit, so they'll be, they should be fine with that, they'll get, they'll get their points for third place, considering... There was a crew that didn't even start. Yeah. And let's just uh, keep keep accumulating points for the day. He's been around a while, Hugh, hasn't he? Hugh, yeah, left-hander. He actually started up in Serena. Yeah. Up near Mackay. Um, 
with a group of his mates and uh, they didn't have a sweep. He said, well, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. And that's where he started as a young fella. So a mermaid uh, for a bit as well. I remember mermaid, rowing against a mermaid he, he was, crew a few years ago. He was at um, he was at Broadbeach. I think he's been at Chugan. He's been to more clubs than Slim Dusty, as they say. Yeah, but, um, he's had a few starts. He has had a few starts, uh, but now he's doing well. He's, he's found a new home at, at Surfers, and um, they're building really nicely up there. You've got a couple of guys that are really driven. Um, it's like a newish boat as well. Is it a new boat to them up there? Or? Um, they did have a few DKGs, but Hugo does prefer the Perry, so he's got one of them from somewhere. Uh, maybe a second-hand one, but um, yeah, they, they seem to be going well. You passionate people on side, which always makes it a bit easier in a supportive club. Yeah, for sure. If you need staff that, and the club can support you, it's it makes life really easy. So here's some results there from that one. So the Palmy Pentecost with the win, North Canola Weapons, and then the Surface Paradise Serpents with Allura DNS. So that's heat two, round two of the under-19 male. So does that take us back to the little, the little ladies? The little girls, yep. One round, as Tash was saying earlier, they're, um, I believe, just uh, four races and a point score. Righto. So he, there's our start line. We've got the McMaster's Minis. The Batman's Bay Skipjacks. Uh, Palm Beach Pearls. Uh, Avalon Beach CHCMFS. Collaroy Cobras and the Long Rift Castaways. Some of them didn't start last race. Yeah, I know the Avalon Beach crews pulled out. Okay, unfortunately. Let's, uh, the other page, flip it over. That page. We've got some paperwork in front of us here. We're trying to keep up as well. The McMaster's crew won the first one with Mick Norman at the back. Um, who's your pick here, or we'll Ooh. have to just wait and see? Nah, um, Bateman's Bay didn't get off the beach last race. The Long Reef Castaways had a lot of trouble as well themselves. Um, and the Palm Beach Pearl as well. We saw the sweep jump out to help his uh, young bow girl who uh, had a bit of a bump somewhere, somehow. Right. Um, so they might, are they going to be out there? They the might crew? be out there, but I think the minis, the Masters minis did well last time. Yeah. But uh, up in Alley 1, they might have a bit of a tough time there. Yeah, it does seem to be a bit trickier out that left hand on the northern edge. So it's a li- Yeah, a little bit, um, seems to come down a little bit harder. You can see the Long Reef girls on screen there. Ready to go. Now these girls, their age is between 15 and 19, so if you've got a really young girls crew, they can all be 15, um, whereas... It's great for the sport, some those these, young girls. Some of these girls are a little bit more developed in, in size as, as they grow, and, and 19s are a little bit bigger and stronger than the 15s, obviously, but um, as long as you do four, as, all, four, as long as four rowers do the exact same thing at the exact same time, you've pretty much got to start. Yeah. Imagine the heart rates would be up, they'd all be... Uh Seeing think some I, of the, the waves coming through. and I think we've only got three on the line there, so that mean, might mean that we've missed out. Uh, Batemans Bay may have dropped out as well. Batemans and Palmy don't look to be there. So f- Check start has got his flag up. We had two check starters at one point yesterday. So you can see the ladder there with the, the hooters on it. There's also another ladder in the middle of the field with the uh, starter on there. He's elevated... So you can see a little bit what's coming out the back. And there it goes. The digital gun is off. See, there is two check starters in the way. Is there, or are they cameramen? I think we've got... Anyway, they're away. Looks like the uh, even start there. The minis look all right up the, the northern end of the screen, at the top of the screen there. Bit of white water coming for the girls here. Let's see how fast they can hit it and bounce over it. These girls are a lot lighter than the big heavy guys, so the bow does want to bounce over. A lot easier. So the McMaster's Minis just sitting there, taking their time, picking their wave, waiting for a, sh- a break to get out to sea. So uh, smart work, bit of preservation for the girls. Keep, yep. keep them safe, keep them happy. You see the oh, bow yeah. girl looking around there. <laughs> She's so, having a big. They're look. all having a look. <laughs> Be getting yelled at if they were at Avalon there. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I prefer my crews not to look at what's going on. That's my job. They've got to learn to trust me, and uh, I've got to learn to trust them, that they'll give me what I need to get out to sea. If I say go for it, we want power. Still see there's so one like, sort of green one out the back there. The Collaroy's a little bit threatening, starting but... to rev it up. No, they've called it off. Sitting, looking. It's hard to see, it's hard to see the waves coming when you're on water level like that. When, you, when you're up here on the hill, it's easy to see. So get it together, girls. Long Reef's having a dash. 
They're just, over the first one. I think they're going to be clear. They look like they're all right. They're gone. There's, there's like, nothing. That's a that's a sizable one there. They're going to pop over. Uh, nice ladies. The girls in the bow there standing up. To, to still land. having a look around though. Oh, she's <laughs> looking. She's looking. You can calm <laughs> down, mate. You're out the back now. Concentrate on your blade. That's the important thing now. Collaroy going to bash through one. A little bit of nose. And the minis, they're making a dash for it as well. They're up in alley one. Like they just getting the boat up to a bit of speed now, the Colorado girls, but hit a few waves on the way out. I think that's uh, that's all three of them out, it seems to be. All three are out, so we're, we've got uh, Long Beach Castaways in first, the Mi McMaster's Minis in second place, and then it was the uh, Colorado Cobras uh, in third in this race. So we'll, we'll, the drone's up, there it is. You see the long roof castaways hitting hitting the can now. A little bit wide on the turn. Plenty of time now. Though. They know they're the only one out. Just do it. Do it. Uh, all the long way in front. So they are a long way in front. They've probably got eight to ten lengths in front of everyone else, so they can pick their way home. And that's always a good thing to pick it. So you want to, as a sweep, you want to be uh, encouraging these younger rowers. Um, if we make them feel safe, even in conditions like this. They'll want to come back and do it more often. So if you a little... scare hell out of them and, and uh, dump them a couple of times, they sort of tend to shy away a little bit from it. So current Checking. race leaders, he's got them stopped there. Yeah, looking over his shoulder, see what's coming. Let's pick a, pick our way in. They've stopped the boat. Let that one wash under. It's probably a good option there. Could have been a late takeoff. So there is a there is a set out the back. He's got them backing up. Minis have stopped as well. Yeah, they're reversing up. Ooh. It's a good. And hopefully that's not today is not the first time they've learned how to do that because that can be troubling. This looks like the minis are going for it and the long minis, reef crew. So the castaways are having a shot too. So Mick Norman got a cracking wave in the first race of the 19, so we'll see if he can do it again. He oh, looks like he's under wash under. He's let it go. What happened to long reef there as well? Here we go. Nice little wave. Pulls them come back. Home. Nice little wave there. Great little wave. Stay in the bow for a little and bit that longer. Nose drop down. That's where you need the big boys. Oh. Washed off the back of it, just not far enough down it. Now Long Reef are still in their seat, so they've just got to roll it across the line now. If you wash up, fall off a wave, it can put you in a uh, position you don't want to be, but it looks like they've come out of that quite nicely. Oh, they've regained themselves nicely there, back, up, back on their oars, rowing. Both rowing, this will be a close finish. This looks like the Long Reef crew might have the shape of the wave. Oh, no, here we go. No, McMaster's the minis, the minis. two from two. Wow, well done, ladies. And that's a good turnaround for the uh, Long Reef ladies as well. So I think they had a bit of trouble in their first race. And here comes the uh, the Cobras. Making their way across the line for third place. So the girls have had their event altered for the day. They're just doing four rounds and it's going on points. So I mean, Masters are sitting pretty for a, uh, it's a gold It's looking good, medal. yeah. It's yeah. looking great for them. At the moment. So, But anything can happen if you have a, a few role reversals. Um, throws a cat amongst the pigeons and uh, someone's got to sit down and get the abacus out and work out the numbers. Right, so we're back around the reserve grade men. Round three reserve men. I think, so, I think they roll straight into it. Look yeah, like the boys yeah, are ready no, on the edge there. I so don't think there'll be any hold-ups, mate. They want to keep going. So that's... Um, into round three by 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's pretty good going. So we're averaging an hour per round, so that's a good thing. That one was a little bit faster than the first one. Uh, we had a, we did have a sweeps meeting during the middle of that round. So um, the head chief referee has said, I believe the conditions are doable. Stop making silly decisions. Pick your way out. Don't yeah. take risks on the way home. So here's some... Uh, you saw them increase that time limit as well, which gives them more time to oh, be settled. And right. Went up to seven minutes, so... Here's the reserve lineup for the reserve grade men with the Bondi Blade Runners, the Avalon Pinkies, the Northcliffe King... Oh, sorry, Queenscliff Kings, which aren't racing today, and the Colorado so Sobs. <laughs> what an effort. We have got them still on the sand. They're not in the water yet, but uh, check start. I'll get them in the water soon, I believe. Did you pick here? What do you, what do you reckon? Oh, the um, 
the Blade Runners. They did well in their first race, I think. So there's the results for the little ladies. Uh, the minis, the castaways, the cobras, the rest that did not start. But uh, yeah, I th I th from memory, I think the Blade Runners did a pretty good job. What, what about the pinkies? Pinkies are a little bit uh, broken, at, broken at the moment. So I, I don't know, but Nathan Welling's a great surf sweep. So we'll, anything can happen in the surf as we know. So. Um, mate, what's going on with his wrist? He's bro got a broken wrist. Oh, he's right. He, he, he oh, fell right off the ladder, so. Oh. Wow, that'll that'll do it to you. It's his right hand, I think. His left hand yeah, is sweep, right, so right hand, right hand wrist is. Yeah, you got a strap on it. Nothing can uh, can take him away from his, his sweeping. He, he was told to not do it, but he gave the uh, he gave the nurse and the doctors uh, another idea, and they've said okay. All oh, right, so, eh? Well, and they're go. they're away here. So we've got uh, we're checking the live stream here. We've got a few people around the world watching so we've got uh, Dave Clements in uh, South Africa putting up a, a little post there saying he wished he could he could be here and watch it and, and take part with us but uh, we've got the three crews on the line here they're all stopped there it looks like something's out yeah, the back something's happening a little bit of biffo in the middle there for the pinkies sitting and waiting Nice strong stroke, pop the bow over that one. Taking their time. They're still waiting. Nathan's can see something else out there, so. Well, he's taller than some of the other sweeps, so he's got a little bit of an advantage there to he see is. what's coming. There's a few few lines out the back, but. Um, so the North Bondi crew's made a gap. We can't see it on the live stream, but they're. Uh, sitting waiting. They must be have some stuff for there. Up there in Alley 1, the, the Blade Runners are taking off. Um, and and I think speaking of taking off, the Pinkies are going backwards fairly fast there as well. See that sweep oars uh, come out of his hand, but it's all uh, it's all the North Bondi crew. Yeah, they made a nice dash over the top of that one. The Blade Runners are out. I think the winds the winds picked up a little bit and changed direction and fraction as well. It sort of changed a few little things. I think from the sort of southeast, the wind, the swell sort of has been uh, most of the morning. Coming from the north, well, I think I think they're the only ones out, and they're at the can now. So the Blade Runners are turning. Um, I can't. No, they are the only boat on that screen. So there's Avalon. The there's an IRB over sitting. in the background. We've uh, got an upside down IRB. Yeah, wow. That's, so, it's never a good sign when the water safety needs some more water safety to save yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good sign. So we can see the two guys there. They're okay. But uh, Avalon are still trying. They've been closed out on the inside. They're still trying to pick their way out. Not not Avalon's day to day. They had a pretty spectacular roll on their first race, and they did. They, now they're just sitting, sitting, waiting. Shortly we'll see um, the Blade Runners come home. I guess they've stopped. They got no rush. The Blade Runners. They have got. Well, they've only just stopped outside the, the turning cans because there was a set coming through. So they're just waiting. And, <laughs> and in the background, the... you can see that's how you roll the Ron IRB back up the right way. <laughs> Some heavy, it's heavy down there, isn't it? it does those pumps are really getting there? Getting uh, hard. Work I hope, done. I hope they bought a spare set of batteries. Yeah. Looks heavy. Looks really heavy. Yeah, there you go, North Bondi race leader. As they get in nice and safe, they'll uh, take the win. It's accumulating points through the day. It's trailed off. Nice work. Might fall off the back of that yeah, one. There. He, the sent the, he sent the bowman back up there to keep the weight in the front of the boat back in their seats. Nice so, boat work there. It's all from the middle to the seats. Yep. Keep it flat for the sweep. Some of them are a bit gun-shy and they're calling them a little bit too early. But uh, safety first. And they've trailed again. There you go, boys. Good boat skills. Nice and clean. That can make all the difference for a sweep doing Absolutely. his job up the back there. If, you, if your crew is clean underneath you, it takes all the, the guesswork out of it, what you think they could possibly do. Got them back in their seats. Left, they're always trailed, but uh, they're pretty convincing win there by the North Easy. Bondi. I don't think they would have spent too much petrol on the way home either. No, nah. no, they look quite relaxed. They probably got, they would have went for it to get out. It's the Collaroy um, crew just cruising across the line. And uh, I'm going to say shortly that Avalon's going to run out of time. We normally hear that uh, a hooter 
come up. We got a, a minute warning and then the uh, second hooter. So I'm not sure if there's a different rule for the short course champs, but that's the. Ah, uh, it actually went off. I think it went off yesterday or today. Oh, okay, We've yeah. had, we have had a one minute warning buzzer. Oh, they made it out and back. Now they're waiting on the time limit. Can they do it? Here we go. There's something building there for the boys from Avalon. So you can see Nath, he's got his front hand, his right hand, on top of the oar. Normally we'd, he would hold it under the under the bottom of the oar, but with the busted wrist. Yeah, that's, he has mentioned that. That's his he's one thing alter. he's had to alter. So. Yep, so that can make it hard to control it as well. But uh, mate, big call to go out in this surf with a busted wrist. He was out yesterday. Yeah, I think he did it on a Wednesday or something like that a few weeks ago, and then he had the OT on the Saturday. So oh, he, wow. he, um, he got out there pretty quickly and he's been sweeping the whole time he hasn't missed a beat so good on him quite an effort third third there for the Avalon guys well they made in the time limit which is good so they've accumulated more points so we're up to round three heat two heat two round two we've got where are we South Kirk Hill Love Boat, the Batemans Bay Ultimate Reserves, Palmy Padlocks, and the Coogee Bees. I would say that would be that all, all starting. I, haven't, I don't think any of them are scratched. So I think we saw them all in the first race. None of them. I've, I think they've all decided to stay and play. That change of wind direction is going to make the, is, is going to change a few things out the back there. It's, the wave might crumble a little bit more rather than standing up and dumping a little bit with the offshore breeze. But you see the wind, the wind blow there. the top of the wave away. So yeah, swell is still there. And there you go. We got our IRB up at the right way. Jet skis assisting that for them. T probably towing it off the rocks a little bit. It was probably getting a little bit close there. That wind really is picking up from coming from the southeast, east, southeast. So it's probably getting a little bit closer to what it was yesterday. Yeah, the strength of it yesterday was up. So today we've got these are the results for the uh, reserve grade men race we just saw, which is the, the North Bondi Blade Runners, the Collaroo Sobs, the Avalon Beach Pinkies, and uh, did not start for the Queenscliff Kings. It's like the, lo the locals not going out today. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there with the Queensy boys, but always got some good boat crews. They do. So. Yep. Must be something going on that we don't know well, about. The little girls have decided to stay and play with the uh, the Cobras in the under 19. They're still going around for them. And here's the start list. So we've got the, the Love Boat, the Ultimate Reserves, the Padlocks and the Coogee Bees. I think we saw... Batemans have a win in the last one, so they've... They, I think they had a terrible time in their first race. Right. Uh, I think we saw the bottom of their boat, um, which is unusual for Batemans Bay. Normally, normally they, they do a fairly good job of it, keeping everything upright. The Love Boat. Their turn to go around again. So they're just making their way down onto the line. We may have had a crew change over where someone's had to swap a boat, swap some oars, or move from one end of the field to the other. And after this one, we go back to the uh, reserve ladies. So we're getting we're getting through the program pretty quick. Not a huge amount of numbers today, but um, getting said through there's the something races. like a hundred crews entered for the weekend, which is great okay. numbers. Yeah, that's that's good. And 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 being a standalone carnival in amongst. Everything else we try to do, we've got Ocean Thunder, uh, all your regular little carnivals in your own area. So there's, I think there's a Scott's Head's got a carnival this weekend up there for the uh, North Coast Boat Series. And there's our uh, current weather conditions, which was taken this morning, I believe. So the temperature may have changed. The wind has definitely changed direction. And the swell height, well, I think it's a little bit more than just over a metre. Humidity is a good. That's a good number. Don't want. We don't want to. Don't want that humidity too high. We're happy with that one. But uh, 
There's a few few people on the on the promenade here, stopping and watching as they walk past, watching the boats go in and out, go upside down, do their thing. Good day for it. It's a bloody busy uh, piece of uh, or bloody busy walkway, so it's a good spot it to is, have the event they... where the uh, spectators can stop and watch for a few minutes. And oh, it's great! Yeah, it's been their exercise. People running by all morning, doing their thing, getting out on a Saturday morning, shuffling around with a coffee, walking the dog. Doesn't get any better, does it? That's oh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Good that cloud wind, coming over in the turn wind. That, is, uh, turn that wind down a little yeah. bit. Be happy. So what, have you got any cruise tomorrow? or you? No, no cruise. Um, my my ladies decided to stay at home this weekend. Um, my open girls, they've uh, thought we'd just give it a miss. It's a lot of travelling this year. Um, try and keep expenses down. Yeah, the, the big expense in April to get to get over to WA is. Uh... It is, it is a big expense, and then we got to, we're coming back down for Bulleye as well. The ASR yeah. open at Bulleye. Um, I believe our state in Queensland is close to home, so we get to stay at home for that one, which is great. Do a, like a twenty-minute drive up the road, um, and then also in Queensland we've got the ASRLQ state title as well. So we have got two state titles coming up. We introduced that last year after our. SLS Q Carnival was cancelled due to um, water quality. We've yeah, had, a few, had a few issues up there last year, so the Rowers League said, "Well, we'll just we'll run our own carnival. Can we do that?" And we put it together it threw that carnival together within about two weeks. And uh, we Dickie Beach hosted it. Did something similar here with ours last year. The, we didn't have a state. And Victoria did the same as well. Yeah, it's so been it's been a terrible couple of years for carnival cancellations. But it's great to see the ASRL as a whole just being so reactive and yeah, well, and uh, supporting the members by putting these events on them. That's what the ASRL is there for. Uh, it's for the rowers. So uh, we want to put these things together. If we're missing out on, on the state, our individual state carnivals, the Rowers League is taking over and, and propping it up with the... With the so we got the race for medals last year. They, they had some medals pressed, um, which was good. Two-day event. Um, it was great to hit, for everyone to have a hit out and actually... Take something home at the end of the day. It's uh, it's certainly well supported by the members as well, I and mean, we get those events sort of put together in a few weeks, and they're getting great numbers. So, oh yeah, it's the rowers. The rowers league now is doing what it was it was intended to do all those years ago when it started yeah. back in was it ninety four? Long time ago. Yep, I was only born in ninety four, so I, oh, I wow. wasn't. Uh, Got a young fella. I wasn't. Uh, I haven't been oh, started surf boats 2010. This is the hold yeah, up. Yeah, I was. So there's, there, that's I did why see we got that. The I wasn't going to mention it, but they've uh, put them front and center on the camera. If we uh, if we don't have enough water safety, so if there's an incident on the on the water and we've got too many uh, of our water safety attending to issues, we'll we'll stop and we won't start the next race. So well, that is this, looking this, this, this wild. Guy's, this guy's got a free ride in. Uh-huh. Um, that is like a, be telling his mates to hurry up. Better than any roller coaster. Something coming behind us. So we'll have another IRB. We'll, we'll probably just drop another motor on that, and we'll we'll get some water safety back out there. So while there's a break on, uh, everyone can sit down and get some shade and water under the tent. Two of the most important things you can do at the beach: relax, get ready for the next one. It's our wonderful. Ashley Cardiff oh, up there with the big hat, Mark Haywood, uh, two of the great officials. And without them, don't have a carnival. Exactly right. Exactly right. Ash looks like he's laying down the law there. <laughs> and their job's a lot easier now with the camera up there. Yeah. We, so he wasn't looking forward to being out there. He said a, yesterday there was a few waves coming over the towers. So. There was a few waves yesterday. Luckily, there wasn't a few boats going over the towers. So it looks like Coogee's moving down to the line there, getting on to, getting ready to uh, go to sea, do battle with the elements again. And it's probably changed a bit since they were last on the water about an hour ago, so um, we'll wait and see. Certainly uh, a lot of wind about at the moment. So. Yeah, good, it's for the, uh, good for the yachts that are out there doing the Cabbage Tree Island Yacht Race, or lead up race for the Sydney Hobart in uh, December. That's right. It looks like the gun's up. These he guys look, to... look crouched, ready to go. There it is. Palm Beach, away they go. 
So we've got four in this race, the, uh, the Love Boat, the Ultimate Reserve, the Padlocks and the Coogee Bees. And it looks like the uh, Padlocks in the middle of the field, they got the best start there. The Love Boat seemed to be struggling a little bit. Coogee and uh, Palm Beach have uh, charged out the sea. That boat in Alley 1 has stopped. Uh, Palm Beach have stopped. Coogee still going. They're going to creep over the top of this one. Oh, one of the nose there for Palmy. Something else is brewing at the back. Palmy, they're still going. Is that Spence? It is Spencey. He's taking it on. They're going to scoot around the side of it. And they're out. The other two are back on the beach. So Palm, that's the love boat and uh, the Crew ultimate reserves. There, yeah. Yep. And while uh, Fortune Favours are brave, the Coogee and the Padlocks, they bolted and they got out. That's Bateman's Bay, just about to go over one here. Nice slow raiding through the break. That's really slow. It looks almost far too relaxed. That's, that's uh, holding the nerve there, certainly. Neil Ennis in charge of the bay. Driving them to sea now. He's found a gap there on their way out. So the, the crews that were leading, they'll probably be at the Cairns by now. It's nice and long. And there's the love boat. They've made their way out as well. Uh, they'd probably be trailing the field. In fourth. Coogee's got them run real slow there. Or, or, or almost stopped. Almost, yes. Almost stopped. So they're going to have a shot at this one. No, they're not. No. He's called them off. Probably a great move there. Oh, oh he might have mate, a choice. I think he's... Oh. Oh. Mate, they nearly had it whether they wanted it or not, that one. Nearly picked them up and speared them down the front of it. There are some nice given, waves coming uh, through, but this is the one. Given Spencey and the Palmy boys a bit of a chance. Here he goes. Neil Innes on the one behind it from Batman's Bay. They've all trailed off. I believe Coogee did the same thing as well. Matt's just had a few of his adoring fans want to pass and you'll outdo him. First day on the commentary. Number one supporters, the girls. <laughs> so Coogee boat goes sideways. Neil's, is Neil from probably the bay, they're going to have to na navigate them. Which way is he going to go? Oh, oh Spence is sideways too. So. Spence isn't even in the boat. Who's going to come? Is it, is it Bateman's? Is gonna, oh, no, Coogee, Coogee just got that. So Spence isn't in his boat and they've gone from first to last. Just like that. Oh, will they? Will they? Will they? Oh. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, there South Curly. The love boat from last to third on the line. And Spency first to third. That's first cruel surfboats, isn't it? First to last. Oh, first yeah. to last, sorry. Yeah, 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 that can happen. That can happen. It can be cruel, our sport. But you can also be that crew that comes through on a bomb from behind and pass everyone. I think everyone's had a go at that. We've also been in the in the front and have been run down on the line as well. So, two uh, one of one of the best feelings and definitely the worst one as well when you're first to last. So, all right, mate. So, Matt, you said you started rowing in 2010. 2010, yeah, yep. with with Rick Miller. So, oh, Rick, Rick yep. Miller found the, us boys, four of us in the gym at the surf club, and didn't give us a choice but to go rowing. So, we're uh, we're still. So last year we rode with the same crew that we started with. We've oh, yeah. In the in the years sort of between, we've broken apart a fair bit, and yep. we got back together for last year and the year before that. So it's been uh, it's been a good good trip. But one of the guys has had babies and has pulled out this year, so we've got a bit of a new crew now. But yeah, mate. Unfortunately, this thing this sport doesn't pay the bills, so work and family generally come first. Yeah. Uh, and if you've got a supportive partner, you can generally shuffle a little bit and fit it in. So the could, so the could you bees for, and then the Batemans Bay Ultimate Reserves, the Love Boat from South Curly, and then Palmy with the, without Spence, got bombed from first to last. Unfortunately for them, they were doing such a good job there to uh, overtake Coogee on their way home. We didn't see it, but the uh, the water movement probably cost them there. They looked pretty settled when they were on camera for us, but they did. They uh, must have got a big push on the edge. So here comes uh, Heat 3, Round 3 for the reserves. There's a, an Allura boat there, the Silverbacks, the Palm Beach Peppers, the McMaster's Fat Dads, and Pelican, the Pelicans from Palm Beach. 
Army got three in the reserve men, which uh, I suppose is an uncommon for them. They've got a heap of crews down there. It shows there. you how strong their club is, doesn't it? And you very rarely see a crew from Palmy that's not, uh, that doesn't perform well. Uh, they're always fast, so it looks like here the uh, Pelicans at the bottom of the screen got a reasonable start. The Fat Dad's in the middle. They're, um, they're going to get a little bit of a double up here, over one, under another one. And they're out in front, but most, most crews here have stopped. The Is that the Pelicans? Do you know if that's the Peppers or the that's Pelicans? the Pelicans on the screen, Matty Giblin. And then the oh, Fat Dad's the fat have dads just bolted. gapped it. They're having a bit of a, bit of a, a bit of luck this this uh, this regatta or this carnival. So. Nice and slow raiding out the back. They're just sitting into it. And they'll be they'll be able to see it. They're the only ones out, so they can adjust their tempo, adjust their pressure on the oar. It's good for them being able to raid slow. The average A is well over forty in that. Uh, oh, in the fat dads. The fat dads are so yeah. eligible for masters. Absolutely, I've been telling them that for years. They don't love it. So, Matt, who, who's the crew behind us, mate, that has snuck in? These are the young girls from Avalon, the HCMFs. Not oh, rowing right. today, but... <laughs> Seeing what happens behind uh, the scenes. First year juniors last year, and they made the Aussie final. So oh, well, that was hard. Plenty, um, plenty to come for them, Thursday, for sure. Thursday at Aussies was hard for the little girls yeah. and little boys, mate, but they well done, ladies, making the final. You can see the fat does there. They've rounded the can. They're on their way home. They'll, there he is, Swip, looking over his shoulder, trying to pick his way home. You want to be play it safe when you're that far in front. But, uh, but one Palmy crew, it looks like at the top of the screen, chasing them. Brad that's Norman the stop the the peppers. Stop the fat dads there. Let that one wash under. Good call. Allura Silverbacks up there at the top of the screen. I'm not sure if that's Wilco. I heard rumours rumours he was out last night. Roy made an appearance. Whoever that is. Here we go. Look. They'll get this one, get some back. The fat dads are down it nicely. These guys have been rowing for a long time, so there's some great boat work there. Nice skills, boys. They look really relaxed in the back of the boat, all piled up. Fantastic. That's two wins, I think, for them in a second, maybe. So, Palmy behind. Well, unless they lose it, but they look well, all right. possible, mate. And this, this, the last 20 metres, they're going all over the joint. Is that Coxie on your left-hand side and the Palm Beach crew yeah, coming through? Yeah, the Peppers through behind quite, them, uh, and you can see Wilka, uh, the Silverbacks out the back. We just can't see the Pelicans in this shot. It ends up being a nice close finish there. Yeah, that's great. Fat Dad's two from two from three or three from three? I think that's... I'm not oh. 100% sure. It's certainly and there, two. That's what probably happened to Spence in the yeah. last race. That backwash, mate, it's treacherous. The water explodes as the, as the water runs out catches the wave can get you up under the ribs and flick you out as a sweep the water sort of comes into the shore and it's got to get its way back out somehow so it's yeah the steep edge on the beach produces that if the beach was a lot flatter it would just gently make its way out but it runs up the hill runs back down the hill comes back out in a wave you generally see it at Perth I remember a couple of big backwashes at Perth and you could actually 2007 when I went to Perth you could actually use the backwash as a runner and race it to sea. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, get a get a, a runner at the start of the race for fifty odd meters, sixty meters, and use it. Something we don't really get to use a lot of, so it was quite an experience. But that was uh, that was the end of the the open. Oh, sorry, the reserve male. So we're going back around to the Got the females now. The female reserve ladies, which is all the same thing. Round three, heat one. We've got the uh, Palmy there just pushing their boat up. A couple of the girls there getting ready for their race. Coogee girls. Such a nice view, looking down on the beach from the drone. It's a fantastic shot. There's some some of the punters on the uh, on the uh, promenade there, wandering around. The girls, little girls crew there with their new pinks and their new white bucket hats, thrown in by the by Team Navy. They're looking good, those bucket hats. Everyone's wearing them. I got last year's blue one on at the moment. Bit, bit stiff. I wear this at training. It cops a bit of salt water, and sometimes it gets it's forgotten to get washed. It's character, mate. It, it keeps its shape. 
reserve results the fat dads the peppers silver blacks and the pelicans what's in your food bag Matt? lollies apple muffin and that's it mate i think oh chup a chup oh right Get sugars in getting looked after you can see there, Kennard's our sponsor, one of our sponsors helping out with this event. Um, Tash Tunney said they've been brilliant. If they've needed anything, we've called up, they've delivered it. There's containers here in our little compound. We've got temporary fencing, a couple of dongers. So portable Kennard's toilets. doing a great job. Yeah, portable yeah, they're all over. Portable, portable toilets. They were cleaned this morning. That was fantastic. Team Navy, they've been with us for a long time now. They're such an amazing sponsor. And SLSA is part of this event as well. So there's our reserve female lineup: the Coogee Cogs, the Batemans Bay Banshees, the Maruba Magnets, Avalon Beach Chaos, and the Palm Beach Pterodactyls. With Chaos a P. Chaos girls from Avalon are scratch. But I put a line through them. So we've got four on the line. They're ready to go. Guns, guns up. Guns up, and they're away. The digital. Gun has got him off the line. It's a bit it's of a mixed bag there. As it's getting shallow, the starting line's a little bit more uneven, but it's not so critical in this. Yeah, uh, at the moment, generally, every crew's going to have to wait when they get out the back, so if you do miss a start, it's not going to be that critical. I think it's, that, it's the Palmy crew that look like they've just got their nose in front. Batman's Bay on screen there, the Banshees. Neil's going to be hoping that they can give something to get over that. You can see the uh, Marubra Magnets there with our, with Hawkeye, our commentator from yesterday, urging his girls to get a move on. Pop over that one. That's the Palmy crew out in front. They have uh, the pterodactyls. The they put their foot down, mate. They are gone. But see how relaxed they look out the back there. Long strokes. Laying back into it. And I was going to say, we're missing a boat. There's Coogee. They have been belted by something. That looks like... Uh, is that Termite in the back of the boat there, Rod Coleman? Sitting it's and waiting for waiting. a break. They're, uh, it is a Termite. Just got to finish the uh, finish the race and get the points. Get a bit of forward momentum to pop over them. Pterodactyls at the can... They've got a good four or five length lead and they've stopped. <laughs> they've stopped at the can. Something's coming. There is something big, I'd imagine. There must be something big if they've stopped there like that. But that crew up the top Alley of the screen one. is, is that, that that's Batemans? That's Coo the Coogee Cogs. Coogee Batemans was Bay beside them. They're going around now. Or no, we're, that was Bay oh, I think Coogee was still oh no, back Yeah, that's there. right. So that's Batemans Bay up there at the top of the screen. And that's what just saw that big lump roll under the... Under Palm Beach boat. Well, he's that going one. for it. Neil Innes. Neil Innes is on it. Trailed the girls off. Nice work. Keep it you straight. You see it breaking from the sort of bottom of the screen to the top. So he's on a nice green part of the wave. Doing really well there. White water's going to catch him now. He's going to have backwash come out at him. Doesn't look like it's phased him though. That's a great ah, wave. Nice look at work. them. Excellent. Girls have be loving that. What an easy row home. Yeah, absolutely. About 15 strokes, you're on a wave. That's great. It's another one of those clubs, Bateman, you very rarely see a bad crew come out of that program. So, yeah, Neil does an awesome job with such a small community. Yeah. Um, and there you go. I was down at Bateman's a few uh, months back, walked into a cafe just randomly, and there's Neil and his wife having a, having a coffee. So. Palmy pterodactyls, they've avoided a, a huge wave coming through. They stopped at the can just to let that wash under them because it was a big sucker. They've come through from for a second place. So still got Kuji and the Magnets from Marubra in this one to come home. Uh, there's Marubra. They're on a nice little wave. Hawkeye's called him back. He's fighting it there. Keep him straight. And you can see Kuji. Kuji still hasn't got out of, in the back break there. Now so now they now might looks, be uh, racing the clock now, I'd say. They are definitely racing the clock. Over this one. And together. Hit it, girls. Looks rather relaxed in three-seat, doesn't she? 
just tapping along. Yeah, there doesn't they... seem to be too much urgency there. If they're uh, worried about the clock beating them, wait till they uh, wait till they hear the hooter go off. They might get a bit more. Uh... Well, it's only so much you can do in a minute. Yeah. So you get a wriggle on, girls. Put the hammer down. It is nice being out the back and uh, sort of being out of not not racing anyone. You can hopefully find a nice wave to catch in. There are some nice ones out there. A few sweeps are. Letting them go because it's, it is about survival. There's no point, if you're leading the race, there's no point taking an absolute screamer and uh, making a mess of it. Safety first, get across the line, accumulate points. Enough points, get through the, the first round of eliminations and anything can happen when you're in the finals. That is uh, one of the more relaxed boy turns you've ever seen. So. <laughs> Around they go. Making their way back south along the beach make sure that they finish inside the area then they'll hopefully uh, find themselves a nice wave or is he rowing off the course he seems to have taken a very sharp turn to the south unless he knows something unless he knows where he is for the next race yeah yeah he's, he's, he's maneuvering the boat down to the next alley for his race so he doesn't have to carry he's it stopped him so there's Something out there, maybe? We'll see. Is this it? Is this yeah, it? Looks like a lump behind uh, Termite now with his Squidgy girls. Have a little squeeze on that. Nice and safe. Throw it off. Drop down the front of it there. Very relaxed. Termite, another one of the left-handed sweeps. Not many getting around. I'm left-handed sweep, so... Hey, we There's had three a... in one race yesterday with the under-23 men, I think it was. Megzi from Maruchidor, Hugel from Surfers Paradise. There's, uh, there's... And the next one just escapes me. Nathan Perry was the only one in the race not left-handed. You don't see that very often. Yeah. No, you could, don't. Could you girls finishing within the time limit? So. Yeah, no guns went off, no hooters, so they were in the time limit there. That's points for them. Back to the... Round three, heat two. North oh, Bondi, North Cronulla, Coogee and Allura. Righto. Well, the day's moving along nicely. Not too many hold-ups. And the boy, every every crew's getting around about 50 minutes of rest between races, unless they've got to move boats. So that's a good good opportunity to sit down, get some water, get some shade, have some food. I watched a a, a seminar the other night with one of the former Iron Women, Harriet Brown, giving us a list of food we should that's easy to eat on on the day without causing too much dramas and getting the energy into the system nice and quick. So there's our results. The, the Banshees, the Pterodactyls, the Magnets, Kuji, and the Chaos without a start. So what's the go-to food going to be for race day? White bread. White, really? White bread was the, was uh, was one of them, which surprised me. Um, Seems like Easy to digest, gets the energy up nice and quick. Um, but there we go. So I wonder how much white bread's been eaten by these girls, which these are the... That's good. The diamonds. This, we just, just saw a the screen Allura there. With oh, a, Allura's with a bit had of an issue at the start, but the power had a big miss, miss up there. From they memory, get, there was a reserve women's crew that was starting in the boat, so that might have been oh, those girls. She might have been the bow girl. She may have started when the gun went off, rather than waiting for the girls to get in. That's correct. Good memory. Wind starting to get up, blowing our papers across the desk. Coogee's out the back bank. Um, North Bond, I have. The shredders have stopped. Oh, no, they're going no, they're again going. now. Could oh, you looks North like they've got... under one. They've picked the gap there. It's number the... two's out of a seat. Number th well, number four's out of a seat. Number two's lost her all. So that's going to make it a little bit hard. The other two girls are trying to back the boat around to keep it square. And could has gone. Get, getting they're that, out. Getting that girl out to get her all now. Just off screen, yeah, she's gone. Yeah, have a dip, go for a swim. 
I don't think it's uh, possible to get out with only three rowers in this, these conditions uh, today. Not, not today. I did once. I did a race years ago at Southport. We lost our bowman. Uh, the sweep said, mate, you can swim back home. But uh, not today. Yeah, they're about to get hit by another wave. Get in. Uh. Nice work from the bowman there to sneak over and help even the boat out while they had all, the, all those bodies on one side of the boat. So they're out. Turn the rollick around. Still having a bit of trouble, but it's the Coogee crew that have gone round. Coogee's turn there, heading home. A couple of little, little lumps there that'll be useful. Look Again, they, such a slow-looking rating, isn't it? They look like they're taking it easy, but I think he's... Look at that shot. What a shot that is. Oh, magical. You can and see the, the you can change see the, of colour in the lines and the water. Coogee's going for it. See the wash up coming yeah. off the boat. Trailed off there down that one. Beautiful. Nice, nice control. Great shot there. Call the bowman up a little bit. Make sure you get down the front of it. That's awesome. The grins on the faces of the girls and the sweep will be having a great time there too. Oh, so great no, boat work. Nothing better than taking a couple of strokes out of the can and catching a wave. Uh, it's got to keep that straight, but there's no pressure. There's no one beside. There's no one near them. Two of the boats are still going to sea after their little malfunctions on the way. The sweep will be telling them to take it easy. I think so. In your own time. And away they go. Well done to the Coogee crew. Nice work, ladies. Good, sp good boat skills. Retrieving your oars. Nice trail. Very comfortable. That was the, that's the, uh, the shot of the day, I reckon, from that drone. Oh, that one looking back square yeah. on the beach. Yeah, that was, that was unreal. If the, uh, the drone operators are listening, we want more of that. <laughs> so the shredders are stopped checking out what's coming back, what's behind them, so they can pick their way in safely. And the Diamonds and the uh, Allure of Power are still making their way to sea. So we call, the Swift will be calling for all the girls to give everything they can right now to, to get us home safely. Catch this little one here, use that. Yeah, get nice down power the front from of the it, girls. Ooh. Trail off. Big, so big just batch of white water smashing from the back left. It's come over his uh, left shoulder, yeah, and it just pushed the back of the boat around. And It's very hard to, uh, if you haven't anticipated that, to, to come back from it, isn't it? It is hard, but um, you can see how the stroke rower is facing the sweep. I like to do that in my boat as well. And if she's doing what she should, she'll be telling you there's a big pile of white water coming on your left. Yeah. So you can actually... Um, if your crew is helping you out, you can you can you work way through that one. It's always good to have some uh, eyes outside from you from your rowers as oh. well, because you you're concentrating on looking forward and keeping Most what keeping it straight in, in front. But there's that push coming from behind. That Most definitely, mate. Ex the girls, if they can tell you what's happening around, you can make your life so much easier. You can just concentrate on keeping the boat straight. So, how long you, have you been sweeping for? Um, number probably about four years now. When um, when Rick Miller passed away, we he had a couple of crews, and we yeah, I had to sort of jump in and yep, and learn pretty quick. Um, good, but it was good. I'm I'm not doing it this year. Um, we had a Colts crew last year, which was a lot of fun. But before that, it was um, Masters only. So had some great girls for three or four years in the Masters. Yep. three years maybe. They were fantastic to learn with and and. Uh, very patient with me. That's good. And, yeah. and mo most of the new sweeps do get master's crews. So the, the beauty of that is they know how to row. They know what they're doing. All you've got to do is worry about yourself. Yeah. Which, which makes life a hell of a lot easier. If you're learning to steer a boat and trying to coach four brand new rowers as well at the same time, it's, uh, it can be a long, slow road for everyone involved. Yeah. yeah, they were patient. It was great. So It's certainly a different experience when you're sweeping. you you uh, you got to worry about a lot more than just yourself and what and you're watching your blades. So, mate, yeah, you are in charge and of everyone's safety. Right yeah, that's the, so that's the nerve wracking thing with uh, with four <laughs> mothers. <laughs> uh, did they tell you what to do? Oh no, never. Oh, no. that's good. <laughs> you wouldn't want to stuff up with them. Not. I think one of them is uh, one of them is listening to this right now. She was messaging me before, so. Right, there's the uh, results. Coogee DMG with that lovely wave from out the back. Bondi Shredders 
the North Cronulla Diamonds and Allura Power finishing in fourth place after a bit of a mishap on the start line. So having a great day down here at uh, Queenscliff on the northern end of the Manly Beach. Just checking the uh, the live stream chat. We've got Scotty Wheeler, the manufacturer of the DKG surfboats. He's watching us. G'day, Scotty. Hope you're having a good day up there. So we've got three going out in this. It is the. It appears to be three men in the. Uh, under 19 men's race. That's a North Cronulla crew there. There will be the, uh, so that looks like the North, North Cronulla weapons. Just negotiating the break there. You've seen a gap, go boys, give it to me. There's another North Cronulla crew there. Just trying to make, and that looks like Service Paradise up on the other end of the field. So they may have, we may have had a few crews drop out and have condensed the field into one. Um, so we'll just bear with us while we try and work out which crew's which. But that's, we've got, definitely got two North Canola crews in there heading to sea. So that'll either be the uh, weapons, the Jeopardies or the Adrenaline. Missing a bit of paperwork. We are. Or maybe they've condensed the races. They may have had a few few crews drop out. Um, try and get a... Try and work out who's who. But we've yeah, got three that. boats there. So Alley 1's turn and heading home. That could be uh, the Serpents from Surface Paradise, I believe. It looked like an all-white boat with uh, Hugel at the back of it. You can see the swell there. If that is Surface Paradise, they are on it. That's a screamer of a wave. He's held him in his seats. It yeah, certainly that's... looks like surfers there. It no, is, that's yeah. a that's a north. That is yes, that is surfers. It's just the the caps are th the oh, helmets are throwing his, us off. He's got his Hugel bow left just hand hanging out of the nice water. Nice work. He's let it go. Oh, that was that was good work, Hugh. Up to that point, mate. There's a lot of force on that oar at the back there. Nice work, mate. Nice wave. Because he got it so far out, he thought he could hold it the whole way home, but uh, just got the better of him at the end there. So we're going to have a close finish here. He's looking over his shoulders. Uh, one of the the North Cronulla crews is charging at him. This will be close on the line here. Oh, he's got that suck coming out. No, they should get it. There you go. Just got him. Oh, he stopped. Oh, and he stopped. He's there, yeah. Hugo. He's, he's, he's got his hand well up famous now. for putting his hand in the air, mate. You watch him everywhere he goes. He'll be waving at the officials saying, hey, look at me. I'll cross the line first, no matter where he is. As long as you tell them, then they'll, they'll believe you one day. <laughs> well, if you tell them long <laughs> enough, it's also... In there, wasn't there a story about the boy cried wolf? Yeah. You see the three boys packed up in the back there with the sweep and the, and the bowman up the front. Sometimes you just got to change the weight in the boat, get the bowman up there just to keep the run, keep it going smooth on the, on the wave. But that's, uh, we might be able to clarify what's going on there because that looks like a... Uh, Round three, nine to 19, could, doesn't have a heat number, so it could just be... Yeah, so we've got the South Curly lining up there as well, which will be the South Curly Burley. Just trying to work out, we, we possibly may have gone amiss with our paperwork. But the uh, South Curly still have got Burley and the Wampa going around in the junior men. And we've got, it appears we've got three boats lining up on this for this race as well. So they may have come, they may have had a few drop out and we've cut it to, there's only six boats left and for safety reasons, they've split them into three and given us two races of three because um, a full, full race of six boats could be a little bit close for comfort out there. Not a lot of room for waves. error for six in the one little area. Yeah, mate, it doesn't, doesn't take much to go sideways and collect 
the boat beside you, unfortunately, so safety prevails. If you want to keep racing, you've got to be a little bit safer about these things some days. Get the flag up. That looks like uh, Jeff Loy. Old Loy boy from um, North Cronulla. You can see the, a Palm Beach boat there on the water. Yeah, Jeffy Loy there on the corner of the screen from North Cronulla. So we got um, this must be a, uh, the South Curly crew there, which would be the Burley. South Curly, Burley, Palm Beach, Pente Pentecost, and it's either the Jeopardies or the uh, Adrenaline. So we've lost one of our North Cronulla crews. Gun goes off. Or well, the Hooter. Nice start there from North Cronulla. So these boys are the future. The juniors. Punching out to sea. And uh, North, North, uh, sorry, South, South Curly. Curly yeah. Got a great start there. It's going to pop over the top of that one. Fairly dry. You can see there are under 19s, but look at the size of some of them. Oh, mate. I wish I was that size. I was 19. Put us all to shame. I wish I was that size now. Yeah. North Cronulla there just navigating the break. Working out when to go. They're going to try and sneak around the side of that one. Bowman's come out of his seat. They're all back in. But uh, the Burley, they're flying along. They're looking really good. Palmy on their way out to sea. They've made it out as well. It looks like nothing's coming for them. In second place, I would suggest. Pump goes on. They look nice and relaxed, don't they? They do, and their Palmy are still using round Rolex. No, they've they're not. They've always been squares. Always been Palmy, squares. Yeah. You guys are round, aren't we're they? round, yeah. Yeah. Not there's not many of us on the beaches, or, or really at, or at all, I don't think. Oh, there's a few few clubs still got round Rolex. Oh, a sweep from the south south curly burly, checking over his shoulder. What's coming? It doesn't doesn't look like too much there. So he can tell the boys to put the hammer down and get in there before something a, does come. Loves a wave, the South Curly sweeps. They're just cruising on top of one there. There's a nice little one popping up behind them. Look at that. Light light, light bodies in the boat, lots of power. Just it's probably not quite yeah. down that one. But they would have they would have took a good couple of lengths off it, used it well. Just doing a bit of hard work now to get across the line. You look, you look at the uh, you look at the surf and you don't expect to be rowing all the way out and all the way back in, in this, but <laughs> they've had to do it there. No, you don't. You don't. That's for sure. So we just saw results flash up from the bottom. Uh, there we had South Curly Wampa didn't start the previous race. Serpents had a first. And uh, I think I saw Adrenaline as well pop up. Oh, carnage. Oh, wow. That is messy for, for North Cronulla there. Jeff's fallen out of the boat, and the boys will end up on one side of the boat and rolled her over, almost on top of Palm Beach. And that's very shallow there. awareness of where the line is. Hopefully they can get three oars back and three bodies. And well, they've now got two oars. Sweep oars included. We can so see there's, another hand, there's a handle of another oar at the bottom of the boat, back of the boat there, so they must have three. They're sort of in control. And there's three people there, so that constitutes finish. It does. Four of them there. The rule is they've got to be behind the line in control and then push it over, but they were pretty close then, so hopefully they... Uh... Oh, I think that passes. I think that's a pass. A bit of common sense has got to come into uh, to the equation. All right, I think we're under the ladies now, are we? Oh, back to the little round, ladies, round yes. three of the ladies... So these ladies now, with the, the change of their draw, they are only doing four races and points. So from my memory, which sometimes isn't that good, McMaster's minis are in front Yeah, they've had on points. two wins, two great ways from McMaster's. We've, we've lost... That's the Avalon crew. Avalon's out. 
And the skipjacks, the Batman's Bay skipjacks haven't started. And I think we're down somewhere else, but the cobras are there. You can see them lining up, long reefs there. Uh, looks like we've got handlers for uh, long reef there. You can see the fellow in the middle of the screen with his hand up. He's uh, been nominated to go down as a handler to help keep the boat straight and level and even, make life easy for them when they get in and out. At the start. That, that side to side pull is, is it's heavy for anyone, but these young girls are some of them could be uh, what do you say, fifteen? They could they be. They could so. be fifteen, yeah, mate. So not no. a not a huge amount of upper body strength, and these boats are heavy at the best of times when you got a couple of ton of water pushing against you. Uh, it's very hard to keep it straight at the start of the race because it's, it's fairly important to, to point the boat where your sweep wants it uh, to counteract for power in the boat on who, which side is stronger to, to get it off the line and also what the water's doing underneath whether it's dragging the, or pushing the bow a certain direction. Sweep, the sweep could want the bow the opposite way to the, uh, to the swell so it might be a like, double push if that makes sense. The, uh, the bow might be I think uh, we've also got, I can see at the bottom of the screen there on the left hand corner the towers are being moved. There's a couple of, couple of fellas now the tide's dropped out a little bit but there's some results for us. The South Curly Burley, the Pentecost from Palm Beach, the North Canola Jeopardies, and Collaroy Red. That was the under 19 men. So Red didn't start. And that is completely different to what we've got on our paperwork here. So yeah, there's been a there's been a few crews drop out and they've redrawn that by the looks of it. So hopefully we get some paperwork for the the next race of the under 19 men. We got down there. Elton looks like he's uh, moving the stand. There's a couple of dudes moving the stand there, having a bounce just to try and soak it in, drop it into the sand. Here we go. We've got the cumulative points for the... I don't think that's open mail, unfortunately. Is, I think that's under 19. This female. is the under 19 little ladies. But, uh, yeah, it says open mail. With McMaster's minis with two wins, so that's 10 points each. Followed by long, uh, Collaroy, Long Reef, and then uh, that's, all, that's all we got inside of the, out cool. of those three. So there's... Uh, I mean, Righto. they're pretty much guaranteed a medal there, aren't We've they? We've just had a change of the graphic there. We've got the, uh, it is the under-19 females, and the points are correct because we know that the McMasters have had two wins. So they're ahead on 20. Uh, I want to say everyone's a short of a medal. As long as they finish the next few races. Got to finish, and, got to finish get some points. So um, so this is round, what have we got, we, round we, three? We're start, just about to start round three, so we're, we're ahead of schedule. We're still averaging our 55 to a, an hour turnaround for our, our rounds, which is good. Flags up, guns up. The little girls are away. That's the minis from McMaster's. They'll all be hungry to hungry to get a win again, the, the girls. Yeah, they wanted to prove that this uh, two wins so far isn't a fluke, so um, that they're the real deal, so let's get into it. But, uh, Long Reef. They're charging out. They're going to hit this and little bit of white water perfectly. Up they go. Over and over. They all stop there, I think. Uh, I think um, Cobra's got the worst of that one. They went under it. So a little double up over and up the next one. All like three boats are, are waiting. Pretty close, those two at the bottom of the screen. So They are close to each other. They've drifted. The minis have floated towards the Long Reef crew. So now they're sitting. You can see, see the young lady from in the bow of the Long Reef crew. She's having a good old look. Looking over his shoulder, Collaroy, Collaroy have got a little oh. bit of water in the boat there. They're coming backwards and staying your seat, little one. That's good. Got the boat back, staying upright. Here they go. There must be a bit of a gap. What do they Take see? Take them a few strokes to get moving, so these they're boats, moving now. These boats are heavy. The girls, the little girls don't get a lighter boat because they're a younger division. They, they race the same with the same gear as the big boys. So... There's no change, is there? They might have a little bit shorter oars. Mate, the, the oar, oh, Collaroy, going up one. But, yeah, the only difference is really your oar. You can rig it to make it a little bit lighter for the little ladies. That's the inboard and the outboard measurement. Yep. Would be, uh, would be changing a little bit. But other than that, it's the same 200-odd so kilo boat. It certainly doesn't feel like only 200 kilos when you're... Uh, <laughs> when that one is full of water, that's yeah. for sure. But uh, Long Reef, they've, they've, uh, they wouldn't, they want to put their hat in the ring and say, we want some points as well here. So they're out in front. They're in front of the minis. 
from McMaster's and Collaroy are still battling to get out. They just went up and over that long reef crew. It was a pretty steep one before yeah. that. The girls are rowing nicely. Oh. The only thing I'd change is I'd put some blinkers on the little girl in the bow. But she's stop, stop lighthouse, her, is she? Stop her from looking around. She is all over the shop. Nice turn, ladies. Takes some guts to be out there in that surf, though. Oh, it so does. I don't. Props yeah. to them. But they're doing a great job at it. Yeah, looking around can often make you more nervous and uh, take your concentration off the oar. Right. And the minis, they're, they're putting the hammer down. They want to catch them and say, hey, uh, no, we want this race. You stopped they've, them there, Mick Norman. They've stopped, yes. He's put the brakes on and stopped them completely. Long Reef's still Long going. Reef wants something and he's no, stopped they've stopped now. now. So we might have two on a wave here. Long Reef don't want it. They've let that one go underneath him. Still waiting, still looking. Where's that other Both. boat? Both, and they're a, long, there. they're a long way in. Long Reef forgot to do something. They're, in that they're no having a shot at this area, one. So. He's revved him up. This, this could be nice. Ooh, not, a little bit, not a little bit slow. Stay in the bow, young girl. Get the nose down it. Oh, oh. Washed that off the back. Oh, that's no good. Opens up the door for the yellow boat from McMaster's to. McMaster's minis, yeah, they're going to have a go crack now. <laughs> right, oh, what's happening? This is a lot closer than what they thought it would be. Where's that finish line? We don't know. McMaster's trailed off. They've oh, gone, no. they've tra They've slewed off to the north. Now Long Reef, it's your shot. See what you can do, get across the line straight, and that's a victory for you. Yeah, good boat work there from the falling off the back of that first one to now, uh, see, the see water how shallow moving. it is there, yeah. yeah. it's just turbulent, very turbulent. Very hard to steer a boat in that in those conditions, but there's a there's a win for the Long Reef castaways. Their those sweeps in that race is that they don't have uh, a lot of weight in the boat, so the boat will sit a bit higher, and that it makes a massive difference bit if you've control. got um, a group of what 60, 60 kilo ladies compared to one hundred and ten kilo men. It's a, it's sits, a huge. It's down a lot further the boat when the, with the big boys in it, so it sinks. Oh, nice, nice way for the cobras there, Collaroy. Very nice. He's kept him in the seats, bouncing around a bit. So they're up in alley one, so they're getting the, the backwash off the beach as well. See the white water exploding behind them. Nice and controlled, ladies. Just finish it off smoothly. It is really up that north end. You probably can see it here. They're on a sandbank, and it's right in front of the Queensy Club there. There's not a lot of water, so right. the tide drops. Back around to round four of the big boys. No such thing. We're on to round four. We haven't got any paperwork, so this was a knockout round. Would it be? Um, um no, I think we've I think had the, round three. I think the boys are doing round four, and then then they're all doing four rounds, and then uh, then they start the knockout. So we don't have the paperwork for that. Okay, so I've just had just had a word in my ear. We've got the semis for the uh, reserve grade men. So they are going from, I think it was from twelve to ten. So we've dropped. So we've dropped. And this is our first one. So we got the Allura Silverbacks, the North Bondi Blade Runners, Palm Beach Pelicans, and the Coogee Bees. Now the Blade Runners have had a couple of wins, I think. Where are we? What have we got? Is it two heats of four, three must, through to must the Must be two or? heats of four. They've dropped to eight. So we've had, probably had it with a couple of crews dropping out through the course of the morning. We've got um, two heats of four, or two semis of four. Drop one, take us through to a final of six. Or they may be dropping two to a final of four. Don't know yet. But after this, it's a, it's a race for medals. So there's our starter. Could go uh, eight to six to a final of four, potentially, as well. I mean, we just It could. Because it would be tough to have six boats in one race out there. So that... It will be. That's why, that's why I was thinking we might have a final of four. Uh, but we've got four in this one. So we're not sure if we're dropping two or dropping one. But uh, that means we've only got two heats of the, the reserve grade, so we're dropping one dropping one race out of the reserve grade round. So uh, this round should go through a little bit quicker. And then I believe we're going into the mixed 
yeah, event mixed later this on. afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Inaugural. Right, oh, four in this race. The digital gun's gone off. Palmy in the go. middle of the field there, is it? They've got uh, a little bit of less water, white water to contend with. So Palmy, could you get the bottom? There's the Blade line. Runners. They've been, been informed today. They have been informed today. They're making their way to see. They've stopped. There's a bit of water there. Ooh. Bouncing up over that one. G'day, Ken. How are you? I didn't know you were down here. Just had Ken Burness from Service Paradise walk past. Yeah, Say g'day. Allura's popping over that one nicely. You can hear the thud of the boat landing back on the water as they come down on top, off, off going over the top of it. Alley 4 down the bottom of the screen yeah, there the out Kuchy in front. Crew. Look, looking, looking good with the Blade Runners from But the, the North Blade Runners, they are, they, are, they are putting the hammer down. They're going to catch them before too long. They're, we've got all four out charging to see. We've got a bit of a, uh, I think, a higher rate out of the North Bondi crew, and they seem to be just charging past the other. They are. They are rating up a lot higher than, than other crews we've seen today. But uh, now now that we're in the, this is eliminations, we're not going to see too many crews stop on the way home. No. Nah. No, it's, uh, Particularly with the big boys, they'll uh, they'll just say, you know what, done it a hundred times before, let's go for it. So it's just a bit of water. So Blade Runners have turned first, followed by the Coogee Bees, very very closely behind them. And up Top in Alley the One, we'll that would be there. the Silverbacks, Alura. So Coogee have had a good turn. They've come out nice and wide. Um, it's the Palmy Crew with it. Look at oh the Blade Runners. Uh, they are screamer. smoking this one. Could you can all they can do is sit and watch them go past because they've got nothing at surf boats, unfortunately. But look at that from, Blade Runners just Blade tapping Runners. it along. There they are. It's not big, might not take them all the way to the beach, or it might, but they uh, great use of the water, boys. And they're in the break zone. That's that's how easy it can be. They've rode all the way home, but they've just tapped it along. It's not been hard work because the water, uh, the waves picked them up and pushed them along. Just sitting in the sweet spot there, and they'll go over it at the end. They'll get the uh, get the win in that semi. They got that easy, I want to say. So one. They seem to be the team to beat those boys. I think. The Blade Runners looking the goods. Um, next, we'll have Kuji come into screen shortly. It looked like they went a bit sideways on. Oh, no, there they are. Kuji. We can't see from where we are unless we were looking at the screen. We've got a big tent in front of us. The McMaster's Allura. tent blocks Ooh. our view. Allura's jaw. Oh. Let's leave that up to Call the... Call that, yeah. Call that might one. might have been Allura, but... Very close with Allura and Coogee right on the line together. But it's the Palmy crew that could look like missing out without their sweep. We've, we've dropped someone out of the back of the boat. So they're, uh, they're coming home rudderless. The boys there on one side of the boat stopping and propping to row the, and the others letting the row, the row the other side of the boat around. You can control the boat reasonably successfully with just four rowers. On waves, not really. No, very hard. You just lose that... Uh, well, the bow goes down a bit more without the weight in the back and it just seems to want to steer itself. Yep. Right. It's a round... Oh, semi two. Semi number two, so the blade runners were looking the goods there and then we had a well, practically a dead heat with uh, the Silverbacks and, and Coogee Bees. Crowd's still walking past. All day down here, mate. It's uh, Everyone comes from far and wide to walk along this promenade. Goes all the way from Queensy down to, uh, down to Shelley Beach. and it's In the corner, yeah, nice. A, there's a track from the northern end of Queensy over the top into... Uh, Freshwater Beach and over to Curly as well. So it's That's a steep little hill yesterday. I walked over it. Mm, it's a beautiful part of the world. There's our results. The Blade Runners in first place. Coogee B in second. Allura Silverbacks in third. Palm Beach Pelicans. Mate, pack it up, I'm afraid. So, yeah, we're still not sure how, we, how many we're going down to for a final. Whether we're doing another, another semi-final um, with three and drop one or we're going straight to a final of six boats so we'll find out as the day unfolds. The ASRL president Nick Sampson and Ed Wiener one of the one of the other 
board members. Vice president, is, it, is she? Yeah. I hope Eddie's feeling well today. She uh, apparently what, had a few sherbets last night. Dark glasses are on, mate. Look, looking at, smiling for the camera. Okay, so we've got the start list for the next race coming up here. Bateman's Bay Ultimate Reserves, the Fat Dads from McMaster's, Palm Beach Peppers and Palm Beach Padlock. So can the Fat Dad do it again? We'll see. We'll see. I, uh, I like, I think they're in some pretty good form. They, they love a wave, so they're away now. The gun's gone. Oh, we're away. That's quick. So we're rolling through them nice and, nice and, and quick. Here we now. go. All four crews got a fa fairly even start there. The two Palm Beach crews at the bottom of the screen, and Bateman's Bay up the top, and the yellow boat the fat, in the middle of the fat, fat dads. dads. They're going for it. They fast off the start. Nice big splash there off and the bow. They've, they've stopped. stopped. Something's coming. Oh yeah. If, if oh god, <laughs> you can't see it on the screen, but <laughs> from where no, we're you sitting, you can't see it on the screen. We've looked through the tents. There's a reason why the boys have stopped. Spencey's moving his people somewhere. A rather large big reason why they've stopped. But Spencey's having to charge. So it's not unlike him to stop and wait. So he's he's going for it. Ooh. He's either going to come unstuck in a big he's way. He's lost his bowman, out there. The bowman's out of his seat. But they're still in a reasonably safe position. They're going to go for it. One's coming. What's going to happen oh, here? Oh, under it. See you later. Oh, if they hadn't had that mix-up yeah. and that bad landing, Getting they would have made that out as a rollover. Ah. Now you've got the fat dads up the northern end that look like they're gapping it, but there's something coming, unfortunately. Fat dads having a launch at not, it, but there's another one, one behind this. There they go, they're yeah, going. Over that. So Bateman's Bay have got a bit of a problem on their hands too up in alley one. They're sideways in the break and there's a guy out of the boat. But the fat dads, they're out the back clean all by themselves. Oh, there's... The end result of Batman's Bay, Neil Innes is cursing there. You'd have to, uh, you'd have to think if you're Palmy, you're still thinking you got a bit of a chance well, to get the boat Spence, over and get Spence, out. The, well, the boat is uh, almost upright again, but the fat dads are out in front. Doing it easy. Just tapping along. They won't be using any energy at all for this. There's five heads and an upside down boat of Palm Beach. Lamenting what went wrong there. Look at that, just taking it easy. They got to play. Uh, it'd be dodgem cars on the way in, won't it? Oh yeah, there's a bit, bit of debris in the water to navigate. But there's the other Palm Beach crew. They're um, I can't remember these, who these guys are, but there's plenty of Palm Beach crews to try and remember. So there was the padlock somewhere. This could be the pe uh, not the pelicans, the the peppers. Peppers. This is the peppers. Marcus Green in the second bow there. The Coxie sweeping the. A lot of success, I think, in the Colts, this crew. They won the Aussies a number of years ago, rowing in the 23s. So. Yep. Callum, Robert, Marcus and Tyler. And McMaster, and the have fat a go dads. This. They're on a wave. Trail it off again. Looking. Look at Wade sitting there in the bow. Mate. He's just having a rest. <laughs> Looks like Smile a for the camera, session. mate. Looks like a training session. It's so cool. they got a very, very uh, small, uh, small stroke mark. He likes to, uh, when he gets on the beers, he likes to have a wrestle. He's a very <laughs> well, funny little boy. There's uh, Bateman's Bay having another shot going to see. Palm is still floundering with uh, gear out of the boat. Fat Dads are saluting. They've had a w they're into the final, we suggest. Um, and the Peppers, they're waiting for a... Uh, Don't need to do anything silly now, do we? No, they're not at all. Mate, they're, uh, they're looking pretty. They, they could have second place stitched up here if they play it, play it smart. It might be rowing now. Very competent surf sweep, Stephen Cox. He has been around for a while. Just playing it safe, just letting the bigger ones go through and just tapping in on the little ones. Still want to keep it tidy and clean. How are we going, Jase? How's it going? We're going all right, Tash. Tash has just popped in. I'm actually getting a little bit cold sitting here under yeah, the tent with that breeze blowing. Turn, turn the heaters on, I reckon. Reaching for my jumper shortly. Yeah, wouldn't mind a jumper, but got a brand new you know, jumper in my bag thanks to the, the team Navy we, and ASRL. We, we, we can't beggars can't be choosers. Here comes Palmy across the line. They've just they've played it safe. Playing it safe. 
So look at that. Um, we've got two crews home. And off uh, a Bateman's Bay are still having issues. What do you got? A zip. Getting the bowman back in the in his seat. Yeah. Palm Beach with Spence, they've put their boat back together. They're having a, having another launch at it. Still a final, still one spot up for grabbing the final. So whether Batman's Bay or Palm Beach can... Oh, there's an enormous set out the back. That is a sizable way. <laughs> and Spence is having a charge. So I don't know if we'll see it or the, yeah, cat, the TV crew. will do it any justice, but you can see that white water that Neil Innes is just about to go through. Seems to have sort of there's, washed out a little not a, bit. But, oh. <laughs> not really. <laughs> there you go, boys. Sometimes oh. it's just not your... He won't be happy that that guy jumped out. Mate, he, uh, that's a jump. That wasn't a dive. Yeah, yeah Neil, tell him. <laughs> Put your hands up, mate. That's that's three attempts for three strikes. You don't see many of those wooden sweep oars getting around anymore. No, see, you don't. No, no. Michael Brooks likes it up north. Megsy swears by it. But, um, mate, they still break. I don't care what you say. That's all they had about. What was it, 10 years ago? There wasn't many car. There was wasn't all, many carbon or carbon fibre ores. I used to use a timber ore. Um, and we've, then st we've still got a couple. And once you've, you've been rolling with the, sweeping the carbon one, you try to hang on to the wooden one around the bay and it hurts your arm. Oh, it does hurt. They're heavy. They are heavy, those things. They feel a lot different. There's a lot more flex in them. A little bit less responsive than the carbon, but people say that the carbon breaks too easy. But... Like, There's that hooter. That's, we've just uh, heard a hooter go off in the six background. Six minutes, I think that means, and you got a minute to get to the beach. So six minutes. That's been the longest six minutes of all yeah. time. Well, it's a seven minute. Is that right? Seven minute limit. So the I hooter, think we've moved it out to seven minutes. Yeah. So he was six. Hooter but, uh, on the six and the double hooter Spence, on the seven. Spence is riding his boys home, so they've got not much time to get home. Um, and no waves behind them either to help. So it's a row. There we go, there's our course time of seven minutes. So we had the six minute hooter to go not that long ago. The boys have probably got about 30 seconds to get They look like they're, across the line. they're further out than they think. This is going to be close. Like, so. This is going to be very close for the time limit. So Spence will be urging the boys on. They can't. They don't have time to sit and wait for a wave. They've just got to keep going. And hopefully he, something catches uh, them. He is yelling at them, you can see it. He's, yeah, he's very animated in the back of the boat there. There, there you go. Whipped him along. We think they've made it home. Nice work. So Bateman's Bay eliminated from that race after yeah. three false starts from them. It's, uh, it certainly takes oh, a lot more yeah. energy than you think trying, Those, to, uh, trying to start stop. If you look at the fella in the stroke seat there, he, he had a go. He's hurting just to get back in time. He gave a fair bit then. And the merch, I've got to say, is looking fantastic this year. Nice choice, whoever's uh, doing the that work. Very stylish. So, we've got Reserve Women coming up next. And this is the Short Course Championships. First time it's been standalone. We've got, uh, I, th I think I heard about a hundred crews entered across the weekend for this event, which is good. Good numbers. It's a lovely day, looking down south towards Manly and Shelley's at the other end of the beach. Plenty of surfers out this morning, making the most of some waves. How's that, mate, with the jumper on? Fantastic. Well, I'm yep. just about to put mine on, so the wind is uh, it's all you. A little bit, uh, a bit cool. Even though, what are we today? Is it the second or the third? Third, third day of summer. Second day. Third day. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. Results was well, clear winners there. Mick Masters, Fat Dads. Second, the Peppers, and third, the Padlocks. With Neil and the Batemans boys, a DNF. So I would imagine that the top three from each heat will be going through to a, either two heats of three 
with 2 3 to a 4 boat final or straight into a 6 boat final from here, but at this stage, unsure. So that leaves us to round four of the reserve female. So there's only two heats in round four. It looks like we've also had some crews drop out of that too, possibly. Yeah, Avalon Beach Chaos, they're out. The Banshees, well, they've got to, the, the Batemans Bay Banshees, they've got to empty the boat out before they take it out to sea after Neil and his boys tried to sink it numerous times there. Oh, that jumper makes all the difference, yeah. doesn't it? I've done well this year oh, with the merch, I think. There's That's our lineup. The Banshees, the Coogees, Cogs, the North Bondi Shredders, which were going well earlier on in the Diamonds. Um, we had the Allura crew power. They scratched, I believe, yeah, on, yeah. on the list. So, heat of four, and then the heat two will be a heat of three. Wow, right out. And would that suggest that there's going straight to a final? I think they so. might go to a final, uh, final of four. Yeah, I'm not sure. Points. So, the little girls are on points. All important. Uh, yeah, you want to be in the first one or two crews to come home today, right now. There's the uh, shredders from North Bondo there, just waiting, Three rounds, semi getting ready to go. One of the North Canola crews, the Diamonds. So that uh, looks like the reserve men will go from that um, top three from each race straight to a six boat final. Right, oh. So we haven't seen six boats go out yet, I don't think. No, we haven't seen it. We've had five. I think we've had a race of five, but a race of six is um, going to be a bit squishy. But it is meant to be the best of the best on the day, so hopefully they get out and back, state, keep it straight, and see who gets the uh, all important gold medal. We've got a flag up, four boats on the line. Really ugly at the bottom of the screen here. There you can see a wave pushing on with a nice crazy angle onto the shoreline. We're Come up onto the Coogee there. there yeah. Looks like they're in position here, gun must be up. Yeah, the girls are, girls are jumping around. And they're away. There it goes. Yeah, that bottom of the screen, they just went a little bit sideways straight away, so it's got it straight again now, but... Oh, is that the shredders in the middle of the screen? They're bouncing up and down on the on the shoreline, trying to get away. Batemans Bay, the Banshee's up in alley one. They've got a really good start going, and so is uh, the crew at the bottom of the screen, North the Carolina. Diamonds. <coughs> uh, Batemans Bay, alley one has stopped. Neil Enos must have seen something coming. He's probably... probably Suffering from a little bit of trauma of taking the reserve grow boys out not that long ago. He's sitting and waiting. See him just trying to make sure the bow stays stay straight out directly well, into the wave. Little one on the nose here for the diamonds. There you go. Whack. Standing up in the bow there to try Ooh. and keep the, stop the boat from going Ooh. backwards. There's another one. On an angle. She's back in the seat. Uh, yeah. And we've got the, the shredders in the middle. Shredders in alley three, they're out, and the crew in alley two, um, which was Coogee, I believe. Coogee Cogs, yeah. Yeah, nice work, ladies. Uh, Neil Ennis, poor old Neil Ennis is having a torrid time down there in alley one. Both both his men and women, I think they were both alley one, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they've been they're punished. Confident. I think I was going to say earlier that alley one looked like the hardest one to make it out to sea from. Well, there's Coogee, doing a nice job there. It looks relaxed, don't they? They, they do, but I think they're catching the shredders. The shredders have been fast. North Bondo's got their boat, got both their crews, the Blade Runners and the shredders going really well. They're into the can first. A little bit wide, is it? Oh, it's all right. That turn. It's not too bad. Could you 
the right on their hammer. And, and here come the diamonds. Go. They're making their way onto the screen to turn. It so, really is a lot of movement out there, isn't there? It's, oh, lovely, it's lovely water. I haven't been out there this weekend, and I don't know what the water is, but it looks as though it's moving a fair bit. It looks confused. But He's looking uh, around the sweep. Going to call him onto this, is he? Or he's... Well, they're still charging. They're not stopping, and um, you can see Coogee there. They they're it. still going for it. They haven't stopped or backed down either yet, so here's a little lift for the shredders. Can they do it? Can they get over it? Can they... They're going to get down that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice, nice stay little trail off. Nice there one for Coogee behind that too. See, one of the girls oh, fell she over. Just and fell over, yeah. Just pushed that boat down on... Little, little bit of a sloppy trail from um, Coogee as well, but they've all managed to get back to the boat, the back of the boat safely. That's the money shot there. That's a great shot. It is, mate. There's only one thing better, and that's having all five, four boats on yeah. one wave. It's North Bondi have done it again. Another, another win. They had the boys before. I think they had the win. They've, so. had, they've had some good, good results in the rounds. Good point. Good points gathering. Provisional race winner North Bondi Shredders. And here's this here. That's North Cronulla. Down one into another. Oh. Drop down again. Nice work. Well done. Nice work. So Good they, boat the, work. The crew can make that really, really easy for you, or very, very difficult. But the girls, the girls did make it look easy. And there's the, the that, shredders. They don't even look like they're uh, they're tired, do they? No, they're not puffing. No, they've done it easy. It's always good when you can catch a wave home and have a rest. That wind does seem like it might have dropped off, but I think the wind has dropped off. Yeah, it's going to swing round to the northeast as the day progresses. So. Well, by the time that happens, we might be done here. Yeah. The drones just add a whole new level to the coverage. It's great. So have we got another, another Reser ladies semi-final? Reserve semi -final? female two, yeah. Marubra, Kuji, and the Palm Beach pterodactyls. All right. Marubra Magnets, Coogee DMGs, Palm Beach Pterodactyls. So, and D and F there for the Banshees. Poor, yeah, very, very tough for Neil Innocent. Two consecutive races in up in alley one. He got belted both times. So what are, what are the, the Marubra Magnets going to do about alley one? Like, can they get out? And the gun's gone, so we'll see. Only way to find out is to get out there, so... It is only three in this race, they're, so... They're not out there anyway, so oh, that's, that's yeah. what they're going to do about it. Yeah, they Coogee DMGs. So Coogee, Palm Beach and Allura. Oh, so Allura were meant to be in Heat 1, but they've been pushed to Heat 2. Oh, maybe the, because uh, the magnets dropped out. Yeah, so... So we're sort of operating on the fly here with uh, race ch uh, changing uh, crews and races a bit. So you can see Coogee there on screen, waiting... Taking one stroke just to get a little bit of forward momentum to pop over those the white, white water coming at them. And they're not pushing hard there. The girls are just only doing enough to move the boat. They've stopped it. Allura's had a crack at this oh. one. They're going to get it fair on the nose. See the sweep it's working hard right to get the, the boat straight there. Into the yeah, he was working hard. He threw his weight down on the back deck to try and get the nose to pop up a little bit. But the girls are going okay. They're, oh, a little bit of a miss up there. Palmy's pumps are working overtime they're going to go under oh, one there hey, that. and that's back. did they have enough speed there no maybe they did not, not. <laughs> they did not so you can see the that young lady in the stroke there struggling to get her all back but um allura they're out in front and um uh, could you at the other end of the beach they've made it out as well so they're only dropping one and you two are out pretty safely Just had former President Michael Brooks walk past us there and say good day. So Palm Beach there, sitting in the break with the pumps working in overtime. Allura are out the out the back. 
just tapping it along, doing it easy. It really does look like they are doing it easy, but... Uh, I'm sure they're not. Yeah, no. It's, that wind, uh, the wind always makes it tr tricky, doesn't it? The, an uncomfortable, I suppose. Is yep. So just, uh, just checking in on our live stream and comments and who's watching. My brother. G'day, Wesley. Yeah, hope you're enjoying the coverage, mate. Hopefully you can uh, make your way across the city tomorrow and come and see me. So we've got the two crews coming out of the cans now. They've caught up to each other. Um, the so Coogee. Coogee have caught Allura there. Allura is tracking north. They may have seen something that could be user-friendly or yeah. get them out of Look trouble. Look at them go, Coogee. Coogee are having a squeeze he's, on that. He's They've called him easy there. He's fallen off it. That They could have turned that into a, a, yeah. a magnificent wave. But they sort of stopped see what's coming behind us so they've by doing that they've left Allura behind and they're having a crack at this one now that looks nice for them doesn't it you see the change in colour of the water where the sand's being pushed out so it's getting yep. a bit shallower be careful here that's nice nice little easy one he's trailed them off most races but not this time he's kept them in their seats because that is not very threatening at all yeah just got to negotiate the turbulent water there, Allura coming across the line there, they're looking for a second place. It's all important points here, I think, so there's no semi, they're going straight into the final off the... Uh, oh, so the they're still gathering points. points. And some crews have actually eliminated themselves by pulling out of the race. Which shortens up the program, potentially. They might have been planning on a semi, but might not have had the... Yeah, well, the now boats we don't to have do numbers, it, so. so... It does make it a little bit difficult for the officials and the ladies in the donger doing the recording, changing the race, the, the program and the paperwork on the run. But they do a great job, though. Nothing seems oh, to phase them. They certainly do, but, but um, also there may have been an injury in one of these boats we don't know about, yeah. whether the girls or the guys actually can't physically do it anymore for the day so Lovely nice wave, wave there for Palmy to finish off on showing displaying their um, boat skills on the way in there As you see uh, we do a fair bit of training up at Palmy the boat the beach is a lot more flat than Avalon so the uh, it's a nice place to train and, and Coxie's out there every Sunday with his crews catching waves and doing practice trailing and you can well, see, what, see the hard work pays off that beautiful wave there that's what it's all about I've, I've been currently working on my under 19 girls brand new to the sport and so all I've been doing is working on, on surf work with them yeah. trailing so they've they've got me out of a couple of pickles with some good boat skills in the first first two or three carnivals so it's it's imperative to have good boat skills I believe you can teach them to row better later on yeah for sure that's the uh, the under 19 South Curly Burley boys So under 19 boys are going to hit the water now. Oh, this is, is this round four? That is the first time you have ever picked up on a spelling mistake. He can't spell. <laughs> and the gun goes off, so the boys are away. That was a great start there from the Burley boys. South Curly Burley, where they got the serpents beside them from Surfers Paradise. Look at them trying to raid up there. They're really trying to get pace through that white water and aggressive looking, aren't they? Yeah. And is that a Palm Beach boat up the top there? Looks like we might only have because we've only got three in this race. So I think we got no alley one and two, maybe. I think we've just got uh, a th a three, four, and five in this one. So there's Palmy crashing through a little bit of white water. Um, Service Paradise are beside them, and then. Um, South Curly, the Burley are further down the field in Alley 5. So Palmy's making their way to sea. Nice and smooth. The boys are raiding up. The bowman had a look over his shoulder. We haven't negotiated that successfully. Here's another one a little bit steeper. You see the bowman get out of their seat just to 
catch that boat as it lands down. So what seat do you row in? I've, uh, I've rowed everywhere but the bow. Okay, but the bow, right. So I'm back in the straight this year, but second straight last year. Nice. So you can see Palmy is sort of uh, putting the foot down, and they've passed Service Paradise. Hugo's, Hugo was angling off to the wrong can, I think. So he's now he's coming down towards the yellow can, so he's got a little bit further to go. South Curly Burley have turned theirs. They're heading out. Fantastic Palmy's in turn and out. by the South Curly crew. Here comes Service Paradise in. They're so just... a wave can bring everyone back up uh, level, and I think there's possibly something coming on the way home. It does look like it from where we're sitting. You can see a little bubble out there, but... Something's going to... Palmy's going to have a shot at something here, but here's, here's South Curly. Working it nice and long. See a wave here pop up behind them. Put a bit of a squeeze on, boys, and see if you can use it. There's a trail. Good boat work. Palmy's working it. They're not quite on it, but they've had to work really hard to get nothing. He's done well but there, the sweep uh, from South Curly. Nice work from South Curly. Just, boats. just push your away from yourself, mate. That's it. Nice work. You see the crew helping him on the oar as well. A bit of extra yep. muscle. Occasionally you need that little push. It does help, mate. It certainly does help the get, rest of uh, that oar. Someone helps push it up and someone... Uh, Push it, can help push it sideways. Ugly little bit of water there for South Curly coming across from their left hand side, but they're across in first place. Palm Beach across and Service Paradise are out there somewhere still making their way home with Hugo. There he is. Nice work, boys. So that's another another good race for the Burley boys, South Curly Burley. They've done it well. Yet again. Listening to the uh, the ASRL podcast with Tash the other day, talking to Trent Rogers about the up and coming people at South Curly, and he said that the uh, the juniors and the and the twenty threes are all uh, pushing the opens on the ergs, and you know if, if the uh, opens don't uh, watch out, these young guys will come through and take their seats. So. Oh. Mate, there's some pressure for you. Yeah. It, um, back at Mollymook when I started, we were in the juniors, we were, we were race against the reserve grade boys every afternoon. So that reserve grade crew won two or three state titles in a row. So we knew if we could keep up with them, we were, we were doing okay as a junior crew. So it was it was good. The whole club would train together. And I think that's the, six, the secret of success is get the whole club together, train against each other, race against each other, just builds each other, it builds the atmosphere, builds builds a camaraderie ship. It's a great culture, like and the competition between yeah. each other too. We've got the flag up for the next race. So where are we here? We're around two. Sorry, round four, heat two. Polaroid Red, North Canola Adrenaline, North Canola Weapons and Allura Squirrels, although we do look like that doesn't quite look correct, does it? Um, Maybe just miss... Pretty, we're missing the squirrels, I think. There's no red boat out there. I mean, there's or no red boat, boat out there either, so... so. Um, it's, we can, I can see we've got a North Canola at the bottom of the screen. Which that's Jeff Loy there. And there's a with his long sleeve the white shirt there. on. Oof. Chucking his oar out the back and getting pumped by a bit of white water. The boys there's have had another a, one on there. Need to land in the middle back in your seats, boys. So they've negotiated safely, relatively safely. Is it the top of the screen that looks looks like a couple of North Carolina at the is bottom that, of the screen. Is that, is that a Coogee boat? Because we've got I think we've got North Canola in Alley. Bottom, bottom of the screen. Two bottom of the screen. Looks screens. like funky, I think, in the bottom of the screen. Couldn't all be three North Cronulla crews, could it? You never know with North Cronulla. They've got a heap of crews. <laughs> that's, a, that's another club. Great, strong surf boat section. Very strong. Great culture down there. Well, that's great because this is the junior division. Yeah. Three, three junior crews in one race. That'd be amazing. So it's only looking bright for them down there at North Cronulla. 
So the crew in LE2 there, they're turning first. There we go, updated. There we go, so we've got three uh, North Cronulla crews in one race. We're, we're missing the squirrels from... Uh, All off the same beach, those three. Uh, well, they are off the same beach, yep. So That's this four, could sorry. just be a, a, a normal Saturday morning training session for these boys. Hitting out against their, their club mates. <laughs> no doubt they uh, be a fair bit of rivalry in that. Oh, yeah, they'll be group. firing up to try and beat each other. A lot of bragging rights if you can beat your your someone from your own club. There goes a little it. swell there. That one and two are on it. That one looks like it's one to drop one down it. Could drop there down that one. Go. Two's off it. So there we go. There's one there on it. That looks Three. like Jeff Loy up there, in uh, up the top of the screen with his crew. And the rest of the boys are catching up on sec on the second wave. So we've got one going sideways here. Are they going to run into each other? Oh, there's a sweep out of the other boat. Out. So there we go. We had two two North Cronulla crews slewing to the north. Why not? Looks like Jeff Loy boys have done it well there. Come home with a win. There, there's a bit of cheering in the boat going on. Now the, now the, the scrap is on to see who can get that second place. And they're out. That's... Here we go. Boys Unfortunately, we don't know which crew is which. One's the weapons, one's adrenaline, and one's jeopardy, I think. Nice boat work to get the boat across without a sweep. Oh, uh, yes. That's all you need to do is finish. So. Hope, hopefully they haven't run into their own crew there too doing that. But yeah, that happens. My girls finished the race without me the other day. You feel like having a swim, did you, or they kicked you hot. out? It was hot. Yeah. yeah, it was boiling. It was hard work in the back of the boat. So I had a dip on the way home. They didn't realise I wasn't gone until they looked around and the boat stopped on the sand. At least you know they're not taking their concentration off watching their oars. So oh, well, they were trailed off. Right. The, they were trailed off in the back of the right, boat. Right. No one was watching for me. <laughs> Collecting some oars there. For one of the one of the boats lost a few oars. A little so. bit of a clean up, get get the debris out of the water so we can start the next race. So does that mean we're up to the little ladies again? Must be heat four. Around four, sorry, of the we have done the two two of the the nineteen males, so up to the little ladies again. So we got no Avalon Beach or no baby. Tamara. Tamara Braun's just dropped us off some paperwork for the reserve female short course final which is good that's coming up shortly so there's the, the jeopardies the weapons and the adrenaline is how the three north Cronulla crews came across the line but the 19 so the, the 19 final ladies round. are up so we saw we've lost a few of these crews out yeah. of this field so the bottom two alley five and six i don't think will be starting and the Palm Beach Pearlers. And the, and the Pearlers, yeah, so it's we, just the three. I think we're just down to the three. So Long Reef Castaways, who had a win last race. McMaster's out a second. Collaroy had a third, so... It'll be 27 points to... Maybe it might be... Uh, I think second place is going to be a battle for, for the silver. I think yeah. I think the uh, the minis are up there looking good. There's the little girls. You can just saw, just see the, the handler run away. The poor bow girl, she scrambled in there see the water rushing yeah, to the really south there north to south quite quickly. really flying out there the minis are stuck in that one i think it's uh, whoever wins this out of the um, white boat and the yellow boat wins the event so kind of points point score so mcmass is there there's the the cobras from Collaroy bouncing their way out to sea that Collaroy boat's almost out of the area down this end it's uh, they're moving very yeah quickly. there's a lot of water pushing from north to south through that that gutter there as they get out to the deeper water it's not moving as fast so they're sort of holding their position but long reef has stopped there's there's a little fa favorite girl in the bow looking around checking out what's coming bouncing over a bit of white water there's still another set coming so they're going to wait for a little while there they could be pinned on the inside having a good old look see over a shoulder Collaroy Collaroy's um still in the break I think all three boats are still in the break there's the the, the minis from McMaster's it is He's looking for it I think it's looking clear out behind them so 
This is their gap. Let's Bouncing go, girls. I reckon. Get moving. He's asked for him to go. Something's looming. Oh, what is happening here? Oh. The girls have bashed through the top oh, of that. The and there's another one, one behind it. They've they stopped. Gone. It's broken nah. far enough out to sea for to break safely before it got to them. That's uh, got them putting in the big ones. Good now. management or just yeah. luck that one. We'll put it. We'll put it down to good management. Righto, good management. What about this one? That's over. They're out. Put the foot down, girls. Where's that? Keep long, it going. Long reef crew. We don't know. Long reef. I can oh. see out the corner of my eye. They're still in the break. There they are. So. We've got two crews out, but this is currently we're watching Long Reef here battling their way through the break. They're going to pop over this one, land it, girls. See the little bow girl there stand up looking for the water. Great Get job it. for these young girls getting through that surf. It's yeah, some of them may not have been rowing for all that long, no. so it's it's tough out there today for them. Doing a great job. Collaroy, they've made a break and they are charging to the gate can. They're turning cans, so they're well out in front. They're well out in front. They're yeah, good. This um, sort of southern end is seems to be favoured on the way out, doesn't it? It certainly does. It makes it life easier to get out. We've seen a number of crews in Alley, Alley 1 have an issue with getting off the beach. Batemans Bay, Neil, Neil Ennis can probably tell you a couple of stories about that. The pick of the uh, the pick of the lanes on the way home, potentially up the other end. That's the, well, the trade-off. If, you, if but... you've got to go through it on the way out, you hopefully got to use you can use them on the way home. But... Uh, Long Reef are making their way out to sea. Yeah. Nice work, girls. Collaroy, uh, sorry, Long Reef, a few lengths away from their turn. Just working it all the way to sea. The Swift will be inspiring them, talking them up, reminding them how to do it. Because by now they'll be getting tired. Here we go, the Collaroy crew. Collaroy, they've caught a nice little, that. sweet little wave to come home in. I'll come Keep home. They've just got to be aware of the. The moving water under yeah. the under the boat there. So He's done well. The sweep. The girls are all forward. Keeping the boat skimming, balanced. That's skimming nice. their blade. You can see that, which is which really helps keep the boat level and stable. You see this wave coming at you know ninety degrees to yep. the others. It's exactly right. So that's going to push the back end of the boat around and make it really hard to steer. But um, nice work there. Is that Gavin? I think it is Gavin's crew. But Gavin's got a. Uh, Oh, he got, he's got a broken foot or something. He, he got beaten up yesterday, didn't he, in that, in that stack? No, I mean, I didn't see yesterday, but from, I saw him a few weeks ago and he was in a moon boot. So. Oh, right. Well, apparently um, there was an issue with uh, one of the Collaroy sweeps yesterday. They got hammered. Is Mick Norman, if he can keep that to the beach unofficially, I think he might have it. Yeah, but, the girls uh, are pretty happy there. They've got their hands that. going, don't they? Collaroy's boat's back on the sand. Um, the minis, the McMaster's minis are cheer and they could have enough points to uh, stand up on the top shelf of the dice. They look happy don't they the girls? So Yep bit of clapping and you see the reserve men down there helping them catching the boat. The fat dads are there doing their job. Now here comes the long reef girls and there is a wave behind them. This is a good size wave. Now this is that. And the bowman is looking, yeah, still she looking. Is She's got a, having a, a peak. Trail them off and get them back get them back safely there we are there we go nice work well oh, a little bit of a stack it's really the strokes uh, had a, a fall it's really just going from these huge waves standing up to just really flat aren't they like they, they, they're just sort of washing them out or breaking they them die really quickly don't they but that was nice nice boat skills from the girls there to get their oars out of the way get back and it's hard to trail and clear your oar when the boat's not moving yeah. fast the number one thing is a, is a sweep is you want the boat moving fast, otherwise uh, you've got it's, no steerage. It's like a jet ski. You can only steer them when you're going fast. Yeah. Very hard to steer when you're going slow, these things. Four, four out, four back for the girls and and uh, kept them up right the whole way. Well, these, so well these, three girls have been, these three girls crews have been rather successful today with their, with their adventures to sea. Nice work, ladies. But competent sweeps, keeping them all safe, which is, which is good to see. Heading into the uh, second half of the season, For knowing sure. that they've knowing that they competed at, at uh, Collaroy in this, I mean Collaroy, at Queenscliff in these conditions, that'll give them a world of confidence. They've got to be happy with themselves. It's a silver medal at an Australian event, I think, unofficially, but well done, ladies. 
So, are we back to the f- finals? This will be reserved. We've only got the reserved female, so... I'm not sure. Stand by. Well, I've had a seat at the officials now. Ashley Cardiff. Standing well, up before, look full of energy, but he's... Uh, he's Here's our updated weather condition. So we can see the temperatures drop, the winds changed, the surf's been upgraded to 1.3 meters. Still humid. <laughs> weather humidity's great. <laughs> the, the wind could be, I think, a little bit false. Yeah, possibly. I think that's very false. A little bit more than four kilometers an hour out of the southeast. Um, but the size of the swell, I'm not sure. That, I'm not sure where they're getting 1.3 meters from. Some of them are a lot bigger than that. Might be an average. So the live stream's still ticking over. Scotty Clements in uh, Service Paradise is watching. Catherine White up at Woolgooga. Always have trouble saying that name. They're watching. Nat Gardner was watching earlier. One of the famous female rowers from uh, Bill Gola. Living in Canberra now, I think. So, so what are we standing great. by to see what we have next? We've, we this, think we're this, back around to the reserve road. Well, but that looks like women on the line there. That could be what White Tamara like gave us this reserve ladies. female. So, we've got. There is the uh, race results from the 19. Race round results four. from the 19, yes. Collaroy, Cobras, McMaster's Minis, and then the Long Reef Castaways. And three DNFs, or did not start there as well. So we've got, is that five ladies' crews moving down to the line now? Looks like there is. So yeah, we've one, got two, three. Alley one should be Allura Power. Like Alley 2, North Bondi Shredders. They've had success in Alley 2. The Palm Beach Pterodactyls. The Kuji um, DMGs. North something Carolina different Diamonds. on our screen. On the screen, we've got the reserve grade men's uh, list. Which is a that, final. That looks like the final of the reserve men. but I, Six in the race. I don't think that is what's on the line. We've got a flag up with a check starter. It's North Bondi. That's a North Bondi that's boat. A, that's that a looks, woman. That's a young lady in the bow there. So that's the Shredders. So this is the ladies' final. That's North Cronulla Diamonds right in front of the screen there. Getting ready. Gun goes off. In they jump. Good. Good locked-in start from the girls from Coogee there. Yeah. Looking strong. Nice work, ladies. Nice work. See the water pushing from left to right again on the screen, dragging everyone down. Fairly even. Allura, power. They've probably got the worst of it up the back there, up the top of the screen. They're a bit slower, but... Stopped uh, in the middle, Palmy Cruz. Palmy stopped. Having a rest. Coogee's still going for it. Palmy has stopped. They've seen something that sort of worries them, I think. Ooh, North There's Bondi. There's a bit of, one cunt off the screen. bit of water coming through. Coogee's... Popped over it. I think we'll see oh, some. Oh no! Oh, they've had a. The great Shredders day. have had a great morning, but they've just been belted, making that is a. Just oh, unfortunate! Get out of the way, girls. Palmies stopped, waiting because that's what they were waiting for. That one. But at this stage, unsure who's out. Could be the Coogee uh, crew, but looking over my shoulder, yeah, they're out the to sea. Is that Coogee? That's the Coogee and DMGs. And pa- Allura Power up in the top of the screen. They're out. The Bondi Shredder has been rolled. Palm Beach is still waiting on the inside. And the Diamonds, well, we haven't seen them either. So not sure what has happened to them. So this is the final. This is the race for the medals. This, yeah, this is it. So it does seem a little bit uh, funny to a lot of people that we're racing for gold medals at this time of the year, but... Um, it's great that so SLSA have given them over. There's North Cronulla. They've uh, been bashed as well by the looks of it. They're making their way out to sea. They're out the back. Pumps have been turned off. 
Palmies on their way back into the beach backwards. Oh, there's there's the, the shredders putting their stuff back together. Oh, look at the Rolex, the, the number three Rolex. It is oh. bent wide open. You're not fixing that today. Throw it in the bin. There's a lot of pressure to do that, isn't it? Oh, that's, yeah. Don't get your Inch hand caught force. in there. And this Coogee just doing it easy on the way in. They got it. There's there's one coming behind them now. So they're going to they're gonna crack at this because this is for a do gold it, medal. Do it in style. Look at them go. Trailed off. They've had some nice waves today, these girls. Absolutely fantastic. That's a great way. Got a lure of power up at the top of the screen. Palmy heading out, but look at that. He nice looks comfy, girls. and the girls look yeah. comfy. They the look young happy. lady in the bow is stretching back as far as she can to get a weight out of the front of the boat. We called them at the start. They had a great start. Good solid. Look at that. Pat's yeah, on the head. They're happy. Yep. Give it a cheer, girls. Yeah, that's, well that's a gold to medal to start girl. the start the season with, basically. Nice work. Well done. So, Allura Power were looking like a second place there at one point. So, yeah, cheers all round. We can hear them from here, yeah, yelling and screaming. So, well done to the Coogee girls. Yahooing. Well, the Bondi girls are packed up. There's uh, Allura in the background coming. Oh, happy days of the girls. That just gives you the confidence going forward for the rest of the year. That That's the Diamonds on screen there. And they've got a wave coming behind them. They've yeah, trailed off. Back early. Yep. Not a lot of boat speed, but they should be look all right, don't they? They do. No, Slewing right. off to the north, but everyone's still in the boat. Sweep's still there. He's got his hand on his oar. He'll stand up and flick it around shortly. They're still still spearing off to the north. Here they go. They look relieved, don't they? She's pooped. Take that. Is that is that's a third for them? That, is it? That could be a third. We still haven't seen uh, the power. Allura. We know we know they're out there somewhere. I think they came across before that. But that's a third for them girls. Yep. There's Allura at Allura's the other on end the of beach. beach. Yeah. So it's provisional race winners is the Coogee DMGs. S. So we've got the Palmy boat yet to come in, and I, I don't know that was it, wasn't it? The and North yeah, Bondi. then the shredders were packed yeah. up. They they um, put everything back to piece in back in the boat and Look at that nice little wave the for the sand. girls from Palmy. Yeah, stay on that. That's nice. Great boat work. Back they go. Nice work. That's one of those deceptive waves that's started small and yeah. kept building in it. Nice work. Spencey's wife in the bow there. Nice. My girls rate the day. 10 out of 10 is a, a trail and blood. Right. So, I did see Spencey's wife there checking her elbow. She may, yeah. may have lost a little bit of skin. Had, so, had trail plenty of trails today. So, we had some bark off. So then yeah, a little bit of skin blood. off might get a 10 out of 10. Well done. Difficult, difficult conditions out there today. So, congratulations to all the crews that have raced and raced well. But uh, yeah, we're handing some medals out. So that's a gold medal to uh, to Coogee, wasn't it? Can't argue with that. Can you on a nice sunny no. Saturday down at Queensy? They were well in front there once. Clouds all burn off now. Whoops. So. Yeah. If the wind to bugger off, would be beautiful. Still a good day. Still cold under the tent. Yeah. Well, they look happy, don't they? Oh, yeah. Phil down there interviewing them on the beach, yeah. so. Nice work, Phil. Jumped in to save the day today with a bit of uh, emergency commentary. So you can hear Phil in the background on the PA system on the, ground, on the, on the beach there chatting to the winners. Him and Don Cottrell have been working the beach. Keeping everyone abreast of what's happening down there. So, we saw the reserve mail final pop up, pop up before by error, but I would assume that's what's next. Three races, to, oh no, only two races to go now. Yeah. In this division, and then, and then we're putting on the uh, mixed race. So the mixed race is later on. Two males, two females. Are they, are they got to be from when they're in their own club? I don't think so. Because we've been doing, at, at Queensland, we've been doing a, a youth carnival 
and as a bit of a novelty event, we're saying we're getting two two males, two females from across clubs and mixed them up just to give them another couple of races. So the kids have been enjoying it. It's been great. Um, I'm not sure about that. I think I think there is the if you can't field a crew, you can chuck someone else in from another. Yep. Right. So we've still got that today. So I think entries closed for the mixed short course uh, reserves and juniors. I think that closed at 10:30 this morning. Um, not sure how many takers we'll get with the junior divisions. You can see the girls there congratulating each other. You'd have to think we see a crew from those North Bondi. They had both the reserve men and women were oh, on you'd fire. Do so that for sure. So there, there's our final results from the uh, reserve women final of the short course. Uh, the Kuji DMGs, the Allura Power, the North Cronulla Diamond, the Palm Beach Pterodactyls, the Bondi Shredders. Unfor- North Bondi Shredders unfortunately didn't get off the beach. They raced well all morning. They got slammed. And uh, funny looking rock by the end of that. Oh, very, very bent out of shape that one. Let's see, the boys now, blue recruit. And these guys look, is that the silverbacks? Yeah. Here we go. We've got the Palm Beach Peppers in the final. The Mac. McMaster's Fat Dads, the North Bondi Blade Runners, Coogee Bees, Palm Beach Padlocks, and the Allura Silverbacks. So this is for gold, silver, and bronze in the short course at Queenscliff 2022. Coogee, Palmy, Allura lining up there. Here's your tip. In fact, the fat dads go pretty good oh, today. The fat but dads, yeah, they've been they've been on fire all day. But whenever anyone asked me my tips yesterday, it, uh, couldn't get them. It didn't didn't work out well for the crews I tip. So I'm going to not tip anyone right now. I feel bad about putting a mocker on them. Well, so we're ready for a start here. The flags up. Guns up. Look at the Bowman's crouch down there, ready to jump up. There they go. Just change the camera angle. They're right at the wrong time. We would have seen them. They look like they were about to get a cracking jump there. But they're away. Looks like six boats in this field. The fat dads are going okay, and so are the padlocks. They can start, can't they? The fat dads and the palmy crew, they're away. Yep. Now they're making the jump. A little white water there. Everyone's still rowing. No one's decided to stop yet. Um, the Blade Runners have. Now they've and stopped. Mi- and McMasters have stopped. But this crew at Allura at Allura's Alley 6 are still going for it. it. But there's something down that end of the field, I've got a feeling. So everyone's going to stop. Palmy's proved me wrong. And this is, these are the boys that rolled earlier on. They had a big big yeah. stack earlier on. It took it, them ages that, to get off the, the beach in one race. going for the gap. Oh. No, oh. no, North Bonda, they've had a great, you, both crews have had a great morning, all morning. They have, they've been killing it. their sweep or in the final. Oh, mate, what are the odds? So they're stuck. That's so the their, ra- uh, I would say that's their day. The race continues for all the other, for the five other crews that are out there, we hope. But I think it's the... The Palmy crew and, and the out. Fat Dads. The Fat Dads oh, no, are blasted. Allura, Allura and... Let's, uh, uh, fat Dads are out in front. Um, and just look at them. Maybe the Silverbacks as well. Brad Norman in the back there calling them up. Wade, James, Craig, and Mark. <coughs> in they go to the can. Nice. And out they come on the third stroke. Nice work, guys. Sweeps looking over his shoulder. Allura's out as well. It'll be half a length in front, and that has been the out the end mm. for the waves. So. Wild turn there from Spence. But uh, that's a big lump going through there. Fat Dads could pull this. They are a great <laughs> surfboat They are crew. a great chance of pulling that from there. They have. Go, Bradley. Look at Unreal. this. What that a ride. Is a, look, have a look over your right that's shoulder commanding. and have a look at that it. That is... That is a beautiful, bloody wave. That is a well great done wave. To the boys from McMaster's. If Brad can hold it, he's got it coming over his left shoulder a bit. Yep. 
calm. He's dancing around the back of the yes, boat, they've done fighting it. that all. Well done. Now he's in control. Oh, Allura, slewing south. They'll be out of the area shortly, so they've got some work That's to do. That's Coxie's behind the fat dad's coming in there. He's going um, around. Spence. I think no, was, it's not no, Spence. It's Coxie. But uh, Palmy's having an issue. But you'd have to think there. Oh. You can see it from here. It's the fat dads. They're rowing over the line. Fat Tads have done it easy. Palmy is just all over the shop. They're on the beach. North Curly, no, North North Bondi is having a charge. They're going out. They want to finish the race. This is going to be close for the minor places. Very close for the minor places. Palmy's floundering for a second. That's uh, that's the 19s and the uh, reserves for McMaster's 19 women. So. Palmy, I believe Palmy got a second, second and third in that race there. They just pipped Coogee across the line, or, or the Silverbacks across the line. Uh, Silverbacks are still out to sea, making their way to shore. So, the Fat Dads. Look at the boys happy. The, that's that's a double for the for yeah. McMasters, the, the little girls, the big boys. Great friends of mine, these boys, They're, and they are uh, fantastic rowers for a number of years. So, well done, boys. Absolutely stoked for them. Righto time for, for uh, North Bondo to pull a specky. I think they're swell out there too, so let's see what they can do. They've turned their can. They've stopped. Well, he had a broken sweep or so he must have got a... He's changed it. He must have got a new Yeah, they ball. ran up and grabbed another one. So there's, there's one of the Allura boys having a dip. Past his proficiency there with a swim like that. That's messy water too. That's gross. That's where they tell you not to swim in a we, we, <laughs> that, That's right in the middle of a rip, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if we have a look over your right shoulder, he doesn't look like he's doing very well out there. The uh, Blade Runners are sitting waiting for a wave. Oh, they've called. They're a, they actually have called for a jet ski to go and pick up our mate from Allura there, so he's in, in a massive rip. There they are, look at him go. He's not watching, but. Yeah, he's in a huge hole, that swimmer. But there he is, so jet ski's in there doing his job. Gonna pick him up, he's found him. What have the, sh the Blade Runners done, but they're, they're making their way to shore. There they are. Well Nothing done. spectacular there, they just completed the course. Rowing nicely, the boys. What a what a uh, cruel end to a to an event for these North Bondi crews. Oh, right. Both of them were probably the pick of the. They were on fire, both crews. You would, it, it, if you were going to write down the the, the medalists at the, before the race started, you'd put them both in there somewhere. Yeah, for sure. But they had some miserable luck. The fat dads. Oh, it's just fantastic for those boys. Fat dads haven't had an Aussie medal since they were juniors, I don't think so. Well, there's a lot of us like that. It's fantastic. <laughs> so. Part of the reason you stay around, you, you get a you get a medal as a junior, and you think, right, this is easy. I'm going to do this yeah. again and again and again and again and again. Our uh, last time we were in Perth, our uh, first year, um, 19 women got the Aussie gold. So they thought it was that easy, and they haven't had not a medal yet since. <laughs> they, walked, they walked straight into it at 16 and got a medal. <laughs> Well, we've got midday here. We've got one more race of the... Uh... Just got a message from uh, the brother of this McMaster's sweep saying uh, how elated he is. So well done to the boys and hello to Carl over in... Uh, I think he's in WA at the moment. Nice work. So we've got people watching all over the country at the moment. Hopefully we're not boring you to death. Right, uh, we've got the... the, the 19 male... Final is up next. We're gonna look at. We've got to look at the. Uh, the next event, which is the 19 mixed as well. That's here. It's, it's turned up in front of us. So. Yes. So the. Is that? So the 19. We've got the. We've got four crews going around in the. Uh, the under 19 mixed crews. We've got the the 19 
mail final coming up now. So we're just moving a few boats into line there. Going back to the live stream with the comments. Uh, Nathan Davies, the disco, he's watching. He drove down yesterday. He's uh, perched up in his accommodation somewhere, watching TV. G'day, disco. How far off a uh, low tide are we? Because that, that is just horrible water out there. Probably not far off it, I'd say. There's a, not a lot of uh, depth in the water. It's just moving so fast. No, and there's some still some great swell coming through. That's a shot looking south. There's our results from our uh, reserve mail final. The Fat Dads with the gold. The Palm Beach Peppers with the silver. The Palm Beach Padlocks with the bronze. The Coogee Bees in fourth. The Bondi Blade, North Bondi Blade Runners in fifth. And the Silverbacks got a, a DNF. They finished out of the area. And one of the boys ended up swimming in one of the biggest rips I've ever seen. Yeah. But he, he was picked up by the jet ski, so no, no need to panic. Uh, not renowned for swimming, are we, Bodies? So. No, Bodies don't float. Mm. I know I don't. So there is the, the field for our under-19 gold medal race. So we both said that we thought the Fat Dads were going to go pretty good in that last one. So who you got? Oh, oh. I reckon I'm going to go with South Curly. Uh, they've got Alley 1. That, that is predominantly the hardest end to get out, so that'll test them. They're a good crew. We've seen them down in Alley 5 and 4 for most of the day where they've excelled, so oh, I've got to throw my money on uh, That's what, what's... I'm going to say the underdogs there with the Jeopardies with Jeff Loy. They looked pretty excited to make to win the last race and make the final, so I'm going to say they're probably the underdogs in their club. There he is, Jeff Used to sweep my brother down at Mollymook. Moved around right. the state for a little bit with his job in the police force. He's now retired, so love and life. What can they do? There it goes. They're away. They're in and gone. There's Palmy flying away out to see the that water still pumping from the north to the south. You can see them floating across the screen there. So there's the South Curly Burley in Alley 1, the Serpents from Surface Paradise in 2, the Adrenaline and then Jeopardy from uh, both from North Cronulla and the Pentecots from Palm Beach out of the screen. But, it's oh, the bow in here has been pegged out of the seat. The time That's a mess. That. Now you're in all sorts of strife, boys. Thanks for coming. Sorry about that, boys. Yes. I thought it was the winners. Wow. That's one simple mistake, poor fella. So they'll roll that boat over and they'll get going again. But that was uh, that's how easy it can be, mate. You got another quick one coming over the nose and you get whacked. Oh. Boom, boom. Poor fella just got the ejector seat straight out. Yeah, he got fl flung across the boat. Now these guys are screaming to go. Put the foot down, get out of here. It's like crossing the street. There's five metres of danger. You got to look left and right, and then when you decide to go, you got to go. But Palmy's out clean. Pumps are working, but so they must have took on a little bit of water. Looking nice, good style there from the Palmy crew. Nice and relaxed. And they're out in, they're well out in front. You can see the serpents up there in Alley 2. They they just snuck out where the um, curly burly got belted. So Hugo with the serpents. And uh, Jeopardy's in third place with the adrenaline right behind them. So Palmy's into the can first. Turn around so they get first shot of the wave or, or first option to wait and see what comes. Oh, crazy wide turn there from Surface Paradise. And he's got the boat going again. Palm Beach looking over their shoulder, revving it up, looking for a wave. Not a lot coming. Probably more more so for the back markers with, with uh, North Cronulla there. There's a wave coming for them. But Palmy's wants to go now if you're going to go. And they are. Working it. Water looks a little bit dead where they are now. 
but a party wave out the back. Surfers Paradise, North Cronulla, Adrenaline, and they've gone sideways. They're going to run into jeopardy. Oh, it's a North Cronulla party wave. North Cronulla crash. Oh, that's a messy rollover. Oh, God, I hope everyone's okay there. Two boats on top of each other is never a good sight. That is that is ugly. So that is look, not look good. for hands, look for heads. Got a hand, uh, got a dude with his hand on his head there. He's all right. So Palmy's gone sideways on the line, which will not open it up far enough for the Serpents. But the Serpents from Surface Paradise coming across for second place there. But Palmy, Palmy pull a gold. You can hear the crowd cheering. They're all running down to cheer, check on their mates. The big, the big thing we want to check on is uh, those boys, both the North Cronulla crews, they end up on top of each other. Surfers is happy. Happy with Huge the silver. Is cheering. Happy boys. That makes the drive home a little bit easier. New to, uh, new to Palmy this year, those look the boys. At, so. look, look at that. There's boats and people everywhere. We, got, we do have one guy that looks like he's in a bit of distress. Sort of hopping around out the back there. They all seem to be okay. There's there's no one really waving for assistance. He does look like he's in a bit of pain. He's, he's hopping there, around. He? No, they're waving to get back to the boat. So now now it's. I'm just going to work rush. out which boat to go back to. Yeah, which <laughs> which, which boat one's do you mine? Grab? Which boat do you grab? He goes so the there, guys from. Uh, there's North, South, Curly. South Curly Burley making their way around their can. Good stuff getting the boat righted, getting back out there. So well done to Gus and the boys from South Curly. Yep. Now that was a big hit to Paul Bowman. He's, he's probably learned a valuable lesson there. Okay, there's a fair bit of cheering on the beach down there, but the the two the two the two um, North Cronulla boats have still still rubbing against each other coming across the line. But these guys are now just making their way there in. There he is. There's Pebbles. New, new to Palmy with these boys. Rode at Collaroy last year and they've got a result straight up. So well done. Well done to the boys. So there was a mass exodus, was there? Yeah, they uh, decided the to... Piece, the, pe the beast mode moved as well. Yeah. And there's but the, the beast aftermath. Mode can't have the same name. I don't think they're going to change their name to, to something else. Pe beast mode is now Peast mode. Oh, is it really? Yeah. God, how original. <laughs> 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 nice, nice wave for, nice wave there for the uh, curly burly to finish off. They've had a good morning all morning. This is unfortunate they got whacked on the way to sea, but they got whacked pretty hard. So they had a lot of wins this morning. They That's did, so mate. They did. Their, they proved they're a real contender. So in the future, if you the pull final. them in a race, you'll uh, you'll have to watch out. Would uh, it? It is short course racing, but it doesn't seem that short anymore. I, mean, I don't think that should, that will. We, we've had to move the gate cans out. I think due to um, where, it's, where the waves are breaking, where they're where they're standing up from. So I don't know. I don't know who got a third place there, but that was a bit um, chaotic at the end there for uh, the both the North Cronulla crews. So, Palm Beach, Service Paradise, and we think at least one of the two North Cronulla crews pulled a third place there. Very, very messy stack um, involved with those two crews there. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. Yeah. So we've got one fellow on the, on the sitting down there getting his breath back. No one's calling for attention or first aid, so that's no, that's a good sign. Seems all right, don't they? Yeah, that is that is a good sign. But there's there's uh there's some happy boys in green there. Made their way out. Another um another great culture, another club with great culture there, Palmy. Yeah. They're uh look at some celebrations. Nice work. <laughs> well done Palmy. Great stuff. So yeah, interesting to see uh, the, who unfolds there for third place. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. That was a shambles. How will they be able to know who's touching what boat and <laughs> yeah. just get one over the line, or is it? That's not an abs absolute madhouse finish there. Geez, you get fed well here, don't you? Yeah, you do. Mate, stop. You'll, put, you'll put some weight on today. Barry Antella driving the uh, 
driving the buggy, delivering all the food. This is so more food's arrived. Um, Mar oh, I see a Maruchador boat on the beach. They must be coming down to do the. Um, we've got that in the uh, mix mixtures. The so we've got it. We do have a the... straight final here for the under 19 <coughs> mixed crews <coughs> when they do go around. We're still probably waiting on some paperwork for the uh, reserve mixed crews. There's there's a couple of young fellas describing what they saw on the beach with the two crews rolling over on top of each other. Group hug. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, looking after each other. 2022, us hug it in. <laughs> so it's quite a good effort to have all um, two crews in the final there from North Canola and they, the other crew only just missed out. So three, three. You can you can bet that they'll be strong in the future with their, with three good junior crews yeah. coming up, into the uh, it, feeding into the opens hopefully or the reserves yeah. into the opens. But go through, do go through the the divisions. Unconfirmed at this at this stage. So there's Palm Beach moving their boat up for the next race. So in, in the mixed under 19, which consists of two males, two females, when the time comes, we're going to have South Curly Burley Ninjas. Uh, a crew, two crews from Palm Beach, the Collaroy Cobra Butter, the Palm Beach Pen Pals. The water safety doing a great job today. Picking people up, ferrying oars back. Unsung heroes, aren't they? The water safety. They do an amazing job. Such a best seat in the house when you're watching the good, racing, but it's also a, a pretty so, tough job. Oh, have you been watching the soccer? Uh, I've been trying, but I don't like to get up early. So give, give it 100 for the Socceroos. So uh, that's a hashtag that the um, SBS has been doing. Give it 100 for. Uh, the Socceroos, so get up early tomorrow morning and watch them play against one of the world powers in Argentina. Argentina yeah. No one's expecting anything from us, so we are definitely the underdogs. We can sneak something through. Something like and, uh, $1.17 versus $14 or something last oh, time I looked. Wow. Right, so definitely no one's no one's putting money on us at all. So we're going to go back and have a look at that uh, stack there between the new the two North Cronulla crews. There was, there was a fantastic party where we had three mixed event. So we're still waiting for some paperwork to come through for our reserve grade mixed. And we've got four boats lining up for the... And who's... Uh, I heard a rumour that the public transport in New South Wales or in this, in this area is free tomorrow from midnight to midday for the... Encourage everyone to get into the city to watch the, the footy, or the soccer. Oh, really? Yeah. Fantastic. It's free public they, they, transport. So they're putting on a big screen somewhere. They want to pack out the city with the... Um, uh, as many people as possible, and well, they're offering free uh, free bus rides. Melbourne's been going nuts with the with the uh, with the soccer. With the soccer, yeah. Like, I've I've never seen so many flares in all my life. Yeah, right. <laughs> they do love a flare, the uh, soccer fans. Right. So I'll be getting up early to watch that. But today, this is the first time we've had the short course uh, as a national, not as a national event, but it's in a national event as a standalone. Uh, for the last couple of years, we've been pegging it onto the back of the uh, to the Aussies. Um, unfortunately, if we do run out of time, the short course has been one of the events that we've dropped to make sure we get to complete the rest of the uh, event in time. And with the with the weather we've had last year at Aussies, it was uh, it was definitely got dropped off early. So there are our officials having a having a feed on the stand while they wait for the the next event. So there won't be much in the afternoon the calendar this afternoon for events not much going on this Arvo well I don't think so no. we've got one it's a straight out final for the under 19s you need have to think the, the bees would be something similar yeah 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 I would suggest so there's not a lot of boats on the on the beach people are packing up oh, here we here go, we go. mixed reserve on. grade oh this is round one heat one so maybe we do have a right oh so Palm Beach Straight final. We've got a straight final. So two more races to go. 
So Palm Beach Batemans, another Palm Beach, Pepperdactyl, so that's a mixture of uh, mixture of two, Allura Lamb Shanks and Maruchidor Thumbs. So we've got a... Uh the, so they're the, the Terralox. <laughs> the the Terralox, which is the padlocks and the half the pterodactyls. The other half of the pterodactyls with the padlocks. Yeah. Um, Bateman's Bay have obviously put their two crews together there, and with only having one sweep, the other half miss out. Good initiative so, here by the ASRL. First time, is it, this one? For, this this is a first time this event too, so, so um, it's, it's something that uh, we don't get to do. Um, and giving us an option to have more more events. As, as a rower, we are, we've only ever had one event we can do up until the last couple of years. So yeah. you yeah. train all year long, you get to do your age division or your yeah. open. Whereas at the other end of the beach with the iron men and women, they can do the iron, the board, the swim, the ski, the tapling. They, some of them competitors can take home up to 10 medals. Yeah. Yeah. So we bust our ass all year and put in such a such a huge effort and a such a commitment at, shot at the one medal to get a go at one medal so this is a great initiative to um, open it up in New Zealand they've been doing doing the short course and the long course for a number of years so New Zealand national titles they'll do the short course on the Saturday and the long course on the Sunday um, and now we've introduced that here in Australia um, I so think it, moving it away from that Aussie's um weekend is, is good because uh, it's been previously pushed pushed aside for the main event. Yeah, and, uh, the, and the fact that this is a standalone by itself here. There's Donny Cottrell going home after a good day on the beach announcing. So we've got two more races to go. Both are for medals. Um, I haven't seen any of these crews do a warm-up, but some of them have been racing. Maruchidor haven't. They haven't hit the water yet. They're probably made up by... Uh, uh, some reserve grade ladies and uh, Megsy's 23 boys, or maybe their open girls are down here from yesterday. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but any crew uh, Megsy's got usually goes pretty well, so this should be exciting. There he is, the force. One of the, one of the one of the ladies there's She's from the Chum. She's checking out her uh, Karate Kid stance. Ready to do some chop suey out there. Wooden sweep or left handed wooden sweep or yeah. yeah, he swears by him. We have seen a, a couple of the carbons bust today, but which is you know sometimes it's unavoidable. Yeah. Good thing about the I mean the carbon as opposed to the timber is if you do bust a carbon you've got three parts, so you replace one part and that's it, but with the uh, the handle, the, the shaft and the blade, so yep. the timber you sort of I, mem I remember the old days. Um, Croker used to splice them together and be able to occasionally fix the timber ones. But when I was a, when I was a kid, the fellow next door was a, was a member of the Molly Mook Surf Club, uh, Kevin Pollock. And uh, if it was a big surf on, there'd be a pile of timber in the front yard yeah, right. the next day because he'd be splicing all the busted oars back together. So um, it's a it's an art, art, I suppose, is dying the splicing of the timber oar, um, but. There's still a few guys out there doing it, I would imagine, because they still break. Yeah. They probably probably break, break less now that we've changed our sweep Rolex. The carbon fibre sweep Rolex is a lot a lot larger band of stainless steel tubing, um, whereas the old sweep Rolex used to be like an inch, whereas these ones are probably three or four inches. Um, spreads the load. To, yeah, them. spreads the load, yeah. gives you a larger surface area. So, whereas the old one inch uh, stainless steel ring would just snap them in half quite easily in that, in that one spot. Mixed reserve final. Yeah, so there's there's one of the Palmy crews. We've got two Palmy crews. Put the flag up. Collaroy. What have they chosen? The, the stroke, second stroke of the girls. I don't think there's any rule behind that. I no, there's no rules. You just got to have two and two. That is that is it. So, two the two ladies at the back of the boat, the two guys at the front of the boat from Collaroy there. I can't remember what their name was, but uh, and that's either the the what were they? The, they were the Terra Terra Locks or of this. Yeah. But anyway, they're the Palm Beach in with a good chance. They've got two crews in this division. This one-off race for for medals. 
ASRL medals, these ones. I don't think they are, uh, although they're not the SLSA medals, but they're... ASRL well, have put, up, put forward actually, some medals. there's only two. This is under 19. Oh, this is under 19, right? Oh, so we got... So um, South so Curly we've, pulled out. And the... The Col Colliery Cobra Butter. And the Palm Beach. Well... It's your Perananas and the, their yeah, pen pals. The Perananas. So here we go. It's just a drag race. Two crews. Let's see what happens. So they're making their way through... Alley one's always been the hardest way to get out, but I think Collaroy, they might have to pop over a little one there and another one on the side. They've, they've certainly separated them, haven't they? They have kept them apart. So the Bowman are going to pop over one here. Landed it well. There goes Palmy. They're up and over. And they're out to sea. So it looks like they've elected that... to have the two men in the middle of the boat and that's the Palmy crew with the... Palmy's oh. popping over a much steeper one up there in Alley one. All right, here comes a big one for Collaroy. You are going up, and you are going over. Whoa. There we go. See ya. That was a big bit of water that they ran into. Wow. And they had the boat humming. Yeah, they were moving. For, for a group of, of four people that haven't probably rowed together before, they put the hammer down, and they went for it. They had it going pretty fast, but, uh, yeah, not too many crews are going to get through that one. That was a big hit. Plenty of water, white water. The it's jet the skis there, so Palmy's out in front. All they've got to do is get home safely, yeah. and um, we will see. Yes. We will see. <laughs> so they're coming into the can now, nice and steady. They're probably taking it easy, knowing full well that uh, they would have seen across the way that Collaroy got cleaned up there. They don't look like they're in too much of a hurry. Oh, there's there's no urgency there at all. Just so they just make their way closer to the break. And then when they have to, stand on it to catch something. Could probably go with something a little bit more spectacular now. Yeah, They've got plenty of time. Do a bit of a lead. crowd pleaser, I reckon. Is that Pebbles? That is Pebbles. Looking over his shoulder there. Here he goes. So we've got the two guys in the centre of the boat there. Nice. It's nice work dropping of down the front of that there. one. A little bit uh, steeper. Nose is digging in a bit. It's going to happen again. He's done well there. Nice work. Very good, mate. Very good. And this will be a dynamic he's probably not used to either, the, the weight distribution in the boat. He's done a nice work. Straight off the back of the win in the... Uh, oh, he's there. Yeah, little, little salute there. In his 19 men into this. Yeah. Rowing it across the line a nicely. Happy boy, I reckon. Yep. Pebbles. There you go. Palmy. Well done. The first mixed junior crew. High fives. Well done. We wonder how our friends from Collaroy are going there. If they've got the boat got upright again or not. I reckon at the moment. No, they haven't. Ugh. That looks horrible. They're all there. They're swimming around. See the five. The five members of the crew are there. They're all safe. And Palmy, well done. One more race after this. Got to be happy with that. Yeah, they'll be happy for sure. They've had a successful day with the reserves and the 19s and the mixed at uh, the short course championships here at Queenscliff. Bit of a party going on tonight, I reckon, for some of those guys. They'll have to be back down here tomorrow, won't they, to carry the boat? Is that, yeah, is that absolutely. the rule up there? I'd have, you'd have to think so. All, Come all back. They, they, uh, support. They might be down at, doing their uh, freshest swim down at Palm Beach in the morning. The, okay. The new, oh, new cruise. there's a busted sweep or two on the back of that boat. And all the, the rest of the club's going out to help get it home because it doesn't look like they're having much success by themselves. So square it up. Bring it in. Don't want to have the boat sitting sideways in the break like that. It'll wash in on top of someone who's on the shore side of it, and that's never a good thing. Now there's some extra helpers out there. What well on Nicole Roy for entering in the event? Well, we had four, then we dropped to two. Yeah. And then really uh, it, was, it was only a one-horse race. Yeah. 
and they did it well. And Collaroy got absolutely belted, put on a show for us. So there's a couple of crews, couple of crews just milling around where we are here, just waiting for uh, medal presentations. By the looks of it, the uh, fat dads are. They're not, not that fat, are they? Not far away from us. I think it's just a, a name, isn't it? Yeah. There's not the Bundy smugglers as well. Yeah, they're not. Not too many dad bods in there. Nah. Reliving the story, how he held the wave. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's the uh, Collaroy boat just making it back to shore now. One more race for medals in the reserve mixed. Then we're done for the day. Back yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, wow, it's early. Early finish. It's dangerous for for Bodies having an early oh, finish. It's dangerous for the travellers, yeah. yeah, that have got the day off. So I'm got nothing uh, to do. I might go home and go Did back to my mate's place. Same with Grant Connor, my mate, who got me into rowing all those years ago. Go back to Grant's place, tell some stories, and have a nap. Get down the get down the stain later on tonight. You reckon? No, mate. No, I've yeah. got to take it easy. Got another full day of this tomorrow. So Palmy's moving in. There's the Batemans Bay boat. There's another Palm Beach boat. Look at that shot. So this is the list, the lineup for the final. The Terralox, the Batemans Bay, the Pepperdactyls, the Lamb Shanks from Allura, and the Maroochydore Fumes. Where, where are the Lamb Shanks from? Is that? I don't know where that's come from. There's no lamb. What have we got? Allura had. Power, silverbacks. Silverbacks. I don't, I don't, I don't know where the. Sh I think it's just a uh, lamb shanks. Right oh. Here we go. Ra last it. race. So Marucho has got the two boys in the stroke and the two girls in the bow. Let's see if they can go in and do it cold. No warm up for these guys. Yeah, yeah, they're going in in cold. There it is. They're in and they're away. Oh, the oars popped they out there. They popped out. The second that's, bound and Marcus terrible. Green lost his oar. So there's Batemans Bay. Neil Innes with Batemans Bay. He's looking up. He's checking. He's not. He's thinking, thank God I'm not in alley one again. Palmy has stopped. Oh, I need to get their oar right. So Batemans Bay still going. Neil must see, must see there's a gap. Now he's stopped. Another stroke. Another two strokes. Pop it over. Maruchador. Meg, this is Megsy's first time out to sea this morning. Yeah, he's looking so pretty relaxed, isn't he? He does. He always looks relaxed. Not Give a little tweak there in. to straighten up. There's a set out the back. Look at that. The wall of water. That's big. That gives that's, a chance that's for the a great shot. Palmy crew to catch up. So Palmy, what can they do? There's a, oh, crew. They got slotted. One on the nose there, which has stopped their progress, pushed them backwards. Bateman's so Bay. He's about to pop over one. What's he said? He said go, go. There's, wave, there's a wave coming. Megsy's going as well from, that from clean, Luchador. He's got that clean break at this end of the beach. They're the... up. They do have it clean. Um, Palmy up in alley one, is it? They got hit again. They've stopped again, the Palmy crew. They're having some issues with that rollick, I think. Well, there they go. They're out now. So all four crews are out. Uh, Batemans Bay and Marusha are sort of leading it with, away from the two uh, Palm Beach crews. One had an issue with the number two Rollick. He couldn't. He's all popped out. They finally got it in. Lucky there's a bit of a wave on where the, the, the rest of the field sort of had to stop. It's not quite as critical uh, having that little break at the start, I suppose, when you got such tricky surf. Well, when everyone's stopping, yeah, it sort of everyone brings everyone back to the field. Nice and long there. You would think those guys have been running together for years, those guys and girls. Well, nice they're enough. doing all well, so Megsy's chucked them around the can there, and they're in and out. Really uh, Bateman's Bay, something's gone on there. They've stopped. Now they're going again. So this has opened the door for Megsy to get a little bit more of a, a head start. So there's a lineup for three crews, and they're going to be pushing for that swell there. Doesn't seem like there's too much coming from where we're sitting, but it looks different on the when you're down there. So yep. A little bit of a lump coming under under Marucheshaw now, so they're going to have a shot at that because there's something coming behind the next one. So you want to get in a position early as you can to try and have a crack at something. Or oh, not quite this next one, maybe. 
and they're fresh. They haven't raced yet today, so they're. Oh, Spency. Are they going to get down that? Beautiful. Yeah. Alley oh, one. Oh, he has. They've trailed a sloppy trail, but you get that with a crew that's not set and not not regular. Bit bouncy. So where? So where, where is, is this he? in, in resi- the relate- Bateman's Bay has fallen off one. He's going to run oh, in. Spency might get this, you know. Spe- and Palm Beach is. They are. Looking, Meg's looking is going to get a run on here as the, as the wave fattens, steepens up for him. Here we go. This Palmy's little... in their seat, not in their seats. Maruchador's in their seats. This is going to be a slog. You know, it looks like Palmy. I think will... Palmy's just going to float across easily. Oh, they've done it in, in the, the both end. the Colts and the, uh, I mean, the juniors and the reserves. So. Wow. Well done to Palmy. There you go. Palmy looked like they were going to flounder there. Yeah. Stop. Marucho in their seats still couldn't roll across the line in front of them. And Neil Ennis finished fast finishing in fourth. Uh, but Palmy are first and a third. Yeah, well, well done. Well done. So that's the final of the mixed reserve. Palm Beach, Batemans Bay. Oh, Palm Beach, Marucho, Palm Beach, Batemans Bay. And that uh, concludes the racing for the day, I think. It certainly does. Racing is done. So the next thing we've got will be presentation of medals. Yeah. What a day. What a great day. Yeah, it's been a good day. Short, time for lunch, action-packed, fewer stacks. How'd you go first day on the the mic? It's all right. I don't know. We'll see. There'll be some critics at home, I reckon. (laughs) There's there's always critics. Someone will say, oh, mate, what'd you do? But uh, it was enjoyable. It's a funny uh, dynamic looking at a screen when you're at the beach, not looking out at the surf. So That's the hardest thing. Yeah. But it's good good coverage. The guys are doing a great job with their drones and the, and the camera work, trying to capture as much as they can of it. It's fantastic. Yeah, those drones make a big difference. Oh. Those, some great angles. It's, it's magic. It's magic. And you see see some of them post up stuff on on their social media, Instagram of, of a local dude with a drone following them at training sessions. So it looks yeah. it looks amazing. It's, it's and it's such a helpful tool for training as well. You get to see different angles. There's only so many angles you can see as a sweep in the back of the boat. But no, it was great work. A uh, fantastically run carnival today with with tricky conditions. Um, yeah, well They've done, done well. The, the officials, Greg Hurd and the team, did a great job. And the ASRL just keep raising the bar when it comes to running carnivals. They're doing such a good job. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. So all, the, all the boats we packed up, moved up the beach, put under the tents. Thank you to all of our uh, uh, rescue craft drivers, IRBs, jet skis, crewies. Nice work. Hopefully they got that motor running again that rolled over earlier. about to have a break here and uh, while we wait for everyone to uh, gather around for the medal presentation for our uh, winners of the short course today so uh, enjoy enjoy the scenery and we're going to be broadcasting this uh, this medal ceremony and presentation so please uh, hang on hang on the TV continue to watch and um, send in your messages of congratulations to your crew and your, your fans and, and mates Enjoy.
In fifth place, they had a tough day in the finals. Round of applause for the North Bondi Blade Runners. In fourth place was the Coogee Bees. Keep your hands together. All right, the first of our medalists, reserve grade SLSA National Short Course Championship. In third place, the Palm Beach Padlocks, swept by Peter Spence. We've got Hugo, Andrew, Peter and Stuart. Congratulations, fellas. Come and greet Nick, get your medals. Make sure you stand with your good side facing us. In second place, also from Palm Beach, the Palm Beach Peppers, swept by Stephen Cox, with Callum, Robert, Marcus and Tyler. Well done, boys. And ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the SLSA National Short Course Championship in reserve grade male from McMaster's, the Fat Dads. Woo! Great effort, boys. You smashed that final. Like men possessed. Good work, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep our hands together for our medalists today and gold medalists the Masters Fat Dads. <laughs> Round of applause guys, reserve grade male. First event of its kind, the Fat Dads. This event's built for you guys, the short course. We'll see you again next year, no doubt. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to Palm Beach. Coxie, good effort. And round of applause for Spency, back on the dais. Good to see you up there, mate. Well done, boys. Next medalists for today, the SLSA Short Course Championships of Australia, the reserve grade female, Today in fourth place was swept by Stephen Cox, the Palm Beach Pterodactyls. Round of applause. In third place, put your hands together from Sydney Branch, the North Cronulla Diamonds. Swept by Dave Young, Aaron, Greta, Monica and Tash. Great job, ladies. Yeah, round of applause for North Cronulla there in third place. In second place, their neighbours, swept by Michael McBain, Allura Power. Well done, Allura. Great effort. Yeah, Dave's smiling up there. Good work, David. And for first place in the SLSA National Short Course Championships of Australia from Coogee Beach, New South Wales, the Coogee DMGs. Big round of applause for Coogee. Swept by Paul Macrobill, Kelsey, Lauren, Sam and Caitlin. Fantastic effort, well deserved today, girls. Showed your class today in those waves, Macro, beautiful sweeping. Good effort there for Sydney Branch in the reserve grade. In the ladies, round of applause, guys, for our medalists today. Coogee, Allura and North Cronulla.
Round of applause, guys, the reserve women. Now moving on to our junior categories. In the junior boys, or the junior young men, we had North Cronulla Jeopardies in fifth place. In fourth place, and rode strong all day, was the South Curl Curl Burley crew. Congratulations, they got smashed in that final. But good effort, fellas. In third place, from North Cronulla, the North Cronulla Adrenaline. Swept again by Dave Young. You got James, Luke, Zach and Jason. Well done, fellas. Up on position three. Next on the dais and in second place, Coming from sunny Queensland, the Surface Paradise Serpents. Round of applause swept by Graham Hugel. You got Ian, Max, Harry, and Nicholas. Well done, boys. Nice job, Hughes. And lastly, for the under-19 Surf Life Saving Australia Short Course Championships, in first place, keep your hands together. A big round of applause for the Palm Beach Penatokos. <laughs> Woo! Swept by Pebbles. Got Harper, Jake, Jackson and Jack. Real name, handful with the names there, boys. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the under-19 boys in the Short Course Championship of Australia. Well done, fellas. Well done, boys. Round of applause. Good work, Palm Beach, on taking out the win. Now lastly for our SLSA short course championship medals, we've got the under 19 female division. And can we just start with a round of applause for all the competitors in the under 19 girls. They were fearless today, it was tough conditions. You're very brave and good effort to all of you for getting out there. So, in third place and for the bronze medal, the Long Reef Castaways. Put it together, guys, for their sweep. Bruce, Jenna, Claire, Harriet, and Ella. Well done, girls. Third place, national event. In second place, all the way from Collaroy Beach, New South Wales. The Collaroy Cobras. Swept by the great Gavin Scott. In our crew you have Abby, Tia, Antoinette and Frankie. Well done, girls. Sorry, it's not... Paperwork's wrong. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Round of applause goes for Collaroy in second. And the stars of the show today in the under 19 female SLSA Short Course Championship of Australia. Completing a wonderful day for their club. Round of applause, a big round of applause for the McMasters Minis. Woo! 
Outstanding effort. Great sweep, Mick Norman. We've got Emma, Marley, Zoe, and Sinead in there. Really good, guys. Great effort to all of you young ladies for, for having a crack today. Tricky conditions. Great sweeping. Great skills from all of you. And a round of applause. Once again, our under-19 females with McMaster's minis taking it out. Smile, ladies. Round of applause, guys. The under-19 women. The last medals we're handing out today are a special event. First of its kind today. The Mixed Events. A great initiative put together by the ASRL. And the first medals will be our under-19 Mixed. Today, it was competed with two crews. In second place, and having a massive go, but unfortunately coming undone, was the Collaroy Club. Well done to Mixed Collaroy Juniors. Back you come. Yeah, up you come, still getting the water out of your ears after that final. Good job. Meet President Sampson here for his second medal of the day. Great effort, guys. But there could only be one winner today. Today, they are wearing green in first place for the ASRL Under-19 Mixed Championship of Australia, the first event of its kind, which will be back. Put your hands together for Palm Beach. Well done. Keep your hands together, guys. That's a good effort. It's a race in two in the end, but you kept us entertained all the way. Yep, President with the medals. Round of applause for your under-19 mixed crews. I'm sure we're going to see more of this into the future. It's a great initiative. And it's very well done to these two crews taking out the first of the medals. In the under-19 ASRL Short Course Championship of Australia. Big smiles. Well done, guys. And loving the camera, these juniors. That's it, there we go. Yeah. Round of applause for under 19 mix. And the last event to share the medals with today was our mixed reserve, the ASRL Mixed Championship of Australia. In fourth place, and it wasn't his day today, it was Neil Innes and the Batemans Bay team. In third place, put your hands together for the Palm Beach Pepperdactyls. Up we come the Pepperdactyls. Great day for Palm Beach today. Well done on your third place. Round of applause for Palm Beach in third place. In second place, coming down all the way from the sunny coast, the Maroochydore Farms. Give them a round of applause. They're Queenslanders, but we love them. Well done, guys. Yeah, the Farms. Good work. <laughs> Magsy and the Maruchidor crew claiming their silver medals in the first of the uh, ASRL Mixed Championships in reserve grade. It's a 
great honour to get on the dice. First medals of their kind. Well done, guys. Congratulations to you. In first place, again, wearing green today, and from the Palm Beach Club was the Palm Beach Parallax. Well done, guys. Congratulations to Palm Beach on a successful day. Gold medalist today in the ASRL mixed reserve grade. Great sports. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have our hands together for the last time for our medalists in the reserve grade mixed championship ASRL championship short course for Australia. Palm Beach, Maruchidor and Palm Beach. Great effort, guys. Just like to again thank you all for coming today. Another action-packed day of racing tomorrow. If we could thank our sponsors, the ASRL Team Navy, Kenan's Hire. Isuzu Utes, thanks to the Queenscliff Surf Club, special Surf Life Saving Australia. It's great to be in partnership with the SLSA. And thanks to all our officials and our uh, helpers here today. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Good afternoon.